guys, it's Sarah Davies here. I just want to say you have got to tune in on Monday because it is going to be a big day. I'm going to be in the studios and I am taking over. I'm going to be on Sewing Street Live from 8 o'clock in the morning, Jewelry Maker from 11 o'clock and then Hobby Maker from 1 o'clock. Now, when we do one of our big takeover days, trust me, it is a day you do not want to miss. We've got goodie bags, we've got some amazing special deals, I've got a ton of demonstrations, brand new product launches, I've got the team in with me, it is going to be epic. So whatever you do, do not miss it. Whether you're a sewer, whether you love your jewellery making, whether you love your paper craft, we've got something for everyone. So I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock on Sewing Street, from 11 o'clock on Jewellery Maker, and from 1 o'clock on Hobby Maker. We'll be there all day. I can't wait to see you there. I've worked it with does. you. I mean, it's to think you're avoiding me. Definitely not. 100% no. Oh. Um, because I was saying, I've seen a lot of Mark, lovely Mark, and it seems like I either see you or not at all. Yeah. There's no in between. There's no in between. Oh, Monica, lovely to see you. And oh, oh you my goodness. <laughs> uh, now, people, this has been. You had a request, didn't you? I did, yes. A few people actually requested to see something Egyptian. -ish. Yes. So, yeah. And this is the end result. Yeah, obviously, Seriously. it takes a while to come around because it's about three or four months in the planning. So, Oh, <laughs> my goodness. So, for those of you maybe that are thinking, what was it? Was this we're talking about? Monica has a booklet launch that is happening today at 12 o'clock. So, you do not need, uh, you don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to go anywhere. Make sure you're with us. And the beauty of really the medium that you work with, Monica, is you, in terms of tools, what do you need? A, a needle and... A needle and some thread. That's it. And some scissors, maybe. <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> this is the necklace that we are actually talking about, or necklaces, I should say. That's absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. Stunning, <laughs> stunning, stunning. And if you want to make these fabulous creations, so... Make sure you're with us from 12 o'clock and you will get the written instructions. It's literally a booklet, it isn't is. it? It is. It's 12 pages. Well, 11 pages, but yeah. I've seen Monica's <laughs> booklets. They're very, you, you're very detailed, aren't you? So you're yeah. not going to make one false move. I, tr I try. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I know how methodical you are. So, um, yeah, if you think, oh, gosh, no, I couldn't possibly, you could under the mentorship of, of Monica. So 12 o'clock, there is um, a big quantity of those booklets being launched, and we have the perfect kits to go alongside that as well. Um, so literally, we've got all the ingredients that you need uh, to get creating. Now, alongside the booklet launch, we've got a very exciting Monday. I'm very excited uh, um, about the lineup because... We've got some of my all-time favourites. We've got a back a, a beginning of the birthday. That's when it was. So at the beginning of May, when we celebrated our twelfth birthday here at Jewelry Maker, um, the team and I we uh, we launched some absolutely incredible natural metallic pearls. Now I think we had about a quantity of about five hundred, and they all sold out we were straight up to our sales manager and gemstone buyer extraordinaire wayne um, and said right okay we need more of these because they were such an amazing price point that you know to get this level of rarity and this level of luxury um, at the price that we're going to be relaunching today is quite exciting now he managed to achieve it these are natural metallic purple pearls half drilled so you can make pieces like let me just bring it over this oh pieces like this 
I mean, seriously, that looks like it belongs in the V&A. Oh, it really does, doesn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we are going to match the birthday deal as well. We've Ooh. got a quantity slightly less than we did on the birthday celebrations. We've got 300, which is still mega when we're talking about how rare yeah. naturally colored pearls actually are. Um, and you know, I've bought myself, I've actually bought purple pearls recently. And let's be honest, they, you know, they are expensive. It was a considered purchase. I had to very much sort of ask my husband if it was okay to buy them. <laughs> um, I did. You're not gonna need that permission, I don't think today, because they are going to to the most incredible affordable price tag. So there's your deal of the day today. So that's happening at 10 a.m. this morning. Um, we've also got the most colorful kits that you could possibly <laughs> wish for. Um, all of these coming up in the nine o'clock hour alongside the relaunch of your uh, colored elastics. Now, lots of, uh, not, lots of benefits to using colored elastics. Not only do they look pretty, but they can also complement the gemstones. Yes, of course. I mean, and some gemstones, um, obviously the, the sort of the clear gemstones. Have a you, you can, yeah. yeah, so you can see the elastic through the gemstones as well. And sometimes you can change the color of them slightly as mm -hmm. well. So especially if you're using something like clear quartz or something, obviously then yeah. it depends on the color of the elastic that you use. Yeah, I mean right? if you're so, using something like rose quartz, for example, yeah. actually putting a, a, a further pink elastic through is only going yeah. to enhance that color. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're coming up at nine o'clock today and you can see definite colorways um in these kits it's a massive massive selection so you haven't got too long to wait for those we've also got some of the most beautiful carvings in your type a jade um coming up in today's show <clears throat> brand new in fact i'm going to show you we are going to take them to a price point um, that it frankly if you've not bought type a jade know that that window of opportunity is diminishing quickly um it's coming up in the 10 o'clock hour we've got this beautiful sunflower pendant which is oh. absolutely amazing let me just turn it that you can see all the way around look the jump ring is even carved into oh. or the bail rather is actually yeah. carved into that solid piece of type a natural jadeite that's coming up at 10 o'clock never been on our screens before how many do we have of these though roscoe Oh, a hundred. That's, that's amazing. Amazing, amazing. So coming up at 10 a.m. today, plus we've got, do you remember way back when we used to have sort of carved roses in certain yeah. gemstones? Yeah. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that it would be possible to get that carved rose oh, wow. in type A jadeite. Well, here it is also being launched today in the 10 o'clock hour. Um, yeah, it can be used as a, 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 as a connector, um, but also I'm imagining it <coughs> excuse me um sort of floating yes as an illusion style oh, i would make it as a ring oh nice yes, yes. Beautiful. all of the above all of the above <laughs> coming up at 10 o'clock today lots of beautiful sterling silver deals as well <coughs> excuse me i've got a tickle uh, lots of sterling silver deals to bring you as well components that you haven't yet seen we've got some really gorgeous bales can you see this here Ooh. or connectors if you wanted them to be connectors as well in a few auction signs, but they are quite limited. Got the last in stock opportunities of the uh, Zavarite pendant. In fact, we're gonna do that as your first auction. But before we uh, go any further, let's get cracking with this Monday morning show and your wall of fame. Starting us off this morning is number 455, and it's Anne Pemberton. Hello to you, Anne. Oh, you've been busy. Oh, wow. Goodness me, I think that's a bit of Argentium, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh. And she says, hello, jewellery maker. I haven't sent any photos of my pieces in for a long time, but I've since started doing Argentium silver. Uh, thought I might give it a, another go. I hope you like them, and they are absolutely stunning. Fine jewellery without shadow of a doubt. Number 456 is from Julia Tinsley. Wowzers, oh, Julia. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Goodness me. <laughs> Hi all, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I've started to use my jadeite and these three pieces. Can I just say, Julia, I actually thought the two pieces on the side were maybe taken out of a, um, yeah. a, a, a book or I mean, a, They look so expensive, those Don't things, they? Don't they? I thought maybe they were your inspiration, but no, all your creations. 
Um, my word, the quality and the colour of these gemstones are off the chart. Absolutely beautiful. Hope you like them. Julia, they are absolutely wow. incredible. Incredible work. Number 457 is from Michelle Mason. Hello to you, Michelle. Again, beautiful and photography. And she says, morning, everybody at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry into this week's Wall of Fame. Uh, sterling silver stud drop earrings made using emerald faceted cubes, peridot faceted rounds, and sterling silver twisted jump rings. All components are, are from yourselves. Uh, good luck to all in the draw. And fingers crossed for a win. I'll, oh, yes, we will do our very best. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. And thank you so much for sending your beautiful creations into the studio. Now, uh, where do we begin? Where do we begin? Because it's literally going to be such a jam-packed show. Shall we start with that Zavrite pendant, literally? Um, now, uh, uh, this is a piece that was designed uh, and discussed on the back of uh, basically my trip to Tucson, Arizona. Um, it was meant to be a locket. Literally, it was meant to be a locket. It landed literally weeks before, I think less than, less than maybe. Um, and of course, it wasn't a locket, but it is a really beautiful pendant. So I said, OK, well, that kind of scuppers um, you know, my plans um, on, on launching this. However, like I said, a really beautiful piece of jewel fine jewellery. You're getting a massive... They must have wondered, why do we need such a huge amount of sterling silver? <laughs> um, and it was because basically, yeah, it was meant to be a locket. Oh. Um, now, I cherry-picked, personally cherry-picked your, uh, your Zavrite. Uh, Zavrite being an incredibly expensive gemstone, and you've got that wonderful star-like impression. It was inspired by the uh, designer uh, Astley Clark. They do a locket collection very similar to this. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, we are taking this. This is, this is where we're meant to be launching it. It was meant to be 49 99 Had it been of locket, that's exactly what it would have been. We did then take it to this price. Oh, wow. But you can't buy the Zavarite for that price. But actually, if you turn it around, I'm sure you could you could put a photo in there and put some resin over the top. That's what I said. Yeah. Great minds and all that. Yeah. That's what I said. It could be, a, you know... And then you could wear it either way around. An unofficial yeah. locket. Yeah, absolutely. Well, in 60 seconds, we're going to take it to, frankly, the most ridiculous price point you could ever imagine. Um, I, I, I'm so confident in saying this. You can't buy the Zavarite for the price that we're taking it to. And you definitely can't buy the silver. Listen, um, we've, we've had special authority from, the, uh, from our, uh, our bosses here at Jewelry Maker. We as staff, and we get perks, don't we, Monica? Oh, yes. We get the occasional perk. Um, of course, we can't buy it at the price that our lovely viewers are about to see on our screens. So do make the most of this opportunity. Um, it is a massive minus on our point uh, on our part here so um like i said for the gram weight that you're getting it's a huge gram weight of sterling silver and the fact that you've got that zavarite garnet how many have we got of these left just shy of 100 remaining it's from the original location of discovery as well uh, beautiful natural zavarite garnet here's a price point that never goes alongside zavarite garnet never you don't see Zavarite at a single figure price tag. In fact, it's one of the more expensive of your green natural gemstones. More expensive, some might say, um, than your emerald. More expensive than your peridot. More expensive than your chrome diopside. More ex You know, you get the idea. It's one of the most expensive green gemstones that exists. I've certainly told you the story. It's been a while ago, but um, I was watching that. Uh, um, it, it's, a, it's a high end a jewellery pawn shop, so where, you know, the, 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 the people with the very deep pockets maybe what choose to sell or yeah. pawn some of their jewellery. Um, and apparently there was a designer who walked in there. Her name's Kiki McDonald. She walked into this pawn shop and she was trying to raise some cash. She was wanting to raise some cash to make a collection for the likes of Angelina Jolie. Um, and she was actually physically pawning some of her existing collections to purchase the Zavarite garnet. That's how expensive this gemstone uh, can actually be 9 99 for you this morning now the whole idea was that when i go over well, when i went over to tucson i knew that bruce bridges was going to be there the son of campbell bridges who discovered this gemstone and that's why it was going to be you know all about the zavarite however it was never meant to be at this price tag snap them up great gifts really great gift i mean just for the silver if i didn't even have the gemstone in the middle just for the silver pendant that's a yep. great price yeah yeah 
You, I mean, you could literally just feed that onto a sterling silver chain, couldn't yep. you? Yep. Um, I did say the other day that if you have got two, and at this price point, you're still paying less than what we should have launched it at. Put them back to back. Back to back. Yeah. Yeah, and you yep. can have like a tessellating, uh, a tessellating locket. I'll leave the final few with you. Lots of you there. Good morning, everyone. Don't be shy. Come and say hello. Um, shall we do that lovely little clasp that I just showed you? It's beautiful. Um, and something I'm, I've been speaking to our buying team is that is our need for clasps like this. We need more of them, um, especially with the sort of caliber of the gemstones that we're actually bringing you here at Jewelry Maker. Love this design, quite geometric, a little bit Art Deco. Yes. Would you say that? I've not seen this one before either. Hang on, let me just hold it properly with the tweezers. I thought they were earrings. Yeah, I thought they were bales originally, but it's three different components. Oh, sold out. Well done. Well done, well done. I do have the Buddha. Oh, you tell me, Ross. How about a pair of Buddhas? Ah, oh, it's Mother of Pearl. Ah, oh, these could be your charms, couldn't they? They could be beautiful earrings. That's carved shell. Wow. Look at that iridescence. Isn't it incredible, Monica, that you can get... Has it gone? that you can get that level of detail. Oh, it's beautiful. On shell. Yeah. Now, if you love those, maybe they're the earrings or they're the charm yeah. bracelet. Yeah. And then the pendant. And this is the pendant. Look at this for detail. All framed in 925 sterling silver. Oh. It's stunning. She's beautiful, isn't she? Absolutely beautiful. You've got that iridescence running across the surface. All hand carved. £14.99. pence. Let me just turn it sideways on so you can see the amount of the invest... Ooh, stay still. The amount of sterling silver that is actually uh, uh, invested in this beautiful pendant. Again, just feed it onto a 925 sterling silver chain. Um, job done. I've only got a couple of those, so again, uh, be quick on those. Let's bring you last of stock, and it is the very last of stock now, in blue lace agate. Um, now, the biggest quantity that we actually have out of this tea bar is oh, basically yeah. 12. So you need to be super speedy. Um, of course, Blue Lace Sage everywhere at the moment. Lots of the big designers using it. Lots of sentiment associated to this gemstone. Um, many people see sort of the calming beauty within. Um, as a member of the Agate family, which is quite vast in actual fact, most Agates are actually dyed. Not the case here. You are firstly getting it from the original location of discovery. Secondly, you are getting natural natural quality now i have what one two three four five <coughs> excuse me five different lines all very limited in stock 12 or less for the sentiment attached to blue lace agate it literally is like the perfect summer's day sky oh, blue it's such a calming color isn't it it is yeah it's beautiful the waves of the ocean says director adam or, or a wave of emotion, whichever. It, it, it has such gorgeous sentiment behind it. Um, and again, you'll see it in Monica Veneda, you'll see it in Lola Rose, you'll see it in, um, and actually Lola Rose, their website, it tends to say sold out, sold out, sold out. It's one of their mo most popular gemstones uh, um, as part of a collection. $29.99 would be absolutely incredible. And, you know, retrace our steps maybe, I don't know, five, six, seven years. And that probably would have been the price tag. It's known as the queen of agates, £14.99 pence only. Um, last time I had this showcase, and like I said, this is, the, this is Last Chance Saloon, quite literally. Monica, we were talking about doing like an Elsa Peretti inspiration, whereas you have like, I don't know, two inches of chain, one of these stones, yes, two inches beautiful. of chain. How beautiful would that oh, be? Beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Jill. Morning, all. Ooh, I have a few of these blue lace agate strands. They're so pretty. Pretty is the exact word. They are beautiful, I mean, aren't they? This shape especially works really well for stretchy bracelets. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we've got all the coloured elastics Ooh, coming nice. up later on, and um, that'll work really nicely with one of the blues, I think. How about, as oh, well, yeah. a little bit of rose, rose quartz? quartz. That would be lovely. How about maybe, don't mix up the kits, Al. I'll be in trouble with Floor Dan. Oh. How lovely that is. Oh, lovely, isn't it? It is, it's beautiful. Our gorgeous Dan on floor. There you go, he's like, you know, you know. Um, yeah. Send your messages in to gorgeous Dan, of course, and the team. He's over there, keeping us in check, always busy as our Dan. 
Um, only a handful of these left. Well done, Gabrielle. Hello to you, Kim. Hello to you, Maeve. Hello to you, Maria. Hello to you, Helen. Nice to have your company. Let's move on to the next. My personal favourite. I love this shape. I think it's the, it's because they're not faceted. Yes. And a facet would almost overcomplicate blue I it, lace. I think it would. I think it looks much nicer if it's not faceted, to be honest with you. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful, also, smooth. Also, I think you can see the lines in it better if it's, yeah. if it's not broken up. With yeah, lace. because a facet would almost interrupt that fluidity, yeah. I suppose. Um, so, yeah, you see the actual almost cloud-like formations. It's a little bit Larimar-esque, but more blue, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, a, a little bit more of, yeah, your summer's day sky blue. Yeah. You know, yesterday, it was, we're having the most mental weather, aren't we, here in the UK? It's either raining or it's gorgeous sunshine. Yes. Um, but I remember looking out the window and thinking, oh, look at that sky, look how gorgeous it is. And it was literally, you know, when, way, uh, that when clouds literally gently roll oh. past. Imagine that beauty captured in a gemstone. And it's natural, £12.99. How many do we have then, Roscoe? Eight. So maybe you've got yours, Maker Gabrielle Maria. You will love, love, love this collection. The quality is unbelievable. They are all from the original uh, location of Discovery. That's Namibia. Um, and you are guaranteed to get completely natural blue lace agate. Uh, make sure you check out. Don't leave it in your baskets. Like I said, there was only eight of them at the beginning of this auction. And there's a lot of people, a lot of eyes on Jewelry Maker this morning. Very exciting show. One thing I haven't yet mentioned is I'm going to be joined by the utterly gorgeous sarah davis as well oh, that'll be interesting to watch. yes yeah. oh, she's so lovely oh yeah she's in the building she's in the building and she's on uh, sewing street right now oh yeah she's so lovely having a busy day though. a very busy day <laughs> um here we go now this shape just restrand it oh, a little bit like anne and sue have done i don't know this is a favorite too look at that oh oh I think the strand is very sort of effortless. I think it's just, yeah. you know, if it's the first piece of jewelry you ever make, it's, you're going to make something stunning, I think. It just makes you sigh, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It is that gentle exhale. Oh. Put some pearls in between. Oh, beautiful. Or rose quartz. Rose, oh, yes, rose quartz. So Amethyst. Spaces. Amethyst. Amethyst. Yeah. It just makes you a. Oh. You breeze, don't you, when you when you see a strand like this, and because they are that larger size, you're getting the beauty or the benefit rather to actually see the natural formations. There are areas of translucency um, as a uh, as a gemstone which actually tells you stories within um, each of those treasures. It is going to be a sellout. Um, Maeve, Maria, Gabrielle, you've done it. Well done. New customer, new customer, Tracy and Yorkshire. I've got you there and I've got people on the phone lines. This is the one we actually had the most of. Quite surprisingly, actually. Um, but don't, don't misinterpret that. There were literally 12 of them. Um, and yeah, when I, when I launched this, I was saying, just restrand that. Pop a few spacer beads in between. Yeah, I mean, if you look at those two in the middle at the bottom, it's like you can see the, the, sort of the, the story they tell, I think, you yeah. know, how, how it was created. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's like Mother Nature yeah. literally just lay down, kicked the shoes off and watched all the gentle <laughs> summer clouds roll by. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's literally what you can see, isn't it? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll make a gemstone that looks just like that. It like, looks like summer. Um, the final few of these, five. Alison, you've got yours. Margaret, you've got yours. I've got Jacqueline, new customer too. Tracy, uh, Yorkshire, and I've got some people on the phone lines that I can't see your names as of yet. So good luck, good luck. Make sure you check out your baskets on this one. Um, there are tons of you there. Jill, well, uh, good luck to you. Um, let's bring you uh, the beautiful, really pretty strand. If you're about sort of your soft, soft curve drops, we've named them on our graphics as hearts. Personally, I see more of a, like a trillion drop. Yes. Personally. But if you start incorporating wire work, then you could pronounce you, you could yeah. pronounce the cleft a bit more, couldn't you? Yeah, but I think I think maybe sometimes it's nice if it's not actually a heart, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, because that's a very definite it shape, is, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Whereas this is just sort of aesthetically pleasing to look at. Yeah, shape, I, I agree. Nine ninety nine. Um, what do we do there? What? Nine ninety nine. Uh, yeah, for for the queen of agates. 
which again if you cast your mind back to uh back to i, I don't know five six years ago um natural blue lace agate alongside so that was the queen and then you've got botswana which is the king you would have been talking about well, definitely 20 pounds, um, especially for a strand of this carrot weight. Gabrielle, Christine, you've done it. Tracy and Maria, I can see you there as well. Um, it's the only strand that goes under 10 pounds out of this collection, if I recall. I think so. I think. Um, so if you're looking for the best possible price tag, then it's on your screen. All of the same amazing quality, don't you think? I mean, look at that area of almost pure translucency. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful. Look at that one coming around with the with the more distinct stripes. Yeah, beautiful. love it. Absolutely love it. It is one of those gemstones that once you see it, you never forget it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little bit angelite esque. Oh, well, I was going to say that it would actually look really nice with angelite because it's kind of the same blue, but yeah. it would have like a contrast in the in the texture, I suppose, yeah. and the and the translucency definitely yeah. yeah yeah angelite's much more opaque but yeah. beautiful oh sold out well done well done well done and now the final strand a little bit of a modern twist it's gonna be on and gone oh really you're gonna go lower than the previous oh again just imagine little sections of chain dotted in between i think that would look absolutely stunning lowest ever price tag adam's back off his holidays Hello, Adam. Do you have a nice holiday? Yeah, thank you. He says <laughs> he's been. Uh, he's actually been um, enjoying the, the the beautiful Welsh countryside. Oh. I'm new, Adam. It is beautiful, isn't it? I know. Went back to my neck of the woods where I grew up. Oh, I know. Oh, I love Wales. It's beautiful. It is. Yeah. It is. It is lovely. It is lovely. I would move back. Would you? Yeah, I would. I would move. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We were discussing this, Adam, weren't we? Mm. I'd move I'd move back. It's beautiful. It's lovely. Um, okay, now last the stock selenite. <gasps> oh selenite with blue lace agate. Yes. You know, as as he, as um as those strands came along, I was just thinking that that would look amazing with the with the blue lace agate. Oh, yeah. these are the only strands that we have in the business oh. of selenite. And it was only launched a couple of months ago, I don't think we've had selen. I don't think we've had selenite in strands, or if we have, very few and far between. Totally and utterly natural. Wow. Selenite is pure magic, don't you think? Because look at that light performance. That's literally uh, produced not by coating or any enhancement or treatment, because selenite naturally has these tiny silk-like inclusions that are giving you that beautiful, beautiful phenomena effect. One of the most powerful of your uh, gemstones in the eyes of crystal healing. Um, <clears throat> There's three. There's three strands. We're starting with the 10 mils. Um, absolutely adore selenite. It has this, well, as the name suggests, you know, uh, selen, which is, um, it ha has this sort of otherworldly connection. Many people actually look at it as a, a sort of, a, um, what a, a gemstone which almost has like an ethereal. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Uh, otherworldly, yeah. ethereal. It's got that whimsical appearance it to does, it. Definitely. There are four of these left. And this is one of the few, probably in the 12 years that we've been broadcasting, I could probably count on one hand the amount of strands of selenite yeah. um, that we've ever brought to air. It's usually in, in spheres and, yeah. and, and carvings. And Not on strands. Like yeah. And that's because of the complexity of actually, mm. I should imagine, cutting it into these yeah. smaller sizes. Four left. If you have this strand at home, I bet you share the, my, my, my feelings. It has that magic behind it 29 pounds and 99 pence now if i had I had more i would talk to you at great length about this gemstone with with pleasure uh, i think it's a purifying stone many people think it actually purifies um other gemstones as well um but so 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 uh so popular amongst our viewers again immediately people pouncing on this imagine has it gone yeah i'm not surprised um imagine that in a big lovely lo knotted long line oh, necklace yes, beautiful we'll do the eight mils next <sighs> look at this when you get like a just your phone torch and influence it to selenite again it, it just kind of lights up like it has this spiritual presence 
totally and utterly natural. Look how beautiful that is. If you're in a position to do so, I would definitely be tempted to get the three yeah. different sizes because that could be the most amazing oh, necklace. Beautiful, yeah. You see with this one as well, I wonder how it would look. I'm sure it would look amazing if you put one of the coloured uh, one of the threads or elastics through it. Oh, yes. I think it would probably just sort of bounce the colour around yes. inside it. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, it would be stunning. How many do we have, Ross? Nine. Nine. That's it. Kim, you've just taken the first one. Well done, lovely. I, I, I only recall, personally, bringing you these three strands and one other of selenite. Yeah, and can I just say that the camera doesn't do it justice at all. I mean, looking no. at it in real life here, it's, it's amazing. Can, can, no, no other gemstone like it. Totally no. agree. Um, Dan, have you got your phone on you? Can I just borrow it a second? Oh, and he's just going to vet it, check that there's no, uh, there's no text messages I shouldn't be seeing. <laughs> <laughs> he is gorgeous, you know. He is gorgeous. Now, th see this? Yeah, that is oh. selenite. Wow. It's not glass, it's wow. made up of selenite. Gosh. How amazing. And there it is on the outside. That's in Rome, I believe. Um, he's just, just deleting all those messages, <laughs> aren't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah all, all the ladies that he has queuing up for him, isn't it? That's, you know it's true, Dan. But look at this. It's so magical. So magical. They literally glow. Are you ready for this incredible price point? That chatoyancy just rolls across the surface of your selenite. I, 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 do, you know, do you know what, Dan? I wasn't going to mention the fact. <laughs> straight away, straight away, I've got anxiety looking at your email. Um, <laughs> you have 525 emails that you need to open. <laughs> 520, I get anxious if I get more than 10. Yeah. You just spend some time <laughs> going through your emails. £24.99, that's for the eight mils. Um, again, imagine these were something like, I don't know, a black spinel or, or uh, an onyx oh, yeah. or a chrysoprase or, or some pearls. Or with like tigers out and then you have Ooh, the same sort of yes. effect in both. Both just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Don't uh, listen. That is it. That's all the quantity we have. Three, Warwickshire, Belinda, Julia, Maeve. That's it. That's all we have. So if you've got it in your basket, it's not staying there. Have a little look elsewhere. Um, like I said, it's difficult to get hold of selenite in in strands. Um, here it is as a necklace. Literally one, two, three, four. What's that? Five. Five individual beads. Sixty-three pounds. You could make that, couldn't you? I know you could. 63 pounds i'll leave it with you let's now do the six mil which historically is always one of the most popular oh oh well, in fact why haven't i done this uh, i'm gonna go for something Ooh. quite dramatic oh, beautiful. imagine that as a kit uh, oh can i have that as a kit <laughs> yeah monica if i ever get to make a kit like this it will it's on its way to you yeah how beautiful is that as a combination straight now uh, to the six millimeter size it's stunning you can understand why people believe that this is actually almost a created gemstone it's mother nature created and un oh it's sold out it's sold out shall we do an under five pound deal Okay. How about, hang on. Oh, yeah. Can I just do that? Oh. Eight natural. Did I hear the price correctly? Uh huh. <laughs> Faceted <laughs> garnets. There's gonna, we're going to show you two price crashes. For those of you that like to set gemstones like this into pearls, perfect. For those of you that do your gemstone setting, perfect. Yes, you did hear that price correctly. Wow. For the entire parcel, which is amazing. Absolutely incredible that we can even entertain or 
say those words. Um, I don't, uh, even if you've got no idea what you're going to do with these as of yet, get them home because you never know, it might be a medium that you, that you step into at a later stage. This early bird deal is so inexpensive for the quality that you are getting. You know, lesser grade garnet will be, well, will not have the refraction that you're seeing. Look at that play of light internally. So uh, refraction, it, it references basically a, a gemstone's ability <clears throat> to bend light internally. Uh, and garnet should have that in abundance. Just like these, you're getting all eight. Shall we say it, Monica, out loud? <laughs> Shall we say it? She's scared to say it. <laughs> How many do we have? 80 available. We're going to take this under five pounds today for the, for the entire parcel. Now, we have to stagger the calls, but I've told you, there we go, we've verbalised it. It will end up under five pounds, which means everybody pays that low price regardless of when you get involved in the show, in this auction opportunity. <laughs> Wait, you know, there's a clock. <laughs> I know, we're not stopping there. We're not stopping there. Oh. Miller put silver clay gemstone setting if you've got a dremel or you can ream maybe some big beautiful baroque pearls imagine one of these nestled inside even if you got these and you're thinking oh at some point they might be really nice in a nice flower design um but i don't do gemstone setting as of yet get the stones that's far harder to actually get hold of than the mount itself we're not even stopping at four pounds and 99 pence uh, Oh, oh, we're not even stopping at three ninety nine. dollars <laughs> you, Is your ghast flabbered? My ghast is flabbered, mm. yes. <laughs> Mine too. See, I'm imagining this, as, as you were saying, as flower petals oh, around, maybe so around pretty. a little pearl or a little diamond oh. or something like that. That would be gorgeous. Silver clay, maybe. Adam lost his, lost his ghast ages ago. <laughs> flabbered a long, long time ago. <sighs> <sighs> he was well and truly flabbered. Are you sure that's not just for the box? No. <laughs> you raise a really good point, though. We'd probably have to pay, I don't I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but surely £3.50 or £3.49, more accurately, wow. for the box. But yes, you are getting the natural, genuine gemstones. Look how perfectly colour matched they well, are, Monica. Somebody had to, somebody had to cut those and... and yes. Mine them. Pack them and mine them and... Colour grade them. Oh, gosh. All, all of the above. All of the above, £3.49. Wow. £3.49, exactly. Uh, so much potential with these. Again, I'm not, I'm not the most accomplished of jewellery makers, but I'm thinking about your deal of the day pearls. Imagine one of these set into a deal of the day pearl. Uh, or the other day when you had, um, last Thursday, you had Lovely Carol, didn't you? And you had that massive Keshi. Don't think that went unnoticed, Ross that you did the big Keshi without me. <laughs> Don't think that went unnoticed. I didn't see how low you went. Frankly, I was like, right, that's fine. That's fine. You did the Keshi without me. Imagine one of these set into that Keshi pearl. Oh. Was it really? 9.99. How big was it then? 18 mil. So one of these would be absolutely perfect oh, then. Beautiful, wouldn't it? Or sometimes we have like coins, pearl coins. Yeah. Or, or we, I've had some uh, pearl rectang like rectangular shaped nice. pearls. Those would be fun. And you don't have to have the Dremel to be able to do that. You can literally ream it. Because you've got to look at the measurements. These are, what, three millimetres. So you've only got to make room really for the coolie, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, and the pavilion of the stone. Loads of multi-buyers on this one. Well done. Catherine, Pauline, Julia, Karen, Jane, Gail, Caroline, Wendy. Keep dialing through, everyone. I can see you all there. Um, <clears throat> I do have some Kingsman turquoise. Now, um, King Kingman, sorry. Um, Kingman turquoise is in Arizona, and it's actually the oldest of all your USA uh, turquoise. Again, this was an ask um, on my part when I actually went across to Tucson. Um, you tend to, tended to have in the turquoise world, you, um, over in Arizona anyway, at the Tucson Gem Fair, there were two types of turquoise. 
um, that really got the limelight. I'm not saying there's not others, because there are, but the, the two that got the limelight were Sleeping Beauty, of course, and Kingman. Now, interestingly, the, this is the oldest variety um, of USA turquoise. Um, if you were to go, take, if I was to take you to the Kingman mine, it is literally blue turquoise on one side of the mountain, and then on the other side, it's green. Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely right. amazing. You get a really huge, huge quality of colour. Now, it is coming up in a few auctions time. Big collector's opportunity because it's normally very expensive. Now, who would love clearance deals on silver? Oh. We've got 100. Closed jump ring bundle. In what size? You get all of them. Ooh. Ooh. So why a closed jump ring, Monica? Why why would we choose a closed jump ring over an open jump ring? Are these closed as in sold good clothes? Yes. Oh, brilliant. I use those all the time. Actually, I use them in my necklaces as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just about to make some earrings as well, which I'm also going to use it in. They're great, especially for your seed beading, because um, if you think about fire line, it's very thin and very fine. So if you have a cut jump ring and you just go through it with your fire line, there's a good chance eventually it's going to come Work through. Work its way out. Or even if it doesn't come through the... The, the cut, even if it's a really uh, finely saw cut jump ring, it can sort of rub against the fire line and yeah. cut it ultimately. Which is obviously what you don't want. Now these are coming up. They are available on pre-order. Like, uh, like your Kingman turquoise, you can pre-order those. Now at nine o'clock, we are going to uh, bring these to you. It's a clearance deal on sterling silver, sentence should, that shouldn't be made. Um, there's a hundred, so I would definitely, definitely shop ahead. We don't see closed jump rings very often, and they're, they are a necessity, I would say. Oh, yes, gorgeous, Dan. Let's do the extender chains. That's going to stick, Dan. I'm so oh, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. To be fair, though, there's worse things that you could be called, isn't it? You know, I'd be quite happy if that's what... Yeah, that's it. You should say to your mates down the pub, do you know what my nickname is at work? They all call me gorgeous Dan. It's got the most steely blue eyes. Um, here we go. Right, look at this. Now, extender chains, that's what your graphics will say. But, Monica, they could also be like the carrier to the most beautiful bubble style They earrings. could. Or you could just put them on a shepherd's hook and your earrings are ready. <laughs> Away you go. <laughs> it will take seconds to it do will, that. It will, and it will be really sort of elegant, I think. Genuine sterling silver. So, 925 sterling silver. Genuine, baroque, uh, genuine culture pearl, rather, and you get four of them. Now, I launched these, and um, we had a big quantity, and they absolutely flew out the door. Being able to give that flexibility, uh, let's talk extenders for a while, because having the flexibility of being able to wear your necklaces, stroke chains at different lengths, because, you know, sometimes you can customise it to the outfits that you're wearing. But as jewellery makers, I know you'll look at the graphics, you'll look at the description and go, ah, oh, yeah, but they could be this, 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 and this. It doesn't have to be an extender chain. It doesn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as an extender chain, I put extender chains on 90% of my own jewellery. Yeah. Uh, unless I have a fancy toggle clasp or something, obviously. But if I, but anything else I always put, I mean, I can show you the back of my necklace that I'm wearing has got an extender chain because... Because as you say, depending on what sort of what blouse you're wearing. you're wearing, sometimes you want it a bit longer, sometimes you want it a bit shorter. And especially if you're selling jewellery, you know, it's so mm. hard to get just the right length, especially if it's a shorter neck. Well, we're not all the same shape and size, exactly. are we? Now, there are 26 left. We had 500, didn't we, Ross? Exactly 500. Gosh, I have a weird memory sometimes. Now, for all four... I, I remember. I remember sometimes the quant, not always, but the quantities and the price points. Um, it, this registered with me because I remember how low you took it for four. And I want to say it out loud in case I get it wrong. Did you, Ross? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, Knew I it. That as well. <laughs> I, it's I, obviously something that sticks in the memory. This when one. you recognise how good the deal is. Yeah. Yeah. There are 26, well, almost 500 of you recognised how good the deal was. Because at £2.50 each, you've got genuine pearls yeah. and genuine 925 sterling silver. I mean, literally, just put, like Monica said, just pop them on a, on, on a shepherd hook. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. You could put them all together in one amazing oh, tassel. Yes. yes, that would look fabulous as well. And it would be easy to also to make them all different lengths because you just cut one link off yep. one, you cut two links off the next one. 
instead of uh, having to chop up your chain, you've got it here. Yeah. I mean, for £2.50 each, by the time you get sterling silver chain and you get a pearl and you get a head pin, a True. sterling silver head pin, you know, by the time you've got all those components together, you spent two pound fifty on each already. Definitely. Anyway, definitely. Plus the time you and you're of course yeah, creating to it. actually make it. Yeah. The final twenty six Essex Lynn. Hello to London Wendy. You've got two Brenda. Well done to you. I've got Jan. Uh, Catherine, Tracy, Patricia and Kim uh, all with me on the web or on the phone lines check out 26 that's all we have left from this from the 500 quantity um, you can actually shop ahead and pre-order on your clothes jump rings you get them in two different sizes there's a hundred of those opportunities available and likewise with your Kingman turquoise Good morning. Don't be shy. Come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you here in the studio. Um, you can give us a text, 78070. Make sure you start your text message with JM Studio so it comes to us. Otherwise, it will literally carry on floating around up, <laughs> uh, up there above um, and never get to us. So make sure you start your text message with JM Studio. Barbara, well done. Multi-buying on this opportunity as well. Likewise, Kim, uh, stay where you are on those phone lines. The final, literally, couple... Four. There's four left. Okay. Shall we do? Ah, oh, these are gorgeous. They're absolutely beautiful. Now I've got twenty of each design, and they're brand new. Why have we only got twenty then? There was only ever forty available. Aha! So the other quantity's clearly gone in kits. So we're going to start with what the rows. Now, oh, look how beautiful this is. Oh. So, I mean, look how stunning that is. And then look at this. Oh. You have, oh, cubic zirconia literally all the way around. Flip that over. Isn't it stunning? Abso I, I'd almost use this, like, to gather up. Well, that's what I was thinking. If you had sort of a two or even a three strands, sort of, let's say a pearl necklace, and you put this in the middle, you'd have sort of like a Victorian look. Oh. Or you could have um, like a, a um, oh gosh, what's it called now? I've lost the word. You know when you have a long necklace and then... Uh, oh, I know, uh, like a lariat. A lariat, that's yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> and you can have this to join the lariat. Yeah. Bottom. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they're going to create beautiful sort of swathes, aren't yes. they? Gatherings, a bit like almost uh, curtain tiebacks do. Yeah. Or in the middle of a bracelet as well. Ah, oh, beautiful. A multi-strand bracelet, that sort of thing. So Love it. Oh, There's only 20 cool. of these. Uh, if there is any of them left come the end of the show, I'm going to be grabbing some of these. They're absolutely beautiful. Or again, as earrings. I mean, you could just put them straight on a shepherd hook. And if you have them like that and, and you have your shepherd hook, and you put your shepherd's hook directly on there, then it's going to sit the wrong way around. But there's no reason you can't turn the loop at the bottom of a shepherd's uh -huh. hook. And then it would sit the right way so that it faces forward. Or you can just add a jump ring in between, then it would face the right way around. Because I think that would make a really beautiful pair of earrings. Yeah, well. absolutely. And feed one onto a chain. Yeah. Actually use it as a pendant. These are super popular. Lynn in Lancashire, uh, you've got three. Essex, you've got two. Gabrielle, you've got yours. Jacqueline Kim, Brenda, Alice, Yvonne, Virginia, Jacqueline. Does anybody else, and my husband literally, you know when, when somebody doesn't have to say anything, but you mm. know what they're saying straight away. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I will admit, I am a little bit of a fuss pot around the house. I am a little bit. Um, and, you know, little things like when I come home from work, I can guarantee when I go and get changed straight into my sloppy clothes, yeah. um, I'll open the curtain, uh, the curtains will have been opened, and I'm like, you can got to arrange them. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you? Why does he not arrange the curtains? But that's the same with these. You can actually arrange oh, your jewellery, yes. can't you? So I'm like, oh, trying to arrange these. Like, for goodness sake, Al, they're curtains. <laughs> I know. They have to look pretty. They do need to look pretty. Yeah, absolutely. And I know the cats then go and climb them. But, um, but this is all about sort of arranging your jewellery. You can create really beautiful sort of swags and swathes. Could, Love the idea of a lariat. Yeah, you could also have two strands sort of looping through and then have them going that, oh, like yeah, that nice. as a double strand necklace. Very nice. We only had 20, though. I think we're on the verge of selling out. Uh, Virginia's got two. Kim's got two. I um, think they've almost gone. Oh, they have gone. There we are. Let's do the silver version. I wish we had more. I do. I mean, that looks like it could be a four-figure piece. Oh, it definitely is. Beautiful. Doesn't it? Beautiful. It literally looks like a four-figured piece of 18-karat gold 
with the finest diamonds. You could also um, get some gemstones or pearls and put them on head pins with a little wrap loop at the top and, and sort of attach them to the bottom of that. So five or six. Nice. Like in a cluster. That would be lovely. It would. Mm. You could treat them. For those of you that do things like resin, mm. you could almost Ooh, treat yes. it as a, a, a as a bezel. Yes. Or your milliput. £8.99. £8.99. Certainly incorporated into things like your, your, your chain mail, for example, because... What is it? It's basically a, a very high end, if you like, jump ring. Uh, hello, Angela. Good morning, Elle, Monica and team. Embarking on a new adventure today. Oh, love it. Um, a full time jewellery making. Very exciting. Oh, Hang good. on a second. Let me just put that down. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Well done, you. So not only is this your passion and your, your hobby, you've now made it your business. Congratulations, oh, Angela. Brilliant. That's awesome. Oh, I remember that moment for me as well. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Is, it, is it like literally it's like like an epiphany? All, it is, yes. It's like all your dreams have come at once. <laughs> yeah, because ultimately, we, I've always said, I've, I, mem I remember having a conversation with my brother way back when, and, and he actually said, no, he went, Elle, nobody loves their job. And I was like, what? Well, that's really no, that's sad that you say that. Because <laughs> no. I do. I absolutely love my job. I think you've just got to find the job that you love. Exactly, yeah. Um, and well done, Angela. That's exactly what you've done. Congratulations, darling. Right then. Oh, that's given me a right buzz, that has. Um, okay, awesome kits coming up. Booklet launch, Sarah Davis, the most amazing deal of the day. But right now, it's early bird. So again, if if you if you don't mind, I'm just gonna um, almost go back about a year, probably even a little bit more, um, when discussions first arose about the possibility of jewelry maker going to Tucson. Now, for those of you that haven't heard of Tucson, Tucson uh, is one of the well, it is the biggest gem show in the world. Um, and of course, on the back of uh, back of the, the pandemic, it was actually the first gem show to reopen. So I was really honoured and very excited to be invited to go. Um, and they said, right, OK, Al, so give us a list of the gemstones that you would like to uh, you would like to sort of report on and, and, and focus on um, over in Tucson. And you've got to bear in mind when you're in America, there's going to be more uh, of a dominance of USA gemstones, not solely USA gemstones, but mm. they're definitely going to be there. So your Oregon sunstones, for example, I had some lovely conversations with uh, with with uh, miners there. Kingman was probably the first one that I actually mentioned. A couple of reasons, really. Firstly, it's beautiful. And secondly, we don't get it a lot here at Jewelry Maker. We don't get a lot of it. Um, and that's because the it gets snapped up quite significantly um, um, by the biggest jewelry brands. Now, it's actually the oldest location of source in the USA of turquoise. Um, <clears throat> and it yeah, dates back literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years. But what's really exciting, it's still operational. Um, but if you were to see a photograph of the, uh, the Kingman mine, literally one side of the mountain is, is, is all about this beautiful blue, which is still the most popular colour. But literally on the other side of the mountain, um, it's all about the green turquoise. Um, but yes, the history of Kingman turquoise has been significant longer than Sleeping Beauty, longer than the Cochise. Um, it, is, it is the original USA turquoise. Um, don't worry, it doesn't matter. Sorry, that's no, okay. It's, it's been a while. Well, that speaks volumes, actually, Ross, because I've just said that you know we don't get it very often here, and I said I have got the actual PowerPoint that I spoke to um, the team with somewhere, um, but it's probably that long ago it's disappeared off the system. Look at this recording because you can also see the copper. Mm. You can also see the copper that is present within your Kingman turquoise. It's such an exciting deposit because it's got the, one of the most unique blues. Um, you know, really, really, really intense yeah. uh, duck egg blue. Beautiful. Um, to, get, uh, to get Kingman, to get Cochise, to get Sleeping Beauty, to get any of your, uh, your turquoise 
deposits, never mind just from Arizona, from all around the world in rounds is expensive, very, very expensive. Um, but the reason why this came into fruition is because basically um, I wanted to do it on the back of the Tucson show. I don't know if it, this is just literally landed, um, maybe a bit delayed, that happens from time to time. But what I can tell you is it's extra exclusive and one for the collectors. So just to put you in, uh, in the equation really, if we would have gone, if, if we'd have been together in Tucson, you'd have seen your Sleeping Beauty stands and you'd have seen your Kingman. Yeah. Um, you know, they really did get the limelight. Uh, limelight. It's a bit like, I don't know, um, it's a bit like, I don't know, let's see, Colombian Emerald um, and I'm going to say your Pantia. They were very much the two sources of, yeah, the top dogs of Emeralds. These would be the top dogs of your USA Turquoise. And it's easy to understand why. I mean, Monica, there's 50 of these. Yeah. It's normally astonishingly expensive, King yeah. and Turquoise. And be careful. Some people will take turquoise or, or maybe even not turquoise. They'll dye it. Um, and, of course, use that, use the history, the name. Um, we've spelt that wrong, by the way. It's Kingman, not Kings. I don't know if we can change that, Ross, can we? Uh, we'll get, can we get Wayne to? Because it's not Kings, it's Kingman. Um, anyway, uh, but they'll use the name. They'll jump on that on the tail feathers of, yeah. uh, of the Kingman deposit. This is certified Kingman turquoise, 50 carats in this gorgeous graduation. I mean, for me, Monica, this was some beautiful round pearls. Oh, yes. I mean, turquoise is one of those gemstones that's so historic, isn't it? Yeah. It's been used for for thousands of years in tribal jewelry, all sorts of jewelry like that. And this is kind of like, um, I would say, well, it doesn't sound so good, but it's the posh version of, gem, of, uh, of, of yeah, the gemstone. Totally, yeah. totally. You know, you know, this is a, this is a gemstone, be it yeah. from whatever location, yeah. um, is astonishingly expensive. But what's really exciting is the fact that right now we are looking at the oldest location of discovery in the USA uh, turquoise market. Um, and it still carries its weight in gold, if you, if you pardon the pun, because of that intensity of blue yeah. that you don't, it, for me, I love Sleeping Beauty, but it's a completely different blue to what you get at the Kingman mine. It, mm. This is more intense, if you like, a little bit more amplified. Now, if we were to stop here, that would be incredible. For Kingman Turquoise, that would be absolutely incredible. Uh, do you know what this is making me feel like right now? No, I need to buy this strand and I need to get some round, perfect round pearls and this would go on a rose gold, I'm thinking, like a yes. rose gold magnetic clasp. If you were to, so commercial, so high end, and you should definitely, definitely be multiplying the price that's on your screens. Yeah. Oh, I love the bit of, of uh, did you say it's bronze? Copper. 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 Because co uh, turquoise is often found around, uh, alongside copper deposits. Right. So if you find copper, it's, 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 it's a possibility you might find uh, turquoise and vice versa. They're great indicators of one another and it's one of the attributes that actually gives turquoise its colour. Wow. On split pay, 49 pounds and 99 pence. 50 of these exist. Well, see that split pay? We're not even closing there. Oh, I want to buy some of these. I need to get some of these. I'm hoping this doesn't sell out. Oh, Scott's in the building. He's going to tell me off for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually really hoping that this doesn't sell out. And, and for me personally, I'm a very basic jewellery maker. It'll be knotted. Um, alternating between this and some really gorgeous round pearls, yes. to top quality pearls, yeah. and again, a gold clasp, <clears throat> away you go. It's, that's no reflection of the true value. You try and find Kingman turquoise at anywhere near $39.99. Um, I think you're going to really struggle, really, really struggle, and obviously make sure that it, you are comparing genuine. Within our vault, this is the only Kingman turquoise that we have in rounds. The only Kingman turquoise we have in rounds. And you pay a premium for round cut turquoise because how it naturally forms. Nobody is paying 99.99. Nobody is paying 39.99. But what you are going to get hold of 50 carats of fine quality Kingman turquoise for today 
is 29, that's ludicrous. <laughs> it's ludicrous. It, it's, oh, a trade I couldn't get it, these kind of prices. That's, that's lower, I would think, that you would expect to pay for the same strand mm. if it was just your basic standard turquoise. Yeah, you'd pay more than that. No disrespect. Yeah. You'd pay more than that for Tibet Tibetan or Mexican mm. turquoise. Kingman turquoise, it's like, it is like, ah, uh, Mogok to a ruby. It is like, uh, I don't know, Os uh, Ethiopia currently to your opal. It's that premium location of source. It is like your Columbia to your emerald or your Panchia to your emerald. It's the pinnacle. And there are 50 of these. Um, I, oh, it looks like it's going to sell out. I want to get this too. I really want to join you on this opportunity. It's absolutely incredible. Keep it simple. That's what I think. If you're looking for selling, if you're looking to retail your jewellery, like our lovely Andrea, who messaged in a few moments ago, Kingman Turquoise, there's loads of information. I'm happy to share what I know as well uh, with you. So do get in touch on my presenter's page. Um, put Kingman Turquoise alongside some fine quality spherical pearls. Ah, oh, that's a three figure, a high three figure piece of jewellery if ever I saw it. Oh, yes, and I would definitely say get your authenticity certificate mm -hmm. as well for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because this is certified Kingman. Mm. How amazing. And you've just got it for 29 99 That's astonishing. You shouldn't be getting Kingman, uh, Kingman turquoise nuggets at that price. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Sheila Brenda, Elaine, Sandra, Elaine, Devon. Hello to you, Lynette, Gabrielle, Jane, Essex, Shirley, Sharon. Hello, Carol. Hello to you, Maria. Hello to you, Carola. Uh, Kim, Donna, Ella, Suzanne. You've all done it. There's names off the bottom of the screens as well. Uh, Jay Marie, Devon, Elizabeth, Jody, Isle of Wight, Karen, Bev, new customer, Catherine, Jackie, Gloucestershire, Sheila, Patricia, Samantha. Do you want to know how many's left? Fourteen. Oh, Linda, well done. Oh, I want to get some of those. This. Oh, Monica. Oh yes. <laughs> I just. I just. How have we only just connected yeah. the dots? With your, with your Egyptian necklace. Oh, can I hold it against it? <laughs> Please do. 12 o'clock. I imagine it, it, actually oh. having those as the drops. <gasps> At the bottom, oh, which way? This way. Oh, yes. Hello, Maria. What time are the Egyptian themed necklace kits coming up? Please. Or even 12 o'clock, my darling. 12 o'clock is part of your masterclass uh, with lovely Monica. How unbelievable, Maria, would this be? Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're going to want this back, aren't you? Ah, that, <laughs> right there. Yeah. You know our lovely Stu from Sewing Street? Yeah. He had a party at the V&A. Oh. I know. Oh, nice. I know, he was brushing shoulders <laughs> with the Kemp brothers. Oh, wow. How awesome is that? He's like just name-dropping a few celebrities that he saw. Um, anyway, that looks like it belongs in the V&A. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but that's a good texting topic. Who's the most famous person that you've met? Hmm. I don't know. I've... Robbie Williams? Is it, would he be Robbie Williams? That definitely counts, yeah. <laughs> um, the Oasis Brothers. Um, although I will say they weren't very friendly. Uh, who's the most famous person you've met? Um, probably you. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, I haven't met a lot of celebrities. I've seen. Seen Prince seen. Charles, Prince Charles. Well, I've seen I've seen a few in, in the theatre, you know, like in yeah. plays and things. But I don't know if that counts. That does count. Mm. That totally counts. From the front row, I suppose that counts. Yeah, you yeah. see the back of the head and things like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, always I'm more interested in them then than I am the actual <laughs> theatre show. Check out your baskets. It's so close. Has it sold out? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. From one amazing round strand to another. Are we doing the garnets? Again, Monica, this is so perfect with your kits. Oh, it is, isn't it? Because incorporating gemstones like garnets and turquoise. Oh. Why not? Yeah. Especially when it's at an early bird price tag. And this isn't just a 38 centimetre strand. This, oh, it's that. You know when you, uh, you know, what season of the year is when you start seeing those little, uh, the, you know, the really dark berries on your woodland walks and things like that? Yeah, Not blackberries. Like later in summer. What are the ones that are on those kind of like 
currants. Currants, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's that current colour, isn't it? It is, yes. And then imagine this um, in natural light. That's when those beautiful uh, sort of rich... Uh, deep current reds will really come into their own. Now, it's a full metre long strand. Are we doing this now? Okay. A brand new premiere of natural garnet in your six or seven mils. So, Monica, I mean, not just your Egyptian uh, necklace, although that would be absolutely perfect, being garnet, but also in the next hour. Yes. Because you've got colours like this yeah. in your elastics. Oh, yes. That would be perfect. That would be beautiful. You can use... I mean, you could add it into this kit. Yeah. Yeah. Colours like that. That would be absolutely amazing. Start dialing through. Simple stretchy bracelets. It's a metre in length. Totally natural. We always say pearls with garnets, don't we? Yes. I mean... Mmm. Oh. Just chipping our way. You don't mind us. If you love garnet, then make sure you start dialing through. Wow. 39.99. Yes, on your screens, I have to say it's not really doing it justice because on your screens, it looks black, doesn't it? Sadly, that's not the garnet's fault. That's actually our studio lighting because we have quite literally floodlights here in the studio. Um, not, 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 the, not the pretty spots that you might see on Hatton Garden or Bond Street, literally floodlights. But when you take garnet um, into natural light, that's when it really, really comes into its own. Monica, do you use your six mils in your necklace? Uh, you could. I haven't used them here, but you could, certainly. You could swap it, yeah. swap out. You could swap out the, uh, the size 2 gemstones. You could swap out the drops at the bottom. You could, uh, you know, you could just add them on as extras. Little extra mm. embellishments yeah. for that little je ne sais quoi. Now, we're going to do the most r ridiculous deal. Again, it's a metre um, in length as opposed to 38 centimetres. Not 39.99. Oh, I'm holding my breath because I've got a feet. Ah, yeah. oh, it's so low. Wow. <laughs> 300 carats just under wow. of natural garnet, genuine garnet. Again, I don't know. Let's bring back the selenite. What do you think? Oh, yes. Perfect. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to brighten your garnet. Oh, I love garnet. Have you ever been to Prague? Yes. And with the shop windows full of the, the garnet. Yes. It's like you have four types of shops in Prague. You've got the souvenir shops, then you've got a, a shop full of amber. Yes. Then you have a shop full of uh, like bohemian crystal, and then yes. you have the garnet. But it's so expensive. So expensive. But it looks amazing, a whole shop window just <coughs> full of just, uh, oh, it's just garnet. It's, it, it just personifies luxury, doesn't oh, it, garnet? It does. The colour of garnet. It would look so beautiful alongside to, uh, gemstones like serenite or obviously your pearls. We always mention that, as, of course. And your type A jadeite. Now, Lorraine, Jody, Midlothian, Natalie, Wendy, London, Erica, Brenda, Nicola, Helen. Listen, we've got a hundred of these. Time is ticking. It's a jam-packed Monday show. We shouldn't be going any lower, but Ross has just said, you know what, let's do it. It's going to be a big price crash as well. Going lower, he says. How much lower, though, Ross? How low can you go? Oh, you? Oh, that's pretty low. It's not, for a metre strand, what we call one of the... Well, it's going to go on and on and on and on. <laughs> so how many, how many gemstones would that be, then, on a metre, six millimetre? Oh, you're, you're the wizard, Matt. Um, well, 60 centimetres would be 100. Yeah. So 90 would be 150. I'll take you over for that, yeah. So, more than 160. So, you're t so, even if we said, what, 160, 170? 160, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, a, lot. that's a lot of <laughs> garnet, isn't it? Yeah. And we're going lower than 1999. Even lower than. In a few seconds' time, you're going to see a giveaway deal. Imagine it popped in between your beautiful pearls. Maybe your deal of the day. I think it would look lovely with your deal of the day. And of course, fourteen ninety nine. Marla necklace is up. Marla. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Do you know it's it's nine minutes past nine, and, and that's the first time I've mentioned the Marla <laughs> necklace, which is highly <laughs> unusual for me. Yeah, a very unusual because I love a Marla. Yeah, I love it. I love that. Yes. Don't get me started on it now. 
I love Marla necklaces. Something with like like citrine. We've got an awesome strand of citrine coming up. Um, it's going to be uh, brought to you throughout the course of this week. But imagine like sunshine, oh, sunflower yes. yellow yes. alongside garnet. Oh, Beautiful. it's a clearance deal for you all, even though it's a brand new premiere. Uh, hello to you, Maria and Surrey, Gabrielle in Midlands. Hello to you, Leslie, Lynette, Janice. Hello to you, Kent, Pauline, Erica, Brenda, Lorraine, Jodie. You've done it as well, Midlothian. Hello, Natalie. Hello to you, Wendy, London, Mandy, Glenda. New customer, Kent, Nicola, uh, Helena, Nuno. Hello to you, Maeve, Devon. I can't keep up with you all. There's people wanting massive quantities. Do make sure you check out your baskets then. Um, Okie dokie, stay where you are because there is still so much to bring you um we're going to bring you the closed jump rings immediately after the break but what we will also do is put all of monica's kits on pre-order so use this time in the break so you can actually have a have a little peruse uh, see which colorways that you might fancy you can pre-order i can guarantee that they are all going to a low price point that's all the w's at jewelrymaker.com if you literally scroll down a bit you can uh, click watch live and then um, on the on the right hand side, I think it is of the website. So click watch live, and then there you go. See that pre-order? Mm -hmm. You have to click pre-order. There we go. And then and they are going lower. There's the jump rings too, lower than these prices. Um, so do shop ahead. Don't go anywhere though, because we've got the wonderful talent of Monica after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hey guys, it's Sarah Davies here. I just want to say you have got to tune in on Monday because it is going to be a big day. I'm going to be in the studios and I am taking over. I'm going to be on Sewing Street Live from 8 o'clock in the morning, Jewelry Maker from 11 o'clock and then Hobby Maker from 1 o'clock. Now, when we do one of our big takeover days, trust me, it is a day you do not want to miss. We've got goody bags, we've got some amazing special deals, I've got a ton of demonstrations, brand new product launches, I've got the team in with me, it is going to be epic. So whatever you do, do not miss it. Whether you're a sewer, whether you love your jewellery making, whether you love your paper craft, we've got something for everyone. So I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock on Sewing Street, from 11 o'clock on Jewellery Maker, and from 1 o'clock on Hobby Maker. We'll be there all day. I can't wait to see you there.
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Okay, clearance deal on sterling silver and a component we don't see every single day. And in fact, if you, especially if you're new, you might be thinking, why do I need a closed jump ring as opposed to an open jump ring and vice versa? Actually, there is, there's a lot of perks to a closed jump ring. Yeah. If you imagine you are knotting a pearl necklace or you are creating Monica's beautiful designs with something like your fire line. If you then attach that thread onto an open jump ring, there is a probability that the silk, the thread, whatever you use, the tiger tail, could find that opening and literally come off. Yeah. Whereas obviously with a closed jump ring, that's not going to happen. Yeah. And I mean, if you think about it, I mean, I don't know if you can show the back of this necklace mm -hmm. to see where I've used the closed jump Let's ring. spin it round. Can we see that? So can you see there? Uh, yeah. There. So those are closed jump rings, so right? So this, this end is attached with just the, the, the thread. And if you imagine, I mean, I've got a few passes of the thread there. So even if it's a really well cut jump ring, um, it might not come out of the jump ring, but every time it moves, that cut in the jump ring is going to sort of damage your thread a little bit. Yes. So, and then you might think, but how am I going to use a, a closed jump ring? What if I need to remove it or something? Well, you can attach your closed jump ring to your piece like I've done there, and then you can attach an open jump ring to that. Yes. Which then becomes removable if you want to ever change a clasp or anything like yes. that. Yes. So, I mean, this one is built in because I've put the wrap loop right onto the jump ring as well. But if you wanted it to be removable, you just then add an open jump ring. Um, They're also good connectors. They are, definitely. Aren't they? Yeah. Now, we had 100, 22 have gone on pre-order. Um, sterling silver, 925, and you have nine and a half grams. The auction is open. You're not just getting the one size, you're actually getting two different sizes. My only wish was that, uh, that we had more. I, I wish we had. 300, 400, 500 of these. To me, if we had that quantity, it would be a deal of the day, for sure. Um, there really is. I had to source closed jump rings from one of our close competitors because we didn't have them in stock. Well, I did as well, and they're not easy to find. No. To Especially the sterling silver ones. No, um, and, and of course, paid a much higher price tag when yeah. I actually did yeah. that. Um, but we're going to do it at a closeout deal, even though they are like literal gold dust in our vault. Um, if there's any of these available, come the end of the show, again, I'm all over it as well. Now, what, you, what pardon? If we went to a pound each, yeah, that's awesome, because what do you need? You need two. Yeah. <laughs> For a bracelet or a necklace, you need two. That's not a close-out deal, though. And there's a reason why so many of you are on the phone lines, because we've maybe actually gone, oh, yeah. Actually, that's happened to me, or actually, yeah. I'm making jewellery to sell, like Andrea, who messaged earlier on. You know, Andrea, you wouldn't want an open jump ring because you, surely, I'd imagine, at the back of your mind, you're going to be worrying yeah. of whether that thread is either going to break or work its way out. Exactly. And I mean, you can use French wire, but especially with your seed beading, if you want to make more than one pass, you can't go through the French wire more than True. once because you can't go around the curve. True. So uh, I've got an invention, you know. Have you? Mm. Yes, what's that? Watch this space. 
Okay. Let's just say, if you like French wire, I've, I've, I've got an invention to come up with something better. Oh. I actually, I actually have. I should, I should patent it. <laughs> Currently in the process of seeing if, it, it, if they even exist out there. But something perfect for your uh, for your necklaces like that. You're going to tell me in the break. I'll tell you in the break. Okay. <laughs> Forty nine <laughs> ninety nine on all that sterling silver. That's working out at fifty pence per open jump ring. Let's scoop some of these up so you can actually see. Um, uh, you know, what, op closed jump rings, open jump rings. Open jump rings actually have a place. Of course, they do. Yeah. Um, um, but you're full closed, meaning there's no interruption in that spherical shape. Um, they're needed. They are an absolute necessity. I almost got it right, didn't I? <laughs> There's a clock ticking away. <laughs> Five and seven millimeter. That's your internal diameter. Is that right? Internal? Outer. Okay, so internal diameter is three and five. Mm -hmm. Three and five mil, because you obviously drop the millimeters um, of the thickness of the wire. Now, they're already flying. They will sell out. Do you have many in your stash? I do now, but it's, it's been hard to find, but I have. I do because I had to buy them from somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I definitely I paid mean, I've more. been asking for jewelry to, to get these in for years <laughs> um, and then here we are you're on screen you can't do anything about it you can't make the most of this close out deal let's hope that it is part of now our essential collection i think they need to be don't they yeah, they definitely. do need to be part of our essentials uh, line oh goodness me that's nine and a half grams of precious metal Mark the other day did, you know, had the hemp cord on, uh, on our screens and he took one jump ring, one closed jump ring like this, macrame from either side. So on oh, trend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, um, if you remember for seed beading, we had the little uh, metal frames that you can bead around. We well, can do that around a larger closed jump ring, so the larger one that you've got there, and that makes a really pretty sort of um, negative space in the middle of your oh, beading. Yeah. So a that's bit of negative space. Negative space, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, we're already at a brand new low. Half the stock has gone. Another half are in the bas in baskets, but don't let that put you off. First come, first serve. I would say I use closed jump rings probably more than I use open jump rings. Me too. Yeah. Definitely. Unless you put things like uh, uh, like charms on. Um, obviously, but yeah, I would use closed jump rings more than I would do yeah. open jump rings. Because obviously yeah, most of my work is seed beading, so for seed beading, yeah. it's, it's the closed jump rings. Yeah. So would you say as a seed beader, a, a closed jump ring is maybe one of your um, go-tos? Definitely, yeah. We're going even lower. You're, that's already at, at lowest ever price point. We'll speak to our lovely buying team. Caroline, if you're watching right now, we need more closed jump rings. We do, because they're an absolute necessity. And once these are sold out, we don't have any more in the vault that we know of. They might be on order. Um, we're at the lowest ever price point and we're going to a brand new low. Can I also throw this one out there to the powers that be? Just on a, uh, just on a hope that they are watching. Uh, wouldn't it be awesome if we had these in gold? Oh, yes. I love yes. these in, in gold. Like, even if you did little packs of 10, like 10, yeah. 18 karat gold oh, yes. clasps. Oh, yes. How beautiful would that be? 29. 99. Wow. <laughs> Donna, hello to you, Veronica, Catherine, Kim, Sheila, Christine, Linda, Tipperary, Mary, Tina, hello to you, Millie V, uh, Cheshire, Linda, Kim, Sheila, Veronica, uh, SJ, Susan, Patricia, and Barbara. Loads of you there. We had a hundred of these available. You've got to check them out. Um, I'm, still to, I'm still on about it, you know, the gold. We still need the gold. I'm still harping on about it. I haven't shut up. I haven't shut up about Have I, Ross? No. <laughs> No. Do you notice how he didn't hesitate then? <laughs> no, no hesitation. <laughs> no. 18 karat gold clasps. That's what I was talking about. It's like, God, she still hasn't shut up about it. I, I think we should have them. I think we should have them here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, yeah. And they're really expensive yeah. to buy elsewhere. Because you know what? I, I, the, where I'm getting my 18 karat gold for those pearls, I have to get it from Italy. Italy. And these are expensive. 
We should be doing them. Hello to you, Michael L. I've searched for uh, your French wire replacement invention on Etsy. Oh, have I told, have I leaked my, have I told it already? Um, padded up, uh, paddled up the Amazon and Googled and there isn't anything out there. Patent it. Michael, don't you think it's a good idea? I, sp I spoke to our Anne and Sue and I was like, right, do we have something like this? And they were like, no. I went, would you use it? And they're like, yes. Now you're gonna I, need tell tell you. I need to tell you. I need to tell everybody. <laughs> right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And if I, because we're all friends. <laughs> Ross, I trust our viewers. <laughs> I trust our lovely viewers. Oh, okay. Ross is saying, don't tell everybody because he said, if you do, then I might steal the idea. <laughs> okay, I'm coming up with the idea of the perfect replacement. Shall I just say that? The perfect replacement to your threading. Okay. And meaning you're not going to even need clothes. Yeah, I need to, I don't know. How do, how do we go about patenting it? I have no idea. <laughs> I've got no idea either. But I'm gonna, um, I, and I promise, if I if I do make fortunes, I will still come here because I love my but job. You know, can I also say, you know that um, that clothes jump rings are special to me because I have my huge big box of findings, boxes mm. of findings at home that I use every day for all my jewellery, and then I have a special little pot on my desk which is just for clothes jump rings. Ah, <laughs> they are their favourites, aren't they? Yeah. If they're not even in the box with all the other goodies, no, no, they they are a definite their own favourite. Space. <laughs> <laughs> have a little look on the website as well all the w's at jewelrymaker.com um, and you can shop ahead on the kits they are going lower than those prices obviously michael thanks for messaging in clearly i must have i'm i'm a bit like mark smith i can't keep secrets so i'm like oh that's a good idea let's just share it with everybody shall we so um yeah leave that with me michael you never know we could work on it together couldn't we work on it together see if we can come up with this brand new idea uh 29.99 on the verge of selling out as you can see from the 100 quantity that we had this morning we have just 12 of them left um shop ahead on your kits all very much about your colored elastic um, which is a thing of beauty it is yes i mean i've used it in some of my jewelry i've used it to show off the elastic itself mm. yeah why wouldn't you yeah because i think it makes really nice sort of uh, festival jewelry really oh, definitely colored elastic yeah uh, look, speaking of festivals, um, I need to I need to speak to um, Ross. You're an you're an accomplished festival goer, aren't you? Uh, yes, a bit of a festival veteran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a bit of advice because I tried to um, do uh, um, buy Glastonbury tickets. It's not a case of you just go on and buy them. I have to register oh. and apply. I have to apply. I have to send a passport photo. What? what? I've just said the pro what? they have to vet me. Oh. It's, it's, but I understand it though, it's because of ticket sales. I was like, do you know what? I don't think I can be bothered. I don't think I can be bothered. I just want to buy my ticket, please. A friend of mine went to uh, uh, Silverstone this weekend for the. Yes. For the Lucy was at Silverstone. Presenter Lucy. Lucy. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Oh, my friend's also called Lucy, so I was confused there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, kind of. Yeah, well, that's kind of like a festival as well, which yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. And if you go to Ascot, if you go in the Royal Enclosure, you have to you have to have uh, um, DBS checks and everything. I went to the Royal Enclosure um, once upon a time, and yeah, really strict on what clothes you wear. Really? Um, you have to wear a hat in the Royal Enclosure, mm -hmm. or certainly did when I went anyway. And um, yeah, you get DBS checked and everything. Mm -hmm. I understand it. You're in the Royal, royal area, you've got Queenie just there, and you're so going to get it. Um, anyway, yes. Um, and Silverstone looks amazing, doesn't it? Um, I must go to Silverstone one day. Tom Cruise was rocking around, wasn't he? Oh, was he? Feeling the need for speed. It's not um, far from my house, Silverstone, actually, just there where Is it? Yeah. Can we stop over? Yes, of course. Happy fun. <laughs> um, and Keanu Reeves was there. Yeah, Lucy does all the older. Uh, and Drew, he was singing there as well at Silverstone. Oh, really? Oh, Drew, he looked like he had the, the whole band was singing, Sweet Caroline. <laughs> right then, okay. Let's get cracking with your kits. Which one? Where do I begin? Big orange? Big, Big orange. orange. <laughs> Big orange. And what colour elastic is it? This? Oh, doesn't that go perfectly with that? There's four. Oh, you get all four? Oh, it's a, 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 a... Right, okay, that's different. I was a bit confused. So you're actually getting four of the spools of your elastics. Ah, oh, we were only saying the other day that we haven't seen Carnelian in a while. Yes. Oh, what a lovely sort of 
It's kind of autumn colours, but it, it just goes together so well. I love it. Absolutely love it. Look at those colours of elastic as well. You've got something like it, almost like a glass of red wine. You've got your uh, tangerine uh, oranges. You've got, yeah, like cranberries. And then you've got a strawberry-like colour. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? This, this would be my mum's favourite kit. She's watching probably. Oh, so. uh, hello, Monica's mum. <laughs> hello to you. Oh, I bumped into Clay McDonald's mum the other day when I was round about. She's like, oh, hi, Ralph. Yes. Just kind of just rubbing oh. shoulders with all the guest designers, lovely mummies. Hello uh, to Lanarkshire. Patent uh, through the gov.uk site. Looking forward to Monica's wonderful demos. Thank you, Lanarkshire. I'm going to look into that. I wonder, how do I find out, though, if somebody's already patented it? I couldn't find anything. You can search it, can you? Right, I'm going to do it. Going to do it. Yeah, go for it. And then you can have the official launch oh. here at Jewelry Maker. I'll do the product testing. Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, it's okay, yeah. So uh, Paul is just saying in my ear is good. I can walk you through it because I, pant uh, I patented manflets. <laughs> Love it. I wonder if anybody has patented manflets. Anyway, back to the kids. Um, this is lava. Oh, yes, you can feel the heat. Yeah, it's a little definitely. bit uh, uh, fire opal as well, isn't it? You've oh, got those wonderful yeah. colourways. Oh, yes. Um, in terms of uh, workability with a kit like this, you can go really simple with your stretchies, yep. can't you? Yep. I mean, it's just a case of threading them on and then tying a knot in your elastic. Um, you can use a little bit of glue on your knot as well, or you can you know, a little bit of clear nail varnish to help hold it. And then I would usually put a crimp cover over the knot. Yeah, me too. Um, or, I mean, these gemstones, some of them, the holes are big enough that the knot will slide into the gemstone, so that, that, that will hide your knot as well. You can snuggle it away. Yeah. We're not stopping at 29 mm -hmm. We are going to make an announcement. Six kits. You can shop ahead. All, each of the six kits, shall I say it? Are going under £20. 60 seconds and we're going to drop that price. You know what? I'm, I've got to show you. Yes. This is another one of the kits. How beautiful that would be alongside it. It's just Definitely. it's the orange colours, but in the smaller size. Yeah. So yeah, I'd be I'd be Definitely tempted put those to those together. Them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Shop ahead. You can you can secure all of your kits safe in the knowledge that they are all going under twenty pounds. And we're not just talking about nineteen ninety nine either. No, that's not what Ross is about. He doesn't mean a penny. Because let's be honest, Ross, you're a practical kind of guy. You'd round up, wouldn't you? You round up, don't you? Yeah, me too. And I mean, if you're selling your, your jewellery, and even if you just make stretchies, it's, it's just a nice um, feeling when, you, when you're putting it on and you can see the colour in between rather yeah. than the clear, clear elastic. I think it's, it's attention just, um, to detail, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Attention to detail. It's only going to warm those, uh, those stones, only going to complement the gemstones as well. I mean, we were super excited about the launch of this, uh, the, 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 the coloured, uh, the coloured elastics. Um, so all jewellery maker elastic. These haven't been sourced from anywhere else other uh, than in our, uh, ourselves here. Love it. I absolutely love it. And I think, you know, elastic is always a big, a big seller for us here. But now we can st start incorporating, look, look at the gemstone. Guess the gemstones. You've got tanzanite colour or amethyst. You could use that with your rose yeah. quartz. You're getting 10 metres on each of those spools. And also, can I just say, there's different thicknesses of the elastics. So the ones in this kit, for example, uh, they're the one millimetre elastic, which is right. great for the, for the larger gemstones that it comes with. And then some of the other kits have got thinner uh, elastics which are really great because I don't have any other elastic that will go through the three millimetre gemstones. No. So, yeah. Whereas these, the small ones do. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay. Oh, this next kit is going to fly, Monica. Because, you know, it's going under, under £20. Amethyst and rose quartz. Oh. Do you know, I, we, we mentioned Marla necklaces. I'm a big fan of a Marla necklace, but I'm, sometimes we don't have the time to not, do we? Sometimes we're so busy that we just don't have that time. So how about just creating an over-the-head necklace? Stretchies don't have to be solely yeah. for your wrist. You can you absolutely use them at the top of the head. You are going to love this colourway. It's great, isn't it? Oh, hang on, hang on. I need to break that up. That makes me feel better. Thank you. <laughs> I just, I, yeah, that's gorgeous, isn't it? 
That's almost like a tanzanite. And you could do something knotted with with uh, elastic as well, you know, yeah. you not be elastic in between your gemstones too. I think Rachel did, didn't she? Didn't Rachel uh, actually sort of plait with it? Yeah, I've, I've done that as well. Have you? Yeah, this one here. Oh. So it's just the elastic uh, with the four, it's a four strand plait. That's so cool. And that's quite thin because that's with the thinner elastic, but if you did it with the thicker elastics, it would be a bit more, um, well, it would be wider. <laughs> 16.99. Do you know what that that looks like? Some, that looks almost edible, doesn't it? Yeah. It, looks, it looks like oh, it looks like some kind of sweets. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, like strawberry laces, only prettier, far prettier. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. I mean, you're getting genuine amethyst, well, yeah. genuine rose quartz. I mean, that's easily just the price of the gemstones. Totally. I was. I was. Free. Yeah. yeah it's, I mean, eight pound fifty per strand. They're big. Mm -hmm. They're big strands. Well, we're looking at measurements, what, 10 millimetres in their size. Yeah, massive carat weights across the two, sibling gemstones. And then, yeah, I think, I think personally you're buying your gemstones and you're getting your elastic for free. Yeah, and I mean, with the thicker elastics, I mean, as you were saying, with the large gemstones, with the thicker elastic, you can easily make a necklace that just mm. goes over your head. I mean, especially if somebody's got dexterity problems, you don't want to fiddle with a clasp. How easy is it just to put it over your head? Totally. Yeah. You haven't got to put a clasp in there, don't you? No. You know, at the end of the day, elastic, it, it works just as well around the neck. Yeah, I mean, this one, I made this one that way, actually. This one doesn't have a clasp. Has that got elastic? Is that an elasticated necklace? It is, yeah. It, it, it's also great. If you know someone that's got children, um, I, I, you know, I've got, I've got an, uh, a 19-month-old who particularly likes, she's, she's at that age where she's very interested in jewellery. Mm. And having elastic means that it's got that little bit more... Yeah flexibility make sure you check out your baskets that's gorgeous um okay oh, i love yeah. this one i want to buy this next kit this is beautiful that was one of the kits that i had so that's that's the necklace that one. this is beautiful it is yes i love those colors very you <laughs> very me yes i can imagine alice making these kits going it's got to go to monica <laughs> it simply has to go to monica now look at that there's the elastics that's stunning already four spools these are the the finer gauges, is that yes, right? Yes, it is. Uh, um, 0.6, mil 0.6 millimetres. 0.6 um, in your purple, light pink, and obviously you've got the different shades. Three strands of gorgeous gemstones as well. Um, you've got amethyst faceted rounds. Uh, phosphosiderite in your faceted rounds and also rose quartz. Yes, the elastic will breeze through these, as Monica has just said. Yes. And, and complement them as well. Perfect. I love this kit. Was this one of your favourites? It was, yes. And actually, the reason I made this necklace, um, let's just wait for the price first because I want to see what it is. <laughs> for 14 pounds. In a while. I mean, again, that's less than what the gemstone should be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I made this necklace because it actually reminded me of this kit. When I was at university, I had a necklace, which was a stretchy necklace. Yeah. And of course, back then, I couldn't afford gemstones. So it was just seed beads. And I didn't make it, I bought it. It was a, uh, a, an elasticated necklace with just one single strand of, of seed beads on, and I wore that 24-7 throughout my entire five years at university. Wow. Um, so that's so nostalgic, these It kids, is, then. yeah. That's yeah. what it reminded me of, so that's why I made that necklace. But it didn't have the, the beady beads on. It was just a single strand, but uh, the same colours, definitely. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. £14.99 gets you all three genuine gemstones plus... Uh, the four spools. Hello to you, Maria. Hi, Monica. Love your designs. Uh, can you use um, a, the elastic on a loom? Oh, that's a good question. You can. I don't see why you couldn't. Yeah. As, as, your, uh, as your warp threads. Yeah, because you can loom a... Well, you get the, the elastics that go on um, the endless loom. So those are sort of endless rubber, rubber bands, essentially. Yeah. But uh, I don't see any reason why you couldn't use this elastic uh, on a normal loom. No. Yeah. I don't see. In fact, that would be lovely. It would, yes, because it would make your bracelet stretchy, wouldn't stretchy. it? Stretchy, mm. absolutely. So you haven't got, again, you haven't got to worry about clasps and those kind of things. Yeah. Which is tricky, I know, with looming. And I mean, if it works with the endless loom, Obviously, the, 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 design, the design works, so it's just a case of this is the same thing, but you put clasps on the end. 
Amazing. This kit's flying out the door. Monica, which of your fabulous designs are you going to demonstrate? Well, I'm going to show you how to make um, this earring here because it shows you two things. Uh, first of all, we talk about beady beads all the time, but I, I think it's probably been years since we've showed how to make a basic that's true, it has been a long time. It has. Um, the other three kits, by the way, are available on pre-order, so do feel free uh, to shop ahead on those, knowing that they are also going under £20. So um, you can get those gorgeous orange tones in the smaller sizes, and then the bluey greens, and then larger bluey greens as well, with complementary elastic. So we might need to scoot you. Are you in the right place? I think I am now. Oh, you are now? Yeah. Okay, you seem very far away. Well, I was over here, but then they showed me the overhead camera. Okay, so we have another round. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. So yeah, so I thought I'd quickly show you how to make a basic beady bead, and then in those earrings, I used it as a almost like a, um, a, a a tassel topper, I guess you could say. So I quickly show you how to do that as well. I mean, it's really quick and easy to make. Now I made those um, beady beads using monofilament, but I'm going to use the fire line here and two needles, just because you can see the the fire line a bit better than if I was using the clear monofilament. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with monofilament, you don't need needles, but for the fire line, I'm going to have to use needles. So to make a, your basic little beady bead, you need 12 beads. So easiest is if you just take your 12 beads. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Take your 12 beads off your strand. Then you know you've got them all there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So to make a basic beady bead, you're just going to take... You're going to take your first three gemstones and you're going to thread them onto your thread. So you don't need much thread. You need probably about 30 centimetres of thread. Not even that, but you want to sort of have something to hold on to. So... Thread on your three beads, bring them down to the middle of your thread, okay? Then you're going to pick up another one and you're going to go through it with the one end of your thread, okay? Then hold on to that bead and then you're going to take your other thread and you're going to go through it in the opposite direction, okay? So when you pull that tight, pull both, both of those strands tight, then you're going to have a little circle of beads, just like that, okay? Then you're going to pick up one bead on each end of your thread. Okay, bring those down as well. Then again, you're going to pick up one, which will be, uh, I guess you could call it a crossover bead. So you're going to go through it with your one, oh, with one end of your thread. Just like that. Okay, hold on to it. Go through in the opposite direction with the other end of your thread. Pull that tight. Okay, so now, if, I, if you put it flat, you've got almost like two little loops there, okay? Then you're going to do the same thing a third time. So you're going to pick up one bead on each of your threads. So one that side, one on the other side, okay? Bring those down. And then again, you're going to do a crossover. So you're going to pick up one bead. You're going to go through from the one side through from the other side. Okay, and again, you're going to bring that down. So now you've got sort of three loops. This is actually a basic um, ladder stitch uh, or a right angle weave if you're a seed beater, um, which actually ties in with my demo later on as well. So it's the same kind of thing, really. Okay, then for the last one, you're going to do the same again. So you've got two beads left. You're going to pick up one on each end of your thread. Okay, there. And again, you're going to bring them down. Now, this time, what you want to do is if you have a look at these, so this is the beginning of my next little loop here. So what you want to do is you want to bring this end over to join onto that end. So you're going to use this bead as your crossover bead on that end. So basically, if you just leave it sitting like that, and you're going to take your two ends of your thread and you're going to go through this bead in the opposite directions, okay? So go through with your one side of your thread that way. Okay, then you're gonna go through with the other side of your thread in the other direction. Okay. Right, I'm just trying to keep it flat so you can see what I'm doing. So when you pull that tight, okay, so you'll see that this end is gonna close up to the other end and then that's made your little beady bead there okay and then what you what you want to do is 
obviously these sides of your beady bead are all joined together because that's how you made the loops. But you've got the two ends of your beady bead. So if I turn it sideways, so you've got the four beads here, which were the side beads on your beady bead. These are not joined to each other. You've got little gaps in between there. Okay, so the, these four beads can open out a little bit and that's what you're going to be using to add your tassel in. Now, for the top section of your tassel, you don't want that, those side beads to open out. You want to close them up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your thread. So if I'm looking at my beady bead this way, the way that I've pulled them together, the side beads, you want to take one side of them and you want to go through all the beads to join them together to pull them close together to each other. So I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm going to go through those four beads, which were the side beads of my little ladder that I made earlier, to join those together to each other. Now, if you're just using it as an ordinary beady bead, you don't necessarily have to, use, to do this bit. It will hold together just fine without it. It's just if you want to um, use it with the, the way I'm going to use it as a bead cap, or if you want it to be a little bit tighter, then you want to do this and you want to go through. So I started going through that bead there. So I've gone through all four. You want to go through the first one again to sort of close that loop that you've used to join them up. So now you can see these four can't open out anymore if you pull that thread tight. Um, they're kind of snuck together because you've made a pass through like that as well. So you can see the ones on the other side are kind of loose and they can still open out. Okay. So I'm just going to take this thread through this one here that I used to join the ends and I'm going to pass it through one of the, the side beads and you'll see why a little bit later on. Okay, then I'm going to put that aside for a second with my opening at the top. So those are the four that are not joined to each other. So I've got that facing the top and put that aside for a second and I'm going to use my elastic now. So I'm going to cut, um, I cut probably about a 40 centimeter section of each of my colours of elastic. So okay. that's going to go a long way then. You've oh, got yeah. 10 metres on each reel. Oh yeah, <laughs> it goes a very long way. And I'm using quite a lot of elastic. I mean, you would, you would use probably one of these pieces, not even as much as this for one bracelet, if you were mm. just making stretchy bracelets. So it goes a long way as stretchy bracelets. But um, for this, I, I was making a bit of a feature of the elastic. So that's why, why I'm not? using a bit more of it. So I've cut four equal, equal lengths of my four elastics, okay? And then I'm just going to take them, fold them in half, bring them all together. Oh. Okay, so fold them in half, so bring the loose ends together, just like that, okay? And then I'm going to take a piece of 0.6 millimeter wire, okay? And I'm going to take my round nose pliers, which I haven't taken out yet, here we are. And I'm going to make, I'm going to start making a wrapped loop. So I'm going to bring my wire around my pliers, switch to the other prong and bring it around. And I'm going to stop there when I've got that shape. Okay. I'm going to open, out, open it out a little bit so there's a bit of a, an opening there. And then I'm going to take these elastics and I'm going to thread them into that loop that I've made in my wire. So put those all into there. This is as if you were adding a piece of chain to um, a wrapped loop, okay? And then just hold it like that. And the 0.6 wire is quite soft, so you can just hold it with your fingers and just do your wrapped loop around there. It doesn't have to be terribly neat because it's going to be hidden inside of your beady bead. So just wrap it around. Just try to keep it fairly tight because you're actually going to wrap over this again later. But then you can use your flat nose pliers, which I also haven't got here yet. Here we go. Uh, well, first you want to cut it off. Just cut off the excess. Okay. And then just use your flat nose pliers just to neaten that up a little bit. And then what you want to do is, at the moment, these elastics here are loose inside that loop at the bottom. So I want that loop to hold my elastics securely. So I'm just going to switch over to my other hand so I can hold it like that. And I'm going to use my flat nose pliers to flatten this loop a little bit over those elastics. So again, this doesn't have to look particularly pretty because it's going to be hidden, but you just want it to hold on to the elastic. Have I flattened it enough? I think so. So now that's kind of holding my elastic. Um, so it's not pulling through, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, straighten my wire a little bit. 
So now I'm going to take my beady bead. So I've got, this is the side here that's not joined together, so that's kind of loose. I'm going to go into my beady bead from that side, okay, which is kind of loose. And then what that's going to do is it's going to let my elastics go into my beady bead because that side opens a bit more than the other sides. Okay, but it's not going to come out at the top because remember we joined that side together. So this side is quite tight, but this side is bigger and it's more open. So it allows my tassel to go inside there. So you can use it kind of like a bead cap. Okay, then I'm going to quickly make another loop here. You want to do this loop first before you do anything else so that it doesn't fall back out again. You make another wrapped loop at the top here. Try to bring it as close as you can to those loops that are already there. Just use your flat pliers and then you can wrap your wrapped loop around those existing wraps that you did there earlier. So which also helps to hide them, but it also makes it a little bit fatter to make it harder for it to go back through um, your gemstones. Okay, so you've got your loop there, cut off the excess wire there. Right. Now we do have another colorway that matches the kit that uh, um, you're demoing with. So okay. if I may just interrupt that? for one yes, second, um, just because I want to get those prices right down for you all. Um, again, beautiful, genuine gemstones that you're getting here. I love your adventurine. Those of you that are, of course, uh, fans of Imperial Jade, but maybe don't have the Imperial Jade uh, budget, then this is a fantastic, fantastic alternative. Um, alongside um, a very quintessential English gemstone I always feel not in terms of its origin but certainly in terms of its actual appearance beautiful so delight yeah it reminds it very much reminds me of like your uh, your royal Worcestershire doesn't it the crockery that you oh, might get yes. you remember you used to get at your granny's house um, now alongside you've got four spools of your elastic again in your complementary colors we're not stopping here either Monica we promised them under 20 pounds yes when do you see so delight how often do you see it not very very rare that you get sewed light opportunities. Here we go, fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence again. I think you're literally getting hold of the gemstones mm -hmm. and you're getting all of our new elastic for free. I mean, I would pay that just for that sew the light strand. Yeah, me too. Me too. And perfect if you love doing things like we've mentioned it, haven't we? Uh, like your stretchy overhead yeah. necklaces yeah. as well as bracelets and also uh, fabulous for your malas. $14.99. Sorry to interrupt. I just really wanted to include um, this colourway. I mean, I'm just thinking um, you could do a mala on, on elastic. Yeah, you could. You could. There's it's no nice reason idea. you can't. Yeah. It's a lovely idea. Um, before we go back... We've got another one which will compl In fact, this is the one you're demonstrating oh, with. That complements it really well. Then it complements it really well. It <laughs> actually is it. It's the it's, it is the same kit that Monica's actually uh, demonstrating with right now. Oh, I've got like chrome diopside greens. I've got Santa Maria aquamarine blues. You've got the most amazing cashmere sapphire blues and then almost like a, a like a chrome tourmaline color in your elastic and here's the strands monica's literally demonstrating with it as we speak genuine lapis lazuli and uh green aventurine both of which are in your three mil sizes so you were saying this elastic will go through these it will oh you've yeah. just shown us well yeah should we make it the most affordable kit of the of the hour? Okay. Given the fact that you're actually demonstrating with it. I mean, you can see uh, these three bracelets that I've made here. If I can show those. Um, yeah. That's made with that elastic, so you. Um, I love a stretchy. So you can see that it goes through there quite easily. Big fan so, of a stretchy bracelet. Absolutely amazing. Most affordable kit of the hour for you all. Yeah, that's twelve ninety nine. I don't know about. Oh, I, I'd expect that for the lapis lazuli, wouldn't Gosh. you? Yeah. Oh yeah, wow, wow, loads of you there. There's a just stack of bracelets just made on the on the elastic. That's it. And yes, okay. You know, stretchy bracelets are super simple to make. They are. Yeah. My five year old could make. Those. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't make them any less beautiful. No, and they're so easy to wear. I mean, you know, if, you, if you're rushing out of the house, mm -hmm. what are you going to grab? You're going to grab a stretchy bracelet, aren't you? Totally. I think that's <laughs> why I'm always wearing them. It's convenient. Yeah. Literally convenient. Yeah. Um, check out your baskets on this kit. There are a lot of you getting involved on this colourway. I'm not surprised at all. Again, enhance the greens of your adventurine uh, with your elastic. Enhance those lapis blues. Hello, Karen in Derbyshire saying, good morning, lovely lady. Surely the elastic alone would be yeah. this price. What a bargain. 
Thank you, says Karen. Absolutely. And that speaks volumes, doesn't it, when our viewers are, are yeah. texting in, saying and, how good a deal it is. Do you know what else is a really good idea? I have a watch at home, which is just a, just a normal watch face with, an, with a stretchy uh, watch band with gemstones. It's a genius idea. Because that's so easy to put on then as well. Do you know, you have <laughs> just... T my husband, Tom, um, I couldn't get on with my eye watch. I don't know, I'm a bit of a technophobe. I don't understand it, and it was too. too I was like, Tom was like, I'll use it, so I've given it to Tom. Mm. Of course, the band didn't, the wrist strap uh, didn't fit him. Didn't fit him, yeah. He ordered one, and that didn't fit him either. Oh, no. So that's a great idea. Yeah, Literally use this el elastic Lessic. to feed through your. Yeah, and you can use any watch face. Your normal watch yeah. watches, you can change the strap on. Genius. Yeah. This colorway is super <laughs> duper duper popular. Jewelry makers, do make sure you check them out. I can see there's a, a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but our, our wonderful call center will be with you um, imminently, I promise you. They are UK based. Um, free phone, of course, if you're calling off your landline. Make sure you secure yours um, so you don't miss out. I've got one other colorway to bring you um, you might well have already seen that on the website shop ahead and you can grab that too back to you well it's just one more step to do obviously we have those four gemstones at the bottom here mm -hmm. which um which is where your your elastics went in that we haven't joined together yet so now you just want to pass through with the other thread the thread that's coming out of one of those you want to pass through those four gemstones to pull them all together tightly and again, you want to go through the first one the second time. So basically, you need to go through five gemstones here. So, well, the four gemstones, but one of them you go through twice. So that's the third one, fourth one, and then this one again. So you'll see that when you pull it, it pulls tight. Now, for some reason, mine is falling apart. I think I might have gone next to a gemstone in one of the steps instead of through it. But once you've gone through those bottom ones, then you take this thread up through the side one again. And then you've got your two threads coming out in the same place. Now, if you've done uh, a different path and you haven't got your two threads next to each other, just keep passing through gemstones until you have your two threads next to each other. And then you just tie those into a knot to hold them together into a double knot and then go through Obviously, if you're using your monofilament, that you want to put a little drop of glue on there. I don't know why this is falling apart. I think, as I say, I think I missed a gemstone and went behind it instead of through it. You can always trace your steps, though, can't you? You can, and you can go over it again. But, uh, yeah, it won't be falling apart if you've actually gone through all the gemstones. So you can see on that side, that's how it should look. Let's, let's pretend. <laughs> and then all you're going to do is you're just going to cut your elastics off um, at whatever length you want it to be. And then when you make the second one, hold it against the first one make sure that they're all the same length and you just snip them off like that and that's your little earring beautiful little festival earring beautiful i've got like an under the sea kind of yeah. vibe from those earrings yeah. <laughs> um loving those um well let's bring you now from under the sea to definitely above the sea because this is beautiful and warm the color saturations that you're getting across these each of these strands again i would literally just be tempted to turn these into sort of stack of style bracelets yeah yeah. Yeah, something that you could probably make best part of what, six, I'd say? I would say, yeah. Six bracelets. I mean, I've put a few silver spacer beads in yeah. there as well. Well, so if you start putting spaces, then it's obviously oh, going to yeah. go that bit further. Um, so three gorgeous strands here. Oh, it's called Sunset. Wasn't well, just me getting that inspiration. <laughs> This takes, me. this takes, yes, sun set. You mean sunset, yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you gotta love our typos here at Jewelry Maker. It makes us um, almost, almost as good. What did we have the other day? Queen song, don't sop me no. <laughs> don't sop me no. And then we also had hematite. Instead it said hematite. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You gotta love us here at Jewelry Makers. Oh, what makes us unique? We did egg? have kits once with the different egg egg names. We had the fried egg and then we had the scrambled. scrambled yeah, one. I know. We're so <laughs> random. It's hilarious. Look at those beautiful colours. So you've got your red jasper, carnelian again, and yellow quartzite. Love that. It's almost taking me to Cafe Mambo in Ibiza when you're watching the sunset go down. It's fab, isn't it? With a beautiful sunset. Ever. I would definitely get the matching colours. Uh, so the larger, larger kit with the larger gemstone and then the smaller ones yeah. together because the gemstones will look great if you alternate the gemstones plus then you would have the same colors of elastic in the thicker th uh, elastic and the thinner elastic as well so 
Well, at twelve ninety nine, Monica, you'd yeah. pay more than that. Like uh, as we just heard from our lovely viewers, so you'd pay, expect that for the elastic. I mean, it's basically a stash builder, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, definitely. And the fact that I can do that same technique that you demonstrated. Yep. Oh, with these lovely warm colours. When it comes to carnelian and your quartzite, you know, uh, your citrine like colours, they are very positive gemstones, yeah. aren't they? Oh, yeah. The colour saturation, it, it's got that feel good vibe. Very warming, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely the summer, summertime vibe. 12 99 only. Make sure you do check them out, jewellery makers. Some of the kits are getting super duper limited. Um, have a little look back if you've just joined us. All the W's at jewellerymaker.com. Um, each and every single one of Monica's kits went under £20, but as you can see, not just by a little bit either. Um, and these are. I don't want to say brand new because they have been on our screens once or twice, but they are still certainly one of our most exciting launches here at Jewelry Maker. Um, are, are a lovely coloured elastic, which is only going to complement the saturation of your gemstones. Um, you know, if you're working with ruby, you might choose the saturation of the ruby um, to be complemented by the colour of the elastics. You know, literally, our suppliers do that as well. Yeah. You know, they'll actually rose quartz, for example, they'll take a, a, a pink elastic or a pink thread yeah. um, to complement the colour saturation of the stone. But even if you're using a, a completely opaque gemstone like the soda light you've got there and you use let's say a contrasting colour of elastic inside I mean it's just a nice feeling when you see it when, you, yeah. when you're putting it on you know attention a little flash detail. of colour there. Yeah. Attention to detail. Now back in stock in May, the beginning of May, um, I had the huge privilege and pleasure of launching the birthday celebrations here at Jewellery Maker and we had uh, well, the birthday takes a year. It literally takes a year in the planning. And from that zircon strand that will go down in history to the most incredible natural purple pearls that we sourced. Now, we managed to negotiate the best deal for you during the birthday celebration, so much so that 500 of those sold out in a matter of minutes. Straight away, immediately, Ross and I went up to our gemstone buyer and sales manager and says, and said, we need more. That is the best deal we have ever brought our lovely viewers on natural colored pearls. Well, um, yeah, he managed to get another quantity. Today we've got 300. They will still sell out because this is, if you got involved in the birthday, you might be thinking, goodness me, why don't I get more? Well, you're getting that chance after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Hey guys, it's Sarah Davies here. I just want to say you have got to tune in on Monday because it is going to be a big day. I'm going to be in the studios and I am taking over. I'm going to be on Sewing Street Live from 8 o'clock in the morning, Jewelry Maker from 11 o'clock and then Hobby Maker from 1 o'clock. Now, when we do one of our big takeover days, trust me, it is a day you do not want to miss. We've got goody bags, we've got some amazing special deals, I've got a ton of demonstrations, brand new product launches, I've got the team in with me, it is going to be epic. So whatever you do, do not miss it. Whether you're a sewer, whether you love your jewellery making, whether you love your paper craft, we've got something for everyone. So I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock on Sewing Street, from 11 o'clock on Jewellery Maker, and from 1 o'clock on Hobby Maker. We'll be there all day. I can't wait to see you there. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Welcome back, jewelry makers. Oh, I'm so excited about this opportunity. What well, a couple of reasons, really. I didn't think I'd be able to relive it because the birthday celebrations, a lot of our regular viewers absolutely know this, that um, you get some of the most exciting launches, some of the best possible deals during our birthday event. And I'm not exaggerating when I say it takes about a year to actually plan for that. So they're already discussing our 13th birthday right now. Um, but one of the most memorable auctions that I actually brought you as part of our 12th birthday celebrations was most definitely these pills. Now, I know that myself, my colleagues, we've absolutely we've brought you some incredible natural colored pills. Um, but the expectation should be that naturally coloured pearls, because they remember they're called the, the impossible pearl, um, are somewhat of an investment. You have to dig pretty deep into those pockets to be able to secure naturally coloured pearls. And before we go any further, I want to talk about that. How has this occurred? How and why do pearls occasionally break from the normal sort of classic creamy white colour? Well, like I said, it is, a, frankly, a miracle of nature. And I want to show you a couple. Of, uh, this is a really quite a short PowerPoint slide, but it will actually dis, uh, discuss how this uh, occurrence came about. So in this photograph, you're actually going to see a beautiful pearl, very small. It's a small purple colored pearl that was literally stumbled across by chance within a clamshell. But when we harvest pearls, of course, during that culturing process, which was, uh, uh, was um, invented, of course, by Miki Moto quite famously. Now, there are, uh, this is something which is instigated. So if you can imagine what we're doing um, during the culturing process is we are initiating it. So we'll put that nucleated bead into the mollusk. In this case, it's actually a clamshell. It might be a mussel. It might be an oyster. Um, and they insert a, a nucleus bead into the mollusk that then... Uh, it then progresses and initiates that culturing process, that muscle actually then producing what we call nacre. Now, imagine that has been done in the same way, but um, instead of that pearl staying in situ within, if you like, the flesh of the mollusk, on this rare occasion, they migrate. Now, I don't know what 
create a what caused that migration i don't know it might have been a change in direction of tides it might have been i don't know a fluctuation in in heat temperatures um i literally couldn't tell you but on this occasion, on these rare occasions, the pearl itself has migrated not to the center of the mollusk, but to the circumference. And as you can see in this photograph, whilst it's not the prettiest of picture, I, I, I agree, you notice that is where that mollusk has its color. Now, it's that rare phenomena, that rare occurrence, which has transformed a pearl that would have been fairly ordinary, it would have been a classic white pearl into an incredibly valuable natural purple pearl. I'll read on because when you see, when we start looking for the desirability of those pearls and we start seeing, uh, seeing pieces like this and strands, which I'll show you in a few moments of time uh, over at Tucson, we went to our suppliers and said, what's the probability, what's the possibility that we would be able to get more? Well, these aren't my words. These are the words of one of our very, very reputable suppliers who said, frankly, to replace pearls like this, granted it's a completely different colour, granted, but it's all about naturally coloured pearls. To replace pearls like this in the current climate isn't impossible, but it is very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around 10,000 US dollars today. Imagine that for a second. How many, you're now thinking, how many naturally colored pearl strands have I got in my stash? Next year, you could be looking at double that with the way uh, the farms have been affected. And we're obviously referencing there the pandemic. So you might think that, OK, far, uh, harvesting gemstones, culturing uh, pearls, that's not going to be affected by a pandemic, is it? Oh, it absolutely was. In fact, it was catastrophic for, the, uh, for, for culturing pearls because the harvesters couldn't get out there. They couldn't chip the barnacles off the surface of those mollusks. They couldn't check, uh, check the temperatures of the water. Um, itself so it was fairly it was fairly catastrophic for the culturing farms so there isn't many strands out there we'll go back to his words uh, his, his words right now as it stands they are more valuable to sell as singles at this size so strands here we go we won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years and even then it wouldn't be financially viable We were taking these to Hong Kong, not just for the Asian market. There is a huge demand from the West after the biggest jewelry house in New York started buying these too. Everybody wants these pearls. And again, we're talking about naturally colored pearls, not bleached and dyed, natural. And the pearl farms can't provide them. These are uh, all from the same source. Uh, this lot is finer than any I've seen on the market for uh, size, symmetry, and shape. Now, whether that is a papaya, whether that is um, a purple pearl, whether we're talking about naturally metallic pearls, that again adds to the rarity of the opportunity, it is massively, massively in demand. And understandable now, when, we dis when we've discussed how they actually occur, that anomaly of nature where they've migrated out of the muscle uh, part of the mollusk itself to the circumference of the shell where of course the the muscle or mollusk actually contains the most color that impossible pearl you can easily understand why they're fetching the prices that they are now you are very much in the know you know what's gone on and you understand how things like a pandemic can hugely affect not just the supply of gemstones but the price point of gemstones and our supply was just saying there look Everywhere wants them, the West, the Eastern markets, and some of the biggest brands in the world. Should we show you some of those brands? Well, this was at Tucson. This was a special invite uh, um, a, 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 a seminar, I think that would be the word to use. And it was both Jake and Dave who went along to this, invite only. These were, of course, manned with security. And what we're looking at is some of the most celebrated jewelry within uh, uh, sort of uh, within history now they're beautiful and I'm looking at the I'm looking at the maple at the bottom there but I'm in, in particularly interested in number nine those are naturally colored freshwater pearls not salt water freshwater pearls so really in terms of their formation no different to what you're about to see 
And they're saying this is one of the most influential, celebrated pieces of jewellery that could be shown at Tucson. Let's go to those fine jewellers. Because, ah, oh, sorry, beg your pardon, this is in the trade. $1,250 at trade. It does have a clasp on there. And what I will point out, I think that's really affordable for the quality of the pearls that you're getting, for the symmetry of the pearls, for the luster of the pearls. I think that's actually underpriced. But do remember that's at trade. So you might as well multiply that by four. By four plus your VAT. But here are those luxury jewellers that... Um, we were we were discussing. Now, this is at Yoko in London, and this is a Novus necklace, which featured not salt water, freshwater pearls, which are natural in colour, uh, with 18 karat rose gold. Price on application. Now, if you see those words, I already know, right, that's me out. I can't afford it. But one of our colleagues did find out what the price of that necklace is. Natural coloured pearls, and it's a cool £22,000, oh, wow. £22,500 to be exact. It's a lot, isn't it? Do you think it's the gold that's justifying that price tag? Or do you think it's the natural coloured pearls? Okay, well, let's look at singles. Or oh, pairs. Pair of earrings. What takes front and centre stage? Is it the pink sapphire and the diamonds or is it the pearl? The pearl is designed to be worn at the front and the sapphires and the diamonds are designed to be worn at the back. It's all about the natural coloured pearls, which are £8,000. Here's a pair we thought, OK, see if we can actually better these kind of prices because you've got the Prestige, London, Yoko Jewellers, etc. Let's have a little look online. Purple freshwater pearls, natural in colour, so if you want that pair not set in any kind of precious metal, you're looking at 1,530 US dollars sold. I have before me six. Now, as part, ah, okay, yeah, 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 I do remember this. Sorry, Ross, my producer is, uh, is saying in my EA, he was like, this was so exciting that he forgot that you got the quantity that you get. He was thinking there was less than you actually get. He thought you had four. You don't. You have six. These are natural colour. These are not bleached and dyed. I want to add to the rarity of this because these are also naturally metallic. Now, I've said this statistic many times on our, on our screens before, and I want to repeat it because it's so important. From a harvest of 10,000 cultured pearls, less than 10 will be naturally metallic. You don't have to take, say, take my word for it. You have a look at the pearls before me, and do you see metallic colours? Because I definitely do. You see golds, silvers, pistachios, all coming your way at another birthday deal. Now, this auction was so big during our birthday celebrations that we quite literally went immediately to our amazing buyers and said, we need more of those if you can possibly get them. It was a big ask and it was definitely a big if. We have succeeded, Royal We. It wasn't me, it was our buyers. Uh, they've succeeded and we have a really exciting opportunity. This is the kind of opportunity that if you, uh, like Angela, who actually messaged in earlier on, who's turned her passion for jewellery making into a business now this is bread and butter for you all right now take a little look the most simple necklace that I found online one single natural colored pearls read the description uh, this one is for uh, for the pearl collectors out there a gorgeous lustrous cultural uh, cultured Edison pearl uh, hangs on an 18 inch anchor chain of solid 14 karat yellow gold the pendant is removable and features a rope style belt um, okay so what's the size does it even say the size 13.6 millimeters okay marginally bigger than what you're getting however sold at $1,100 you do the maths I've got six before me right now the gold's not hard to come by the naturally colored pearls definitely are 300 are available today and 300 like they did on the birthday are gonna sell out because if ever you've longed 
for natural coloured pearls, not dyed pearls, natural coloured pearls, and they've been maybe beyond your reach, beyond your budget, then today we are going to hopefully make that opportunity possible. The graphics are going to appear on your screen in 60 seconds. That makes it fair for absolutely everybody, whether you're shopping on the web or on the phone lines. There is a big quantity of these, and, and I can quite comfortably say, I don't think, I highly doubt, never say never, but I highly, highly doubt we will be able to make an opportunity like this accessible moving forward. Because look, Never mind asking uh, my, you know, the powers that be, never mind asking my boss. We went direct to the suppliers and he said, no, well, we, it's not impossible, but it is very expensive. And most of us will work to a budget. In 20 seconds, the graphics will appear. Look at this beautiful necklace that our lovely Anne and Sue have created. And I have to tell you, I have to tell you that this is a kind of piece that maybe if you're thinking as most of the big high-end jewelers, you would single them out because it's more profitable you that way. If this is something for you as a legacy piece, something that you can pass on to future generations, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Natural, get your certificate of authenticity because that's worth its weight in gold. Purple, I want to add, if I can, metallic Baroque pearls, one on a gold chain. Here's another reason why. Yes, I'm going to jump back on my soapbox. I am. This is why we should have gold here at Jewelry Maker. I know there's nothing wrong with silver. There really isn't. I love silver as, well, as much as all of you. But I really think when something's as rare and precious as this beautiful collection of six individual half-drilled, naturally coloured metallic pearls before me, they justify, as that supplier did online, they justify 18 karat gold. Now, imagine one of these with a beautiful bale, maybe diamond encrusted, on maybe a 18 inch, beautiful 18 inch gold chain. Imagine yourself walking down Bond Street or Hatton Garden and seeing that gorgeous necklace with POA, the words that we saw at Yoko of London. Most of us would look at it and we'd be like, oh, that's amazing, that's really beautiful, can't afford it. You could make that necklace six times over with this opportunity. Remember, it was part of the birthday. Six natural purple pearls with metallic luster. In the most popular shape at the moment, I haven't, I haven't had time as of yet to discuss the fact that Baroque pearls have really overtaken your spherical pearls in terms of desirability. You know, with House of Gucci, Lady Gaga wearing Baroque pearls on the front cover. It's all about these beautiful individual organic gemstones that show that they are completely and utterly natural. If I was to stop here, wait a second, that's what, 40 pounds each? I'm useless at maths, but that, is that right? £41.60 each per natural pearl. Well, you do the maths on that necklace. You do the maths straight away. If we were to stop here, Monica, that's good. That's amazing profit. Yeah. Yeah. A piece of jewellery that you could make in probably less than five minutes. Yeah, definitely, easily. They are half drilled. So if you take a little look, hello to you, Maria. Hello, my lovely. So if you take a little look at this, here we go. They're half drilled. So if I turn that one around, can you see just there? Um, and the beauty of that is that they are perfect for things like earrings, perfect for things like pendants, because you have got that uninterrupted um, sort of underside of the pearl. So literally just using things like your pegs, which we supply on a regular basis, or um, even your head pins. Now... The price per pearl on the next price move is incredible. And I really want to see, start to encourage you, if you're, a, if you're an avid pearl collector, look, here we go. This one's for the pearl collectors out there. That's what that article advertised. Why did they say this is for pearl collectors? 
It's because it's natural and it's, uh, na it's the collar. It's all about the collar. Remember your five virtues. We're at 10 pounds per pearl right now. Wow. <laughs> and we're no way near done. There is a big, big percentage coming off that price tag. Now I need to see you on those phone lines. We need to see you there. I'm going to read these words, not my words. We're going to read the words of our pearl, one of our pearl suppliers once more, if I can. So you imagine yourself, fast forward the clock and imagine yourself in, I don't know, six months, a year, two years time. In fact, we don't have to do that. This is right now because they said to us to replace pearls like this in the current climate isn't impossible, but it is very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around 10,000 US dollars today. Oh. It's an incredible amount of money. Next year, you could be looking at double that with the way the farms have been effective. And we're obviously talking pandemic. There isn't many strands right now in the world. And it is, as it is more valuable to sell these as singles at this size. These are not small pearls that you're getting. You've reached that milestone, much like one carat is to a diamond, 10 millimeters is to a pearl. But he also says, we won't, we won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years, and even then, it wouldn't be financially viable. Why five years? Because it takes that time for the pearls to actually uh, to harvest takes that time to mature the mollusks themselves. We're not stopping here. In fact, we're nowhere near done. Historically, in the 12 years, I believe this is the most unbelievable, unmissable, astonishingly beautiful, natural colored pearl deal that you will ever see. Because if you were to put these on any of your, 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 your precious metal findings, simple pairs of earrings, gluing a post into place that takes, what, a couple of minutes, you've just made fine jewellery that you could retail for upwards, three figures, upwards. We're at £10 per pearl. But our next price move... is literally half. This is why it's your deal of the day. This is why the 500 quantity sold out on our, as part of our birthday celebrations. This is why I have said, since we came live this morning, and ever since we sold up out of that 500 quantity during the birthday, this is why I said it might well be the best opportunity for you to acquire natural metallic Baroque pearls of size at the most affordable price. Not stopping here. Those of you that are with me, those of you that heard me, are already making your confirmations. Not 59.99. Yeah, we're half in it. Shouldn't be half that price for one, Monica. <laughs> no, it shouldn't. <laughs> it definitely shouldn't be half that price for all six. Wow. You can make, wait, wait, wait. I can make pay, not, wait. Yeah, wait, you know those earrings and a different shape. Remember the five virtues when it comes to your pearls? It's not the same as the four C's with your diamonds, but you know, it's shape is one of the factors, but it's all in the eye of the beholder ultimately. And Baroque is huge right now. So these are spherical pearls. That's for a pair, eight thousand pounds. It's not the diamonds, it's not the sapphires, which are difficult to acquire, it's the naturally colored pearls that are the challenge. Eight grand for those pairs. You can make three pairs of earrings. I'm not saying exactly the same, although you could, you could take inspiration, um, but 10 pounds. 10 pounds per pair. West Midlands, Janet, Shirley, Penny, Cheryl, hello to you, Janet, Suzanne, new customer, Angela, Davinia, Carol, Linda, Belinda in London, a lot of multi-buyers getting involved right now. I've made no secret about the fact that I'm buying jewelry makers pearls at the moment. Why am I doing it? Yes, okay, for my girls, I wanna be able to pass them on uh, uh, sort of heirloom pieces and I know that they'll probably, yeah, they'll be able to get naturally colored pearls, but um, probably not without a, a, a steep investment. But I'm also doing it to make money myself. I've started making high-end pearl pieces of jewellery. 
that I fully intend to sell and make a profit. All of you that, made, uh, that have multi-bought, Linda, Kent, Janet, Cheshire, hello Angela, hello to you Davinia, Angela, is that Angela who messaged in earlier on? Angela, honestly, this is bread and butter for you darling, isn't it? New business. Because immediately you never have to explain with, with pearls like diamonds, like sapphires, like rubies, you never have to explain uh, your pricing. People should have expectations for high prices for pearls, even more so when they are, <coughs> excuse me, naturally coloured. I beg your pardon. Ross has just said, really, Ross? What did we do then? Um, five pound per pearl is where we are right now. And we, we initially thought there was four, so we had a little bit of a surprise when we were at, sort of prepping and all of a sudden six turned up. And we're like, okay, we have to check the details. Is that right? Five pound per naturally colored pearl. One, imagine that one, five pounds the pearl on an 18 karat gold chain. You absolutely should be selling that for a high price point. You should be. It's not the gold that justifies that price or whatever precious metal you choose. It's the pearl. We're going even lower. None of you are paying $29.99, regardless of whether you got involved at the very beginning of this deal of the day or whether you decide to get in at the very end. We had 500 of these opportunities available as part of the birthday celebration. We absolutely will not have, uh, we, we, we won't have that good quantity that we were able to reorder uh, for very long. And that was a staggering 300. It was always a big ask. You know, when we sell out of an item like this, this and when each and every single one of the crew are saying that's got to be one of the best possible deals I've ever seen on naturally colored pearls Wayne is there any chance it was always a big ask it was a, he's not gonna be able to is he not that we doubted him you know if anyone's gonna do it then Wayne is gonna do it but I did I did doubt him I did because you can't match prices like this because it I actually thought it was an admin error I think I mentioned that during the, the, you know, the, the birthday celebrations what did you say? <whistles> Ross says, I want to give everybody another minute. Because as that 60 seconds has ticked by, in 60 seconds we are taking this price lower. None of you are going to be paying 29.99. That's not each. Can I just clarify that? That's not per pearl, that's six beautiful, beautiful quality pearls. We're at five pounds each. Let me just put one on the back of my hand right now. Look at the quality of this pearl. Half drilled, so if you're looking for that flawless, that spherical shape, then just positioning, positioning the drill hole can actually change that. If you want it to be a pendant, watch this. There you go, there you go literally just flipping up. And you've got some which are La Peregrina shape. You've got the beautiful Baroque drops just here. Look at the kaleidoscope of colors that you're seeing on each and every single one of these. In three seconds, we're going even lower, even lower. It's not 29 per pearl. It's not even 29.99 for all six. It's 24 pounds and 99 pence for all six. Unbelievable. I'll be adding these to my order today. Yes, I'm already shopping with you. Why wouldn't we? With the deals that have, uh, have been on our screens, left, right and centre. I mean, Monica, you've been, you've been a very accomplished um, jewellery designer for, 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 for many years. Do you get asked for, for, for pills very often? And when you do, what kind of prices do you, do you, do you command? Well, I mean, 
it varies a lot, obviously, but people expect to pay a high price for pearls. Yeah, they do. Um, so you, you kind of have to be careful because you don't want to price your pearls low because obviously the prices we get for pearls here at Jewelry Maker uh, are nothing compared to prices elsewhere. So you don't want to price your pearls too low because then people are going to start doubting that they're genuine. That's exactly what Anne said to me the other so, day, you know. Yeah. Anne so, said exactly those words to me the other day. She's like, the thing is, if you price them too inexpensively, then yeah. people think they're fake. Yeah. Um, these absolutely are not faux pearls. They are genuine culture pearls, and they are one of the rarest. Remember that that lovely, I, I love this sort of term of endearment, how we describe these as the impossible pearl. Just to recap, why is that? Why are they as rare as they are? I mean, cultured pearls are farmed effectively, and it's a process that we initiate. We initiate it using a, a, a nucleated bead and then of course the the, the actual uh, mollusk itself takes over there secreting that nacre uh, but uh, in an anomaly of nature and I can't even tell you exactly what occurrence would have actually produced this that pearl has rolled out of the actual muscle itself to the circumference of the shell um, and that is why you have this really beautiful intense purple that is why you see that wonderful sash of purple, those beautiful uh, swathes of pistachio colours. £24.99 for this beautiful collection. Uh, Somerset, Susan, June, Essex, Michael, Cheryl, Nora. Uh, Bristol, Jamati, Janet, uh, Jalanta, Maria, London, Denise, Anne, a lot of multi-buyers on this. Now, if you love your pearls, we do have an hour of pearls tomorrow as part of your early bird. So make sure um, you're actually with me um, bright and early from 8 o'clock uh, when the live show begins because we're going to do some amazing close-out deals. Make sure you check out your baskets on that. I'm going to be adding a few of those to, uh, to my order as well. Simple, just literally attach a bale and feed it on to a precious metal chain you've just made incredibly incredibly designer high-end jewelry don't go anywhere because we've still got so much to bring you including those brand new taipei burmese jadeite carvings we'll be back after this <laughs> Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Then, wasn't I? Yeah, very, so very athletic. <laughs> Getting back into into the sea. Oh my goodness me, those pearls are incredible. Oh, it's lovely here. I've just had the air con literally blasting yeah. down. Isn't it nice? It is. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Although my arm is freezing, freezing a bit. But. I'll shelter you because I quite like it cold. <laughs> Um, don't forget, big, big, big show coming up today. We have the launch of Monica's Egyptian necklace. That's happening at midday today, not a single minute later. So make sure um, you're with us there. Also at 11 o'clock, so just 25 minutes to wait. And I'm going to be joined by the wonderful, the beautiful Sarah Davis um, for a takeover. And she's got some really, really exciting uh, launches to be bringing you all related to your jewellery making needs plus that type a burmese jadeite in brand new carvings i am absolutely obsessed with the sunflower yeah i was looking at that in the morning quickly before we came on air because <laughs> i had to have a, clo have a closer look uh, and i don't know if there's been some kind of admin error along the way but you simply don't get type a not b or c not dyed not polymer impregnated you don't get type A jade with this level of translucency, with this level of the, with the quality of texture, with this intricacy of markings, carving rather, at the price that we are going to launch it today. It simply doesn't happen. It's brand new. It is coming up today. Within this, this hour, 
within this hour. We also have the only other strand of natural fancy jade. Oops, here we go. Oh, in fact, you know what? Oh, yeah. That, there we go. We've just made jewellery, haven't we? Oh, yes, yes. Literally yes. just not the two together. How unbelievable would that piece? They are all available on your pre-order, so you can shop ahead. Brand new. And this strand is uber, uber limited. Uber limited. So make sure make sure you don't miss out on that i have one more uh, uh, one more pearl opportunity to bring you within this hour so um it comes within the box when you've got rarity like this i think that's a given please i know i don't mention this nearly enough and you've had a lot of fine quality pearls recently never keep pearls in plastic they don't like it you gotta remember they're almost like a they come from a living organism they like to breathe and more importantly they like to be worn because they actually really thrive on the oils within your skin so take pearls out of plastic they do not like it at all ideally something like this now I know how limited this opportunity is. Without, um, oh my goodness me, look at that. Oh, this is why my obsession of pearls has only been multiplied since the quality of the pills that we're bringing to you of late. Look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. And that's your chance that's on your screens right now. Now, Ross, how many? Really? That's much bigger quantity than I thought you were going to say. Okay, there's less than 20, but I was expecting you to say two or three. What are you taking this to? We're going to go straight under a four-figured price. That surprised me. Yeah. In terms of sizes, these go from 10 and a half to 13 millimeter. Beautiful. You imagine a 10 millimeter pearl as a one carat diamond. It's that milestone, effectively, that leapfrogs the price. Yeah. Add to that the fact that these are completely and utterly naturally colored. This is the kind of opportunity that you heard our supplier talking about. And this is the type of opportunity that, yes, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's not a considered purchase, it is, but not comparative to what you're actually getting because we're halving that price mm. this is the quality that i am notting yeah and this yeah. is the type of pearls that have got me on that soapbox pushing for 18 karat gold clasps yeah de oh definitely yeah and i was just thinking that when you when somebody says to you a strand of pearls the picture you get in your head is white pearls maybe six millimeter and just plain white pearls very traditional. Yeah, but these are on another level. Totally. <laughs> I mean, oh, my are. goodness. So, look, again, don't take my words for it. We've shown you just a few moments ago, didn't we, from our supplier talking about strands of natural pearls. To replace like the, pearls like this in the current climate isn't impossible, but it is very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around 10,000 US dollars. This, yeah. not it, put it with 18 karat gold class I, do you know i probably won't get thanked for this and i probably shouldn't say it because i also know that the our founders in the building as well i've seen them walk past but i won't be too sad if this doesn't if this doesn't sell out do you know why because i'll get some i will get some and i'll be selling them on um okay leave it with you there's only a couple of those left because we're going to do the jades i also need to show you this the sunflower is flying on pre-order um, we've also got a beautiful hand-carved rosebud that can be used as a connector. It can be used, as you said earlier on, in a, a really beautiful wire-wrapped ring in type A natural jade. That's brand new as well, coming today at the most ridiculous price. And, and listen, never say a negative word when you're talking about uh, opportunities like this, but it is ridiculous in the best possible way. Um, shop ahead on these. Right, first though, let's bring you your fancy colours. Now, you might well have, have joined Carol and Dave recently when he brought you that beautiful peony pink type A jade. 
jade. You might have been with me when uh, when we actually had sort of the red colours of jade. Uh, of course, you've had the moss and snow. You've had your uh, you've had your emperor white jade as well. How about a strand incorporating all of those colours? Um, always be mindful when it comes to uh, oh, it's long. Yeah, fifty centimetres. Yeah. You're getting here. You could literally just attach a clasp, and we absolutely could have half the strand. Um, and obviously had more a greater quantity. We are looking at one of the world's rarest gemstones. From over 4,000 different minerals that exist on our planet, this is in the top 10. And that's not just me saying that, that's Forbes, um, that's countless, countless uh, 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 high-end jewelers talking about the soaring price of jadeite. Here you go, this year, Despite the turmoil on the market um, across the board, Sotheby's uh, Imperial Green Jade prices fetched a total of 243 Hong Kong dollars. That's 31 million US dollars. And that's an increase of 727%. Um, uh, compared to the previous year, which so uh, which shows the amount of, of interest amongst collectors, and it's not just in Hong Kong. That's the thing. This is a gemstone which has now got global demand for it. You know, we've all of a sudden had our eyes open to this beautiful gemstone. Um, the demand is literally everywhere. Uh, the price of Type A jadeite, which is precisely what you are looking at right now, you get Type B and you get Type C. Those are both either dyed or polymer impregnated not what you're looking at right now. Um, so the price of Taipei Jade uh, is right now at an all-time high. Particularly difficult uh, for us um, is the sourcing of the skin. This is the fancy colours of jade, the lavenders, the reds. These prized colours are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidises. Um, this is why you never get a solid red colour, sculpture or jewellery, haven't said that we had those beautiful strands which were solid red um, uh, the skin is so thin comparatively and the boulders aren't coming out of the current market that's not my words mm -hmm. that's pillar and stone one of the the most influential uh, um, dr schluss wasn't it that actually wrote about roland schluss oh, sorry that spoke about fancy jadeite these colours have turned the industry on its head. The demand and supply are a real issue, and as such, we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material, and still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. We are finding it easier to provide imperial green to our clients and at a more affordable price for the first time ever. Do you want to know how many we have? 18 chances. It's the only fancy jade we have in the entire business on a strand. The fact that you are getting the lavender, the russet reds, you're getting uh, your pinks, your moss and snow, and your imperial rights all in one strand. This is the boulder, this is the skin, just to, just to quantify why it's as rare as it is. Jade is rare whatever color. But imagine if you are just looking at that circumference circle that's the rarity of what you, uh, you are getting within this strand. We're about to open the auction. We can see you there. There are 18 available. It's a full 50 centimeter strand. Type A, not bleached and dyed, completely and utterly natural. I, I mentioned this. The first person to confirm is guest designer Susie. Well done, Susie. <laughs> I don't blame you, my darling. I don't blame you because this is literally it, isn't it? Susie, yeah. this is, we know this is all we have. We're down to 16 straight away. It's always a race for the finishing line. Uh, 15 of these available. Well done. Savvy collectors getting involved. We know, look, we'll be able to bring you jade, uh, green colours of jade. We will. We will. I don't, not indefinitely, but for the time being. The fancy colours, that's a negative. No, we can't get hold of these colours because the demand has skyrocketed. And you saw within that article a few moments ago. If we were to stop here... You've got to remember, people are reluctant to sell it because it's irreplaceable. That would be incredible. We're not stopping there. There are 12 chances remaining. You could literally just restrand this, couldn't you? You could, yep. Yep, but with that sunflower in the middle, oh, that's oh, amazing. I can't wait to see the sunflower. <laughs> this sunflower is beautiful. 
if you didn't see the launch, and I can't remember, if you didn't see the launch of this strand, you won't know how low we took it to. This is coming up, by the way, you can pre-order. 150 carats of perfectly colored match. Hello, Gloria. I just received this strand and I absolutely love it. Colors are amazing, aren't they? You've got like a really beautiful peony pink. You have the most amazing russet color. Look at that, like an okra, all natural. You've got your moss and snow. You've got your, uh, your absolutely beautiful emperor white jadeite at the top. Are you happy at 499 pounds? Because we're nowhere near done. If you want that sunflower, you're only moments away. If you want the rose, you're moments away. Both, of course, natural type A grade. We took 150 carats, not just one of your fancy jades, a multitude, a collection of fancy colour jade to £249. Ah, oh, Ross, don't do that to me, really? Did we do this? Ah, oh, it's with Dave. Oh, you got a Dave deal. There's nine left out of what was a hundred quantity is because we took it uh, uh, no, in no other, no, no other conversation, no other place on earth can I imagine saying this, a pound per carat for natural type age aid. Mm. And a full 50 centimetre strand. Yeah, a 50 centimetre strand, you've got enough there by the time you add a clasp to take off enough beads to make a bracelet. Yeah, as well as your necklace, obviously. <laughs> there are seven of these left. Oh, yeah, I've said it. So you can make the sweet? Could, yeah, and then you could put the sunflower on. Oh, the, the sunflower. The I'm just going to tell you this without letting the cat out the bag. You absolutely have to add your sunflower to your order today uh, because. I don't know if it's an admin error, but it's ridiculous how, how affordable that's going to. Get the strand whilst you can. Know that there is a massive, massive demand for the final opportunities. We do not have any other uh, type A multicolored fancy jadeite strands available within our vault currently. And that is looking like that is going to be the case. Hello, Susie. Uh, good morning to you, my darling. This is my second strand as it's amazing. The quality of the jade eye is stupendous. Good work, Susie. Um, it is. Again, that's one of our, our, our guest designers, and Susie has grown up with jadeite, very much part of her heritage. Do you know what? I'm looking at the call screens. If I had 200 of these, they would have still sold out. Unfortunately, sadly, the nature of a uh, uh, fancy type A jadeite, we have literally four left. Um, so Heather, Janice, Cardiff, Carola, London, Brendan, Susie, you've got yours. Um, there are three left. It could be you, Carolyn, Sharon, Cheshire, County Atrium. I've got some of you with multiples in your baskets. That's all we have. That is literally all we have. I love the shape too. We've not mentioned oh, yes. the shape. It's a very beautiful shape, isn't it? Yeah. I, th I think, I, do I say this? Mm. I think I prefer it to round. Yeah. Just a bit different. Yeah, just stranded like that. It's more interesting than you know, if it was just round. It is. It's a, it's, a, it's a twist on convention. It is, yes. And then, can I just say, for the bracelets, I would put the rose in the middle of the bracelet. So we'll Ooh, definitely get both of those with, yes. the, with the strand. With the carved rose that's coming up. Yes. That would be perfect. That would be absolutely perfect. You can shop ahead and pre-order. There is one of these left with 32 of you with it in your baskets. Davinia, you've got yours. Uh, Joe, check out if you want to grab yours. Amanda, good luck. Carol, Alan, Tracy. Oh, I don't know who's got it. Well done. That might well have sold out. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Okay. Do you know what's wonderful? I, and I really love this. That we're hearing from our lovely, some of our lovely viewers that they have a collection of jadeite where you know, none of us could ever even begin to imagine once upon a time. I remember us launching jadeite here at Jewelry Maker and it was a case of, I think, one strand lovely colour but it wasn't quite the intensity that you're seeing anymore um, and they were around about £100, weren't they? For, for, for much smaller sizes. 
that the demand over the years since then has absolutely skyrocketed, and in particular for master carvings. This is a material which its history, which dates back literally thousands upon thousands of years, and much is associated with the actual gemstone itself, but also with the carving, the artistry of carving. Now, this is something that we do not do ourselves. We don't carve jadeite. Um, and, and I'll be completely frank, I've been lucky enough to go to our cutting house over in Jaipur um, some years ago, uh, um, yeah, before the girls were born, went over to India, and it's just the most amazing thing learning seeing um, our lapidaris cut their gemstones we don't cut jadeite and the reason for that is it's like us popping along to this is we it would like us going to us to us going to me going to Ida Oberstein and saying uh, okay just give me that I'll cut it better <laughs> it's not you just don't do it you don't do it so you don't take jadeite out of the Chinese market when they are it's literally in their heritage and if you have the opportunities and the connections that we do you place your jadeite into the hands of the best skilled carvers now there is one but when we give them our jadeite rough we can't tell them what we want out of it we don't say we want that to be buddhas mm -hmm. we want that to be lotus flowers we get what we're given because the jadeite chooses, not us, not the carvers, it's the jadeite. Oh, that's brilliant. We have 50 carats of natural type A Burmese jadeite. Immediately we have multi-buyers getting involved because I want to make a price promise to you. If you've got a collection of jadeite, fabulous. We're going to shock you on the first price crash. Carvings of this size, carvings of this quality, carvings which have the bale cut within. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? It is absolutely incredible. Do not go to the price that we're going to take it to today. It has never, ever, ever been on your screens. Even if you think, uh, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a jadeite collector. I'm going to give you an opportunity that's so good you don't want to miss out on. And I just want to share, again, that conversation, that, that weird carving. You know the one I'm talking about, don't you, Adam? Okay, the jewellers that I first worked at, part of the pre-owned cabinet, um, and it had lots of lovely diamonds, one single piece of jade with a £2,500 price tag attached to it. It was nowhere near this quality, nowhere near this translucency, no way near this beautiful in terms of the carving. Two and a half thousand pounds. That's our first price crash, Monica. <laughs> yeah. Dan? No. Can I borrow your phone? Yeah. What if we told you? We're not just taking a little bit off that price. Mm. We're actually, thank you. We're actually going to half it. Wow. <laughs> We could absolutely stop here. I could say 39 and it would be an amazing deal. We could say, wait, 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 you're going lower than that, Ross. We're at 50 pounds, but yeah, you, you're going lower than 29, 99. How do you grade? How do you grade your jadeite? Firstly, type A, B, and C. A is the most desirable, obviously. Then we start looking at the color. Apple, beautiful blossom apple green. Then we should start looking at the translucency. Why do I have a light, my, literally a mobile phone light, uh, behind your jadeite? What? I hate it when he does that, Monica. He makes me really <laughs> nervous. Oh, gosh. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Ross. Ross, Ross has just said, to, oh, hold, up, hold on a minute, and I've just noticed something, and then he goes all quiet, and it makes me, yeah. really makes me nervous. Like, oh, my gosh, what's wrong? Ross, <laughs> what have I done? Oh. 
No, we definitely shouldn't be going. We shouldn't be going to that price tag if it was the green, but we absolutely should not be going to that price tag um, when it's the aqua. Aqua is blue and is actually the rarest colour of jade. Wow. The rarest colour of jade, certified within the Chinese laboratory itself as that beautiful spearmint bluey green. It's incredibly rare and incredibly beautiful. So, yes, we fluffed up here somewhat. We fluffed up even if it was green. Take advantage. The phone lines have gone crazy. We are halving that price tag. So let's go back to colour. So this isn't just the green. This is the aqua blue. And we are halving that price tag. Even though... There are, oh, there's 30 of them left. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Then we start talking about translucency. Oops. Here we go. Do you know what? Hold it with my fingers. Look at that translucency. Perfectly gemmy. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful amount of translucency. And we start talking about the texture. How on earth have we managed to take aqua, one of the rarest colour of genuine jadeite, type A, not polymer impregnated, not dyed, to £24.99. That's why I said those of you that have collections already, you're not going to want to miss out on this opportunity. £24.99 only. There were a hundred of these available, as you can see. They're not going to hang around for very long. Uh, hello to you, Bristol. Wow, so beautiful. Did not think I'd be able to own one. Thank you, Ross. Loves you. Oh, he's totally loving this. He's on his feet right now. Bristol, he's going to take that one. <laughs> Shows that message, doesn't he? Loves you, Ross. I know. Yeah. I know. And do you know what's great about this particular design? Um, is that uh, before we've had pendants with the tigers on or we've had the Buddhas and that mm -hmm. sort of thing, but there might be somebody out there who, who doesn't, doesn't believe it. all the symbolism and all of that uh, totally. that comes with it. But this is it's basically a flower. So anybody can wear this, really. You don't have to um, 100%. And we actually all the said something similar because we had one carving that was in a cross. Mm. And we said, you know, because... And that was, by the way, £100, that carving. Yeah. Um, but because jade is carved in China, it's the history of the gemstone. You know, it is, it is literally master carved in China. So you're going to have that influence. But like you said, if you don't want your haigus and your pixus yeah. um, and you want something that maybe is a little bit more what? sort of uh, uh, fashionable to us, yeah. then rare opportunity. It's a really good point there, Monica. Um, 12 remain. It's going to be an on-screen sellout again. Look how beautiful that is. There's the aqua blue. There's that gorgeous aqua blue. Stay where you are because we're actually over allocated. Now, purely because we are running out of time within this hour, you can still pre order though. I'm going to guarantee it. I'm going to absolutely guarantee it. Again, hand carved by uh, over in China, natural type A, Burmese jadeite. Look, even down to, can I just show you like this? You've got the curves. Oh, and it is, if I turn it this way, also drilled all the way through. Yeah. Can you just double check that that's not certified as aqua? Because it certainly looks very aqua blue. Um, we're going to hold this back. It's going to be brought to you as part of the 12 o'clock hour. But you can pre-order now. I'll make this price promise. It's going under £20. Going under £20. Um, Monica, you're going to come back with this yep. big booklet launch as well with the Egyptian necklace at 12 o'clock on the dot. But don't go anywhere because I'm going to be joined by the fabulous ray of sunshine that is Sarah Davis. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hey guys, it's Sarah Davies here. I just want to say you have got to tune in on Monday because it is going to be a big day. I'm going to be in the studios 
and I am taking over. I'm going to be on Sewing Street Live from 8 o'clock in the morning, Jewelry Maker from 11 o'clock, and then Hobby Maker from 1 o'clock. Now, when we do one of our big takeover days, trust me, it is a day you do not want to miss. We've got goodie bags, we've got some amazing special deals, I've got a ton of demonstrations, brand new product launches, I've got the team in with me, it is going to be epic. So whatever you do, do not miss it. Whether you're a sewer, whether you love your jewellery making, whether you love your paper craft, we've got something for everyone. So I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock on Sewing Street, from 11 o'clock on Jewellery Maker, and from 1 o'clock on Hobby Maker. We'll be there all day. I can't wait to see you there. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Fresh from the Sewing Street studio. I know. I am literally I taking over the whole building today. I started sewing at 8 o'clock. I'm with you for an hour. I'm up on Hobby this afternoon. I love it. All over. Well, we love it when you take over. Well, it was great. Well, the thing is, I always think a takeover is a great opportunity for a bargain. Yeah. And to get people trying something new. And Definitely. this hour, I have honestly... So I shouldn't say this, but of all of the shows I had planned today, this is the one I'm most excited about. Ooh. Because what they said to me was, they said, Sarah, Jewelry Maker, it's our biggest craft channel. Mm -hmm. There are thousands and thousands of people out there who love jewelry making, but you know, most people who do one craft actually do more than one. Yes. So obviously. the average, uh, have you noticed, 2.3 crafts. So really? the average person who does one craft actually does 2.3 crafts. So what I'm interested in is how many of you out there have, do you do your jewelry making? but now either want to try paper crafting for the first time and want to get into it, or have done a little bit and want a bit of a starter pack. So this hour is all about having the absolute best deals I could possibly do. Amazing. And having everything in one box. So if you see something you think, oh, I'm desperate to try that, literally, the box will have everything in to do exactly what I'm going to show see, you. See, that's fabulous, because I'll be honest, you know, I agree with you, because if you're, if you're creative, making jewellery, you're going to be creating another 
the yep. weight. But knowing what to buy, that's it's the same. thing. Because quite often, and I, I, I've done this, and for me, it was the other way around. So I did paper craft, and when I came to want to get into jewellery, I would see one necklace, I think, lovely. But to do that, I needed to buy the box of findings, that I needed yeah. to buy all yeah. the different wire, that I needed to buy this. And, and, and so then I've got all this stuff, and my actual cost of entry, yeah. you're talking £100 plus. Mm -hmm. With this... Well, you all, you're going to need the die cutting machine. So if you've if you've never done die cutting before today, we've got an amazing deal on the Gemini oh, I've Midi. Not seen we're, this. Oh, this is our little starter machine, I which is on a fantastic it. deal today. If you already have a die cutting machine, every one of these boxes is ready to go. If you're starting today for the first time, Gemini Midi. Wait till you see the deal I've got on it. I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil it. We're building up to it. But then once you've got this, the world is your oyster. And whether you want to try iris folding, whether amazing. you want to try uh, floral stamping, whether you want to do with edgeables, whether you want to do wobblers, whatever you need, you've got to pick up the box, everything in one place. I love that. I, I absolutely love that because it is really difficult to know what to buy yeah. to get started. You've thought of it and it's in these boxes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. But, but, because it gets better. So, because I'm doing the takeover and we've got the special deals galore, what we're really... We've kind of become a bit famous for this over on Hobby Maker. Okay. Is our goodie bags. I've heard about these goodie bags. So, the goodie bag is where we... It should be a surprise. However, I'm not going to surprise you. I'm going to let you have a little sneaky peek. <laughs> and what I say is, try a little bit of everything from our range at an absolutely ridiculously rock-bottom price. Okay. So it's like a mystery bag. It is a mystery, but it's, I'm going to demystify it by giving you a little sneak peek of everything. I love it. it. Okay. Are, are we ready to start? Are you ready to go? Let's, let, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Come on. So, mi so mystery bag. We'll get the details on the screen for you. I will warn you, we haven't got an endless amount of these. Okay. So I did one for Sewing Street this morning, that was, we, and I was on Sewing Street for three hours. So I brought three times the amount of stock of everything. Okay. okay? We, it was sold out eight minutes into I'm the show. I'm surprised. Okay. So this is the one bag. that I've done for you guys. Can I, even if you just see this paper pad oh. is one of the nicest paper packs we've ever made. And if I just show you 32 sheets of the most beautiful paper. So whatever type of paper craft you're wanting to get into, I can tell, look at the, Oh, look, look at, at the that, fabric. that's lovely, the embossing. This is going to be the nicest paper pad that you could possibly get started with. Now it's 12 by 12, so it's the full size. Everybody out there, look at the gorgeous designs yeah, on them. Amazing. You're all going to get this. Now, if you want to buy multiples of them, you are more than welcome to buy multiples of them. But I'm just going to tell you now, this is absolutely gorgeous. Sarah, can you use both sides to that as well? Yeah. Do you know what we always say in the craft world? It's like the A track and the B track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the B track's as good as the as, A track. As I say, sometimes you used to prefer <laughs> the B track to the A track as and well, And it's nice you? whether you're layering up um, to do card making, whether you're wanting to cut oh, this and do pearls bags. There, look. Now, I'm just going to tell you this now, guys. There's no way you're going to be paying $75.99 for this. Everything that's in it, you would be happy to pay $75. Yes. I mean, this on its own is uh, $19.99 just for this one. And okay. this is the start. There's over £100 worth of product, but I know we can do better than the $75.99. I'll keep showing you so you can see a little yeah, bit of Yeah, let's see the goodies. In, right? So this is now a lovely set of stamps and dies to go with as well. So can you see these gorgeous little characters? You're going to be stamping them out. You either cut them out or die cut them oh. around to build up your own little scenes, right? Oh, they're cute. They're almost Eeyore. They're lovely, aren't, aren't they? they? Like Winnie the Pooh style. Link are a fabulous artist that we work with. Now, if you're going for the Gemini MIDI today, you're going to start your embossing journey. This is a 3D embossing folder, which is going to give you a whole panel to make the whole of the front of your card in one go, okay? Beautiful. Then we've also got this. Now, this is a clever die set because this little boat spins around in the ocean. Uh -huh. Right, so you're going to get all the stamps, the dies, all the instructions on how to do the little spinny boat. Then all we've included in there, all included. Wow, this is called one of our creator card dies. This on its own is 19.99. It makes the whole of the front panel of the card. Now I know we're going really fast through this, guys. What I will say is, when you get this home, go on YouTube, and all you do is search save the date create a card and you'll see tutorials of exactly how with every single item we've got video tutorials so you can exactly literally watch it back to make it, watch it, back make do it, it over and over. Yeah. amazing uh, we've also got gorgeous edgeable dye on here we've also got this lovely little set of envelope stickers so that oh, when you pretty. do one of your cards you can pop a little seal on the inside oh now lovely. all of that together well over 100 pounds i know there's loads of you already starting to check yeah. out but go on 
tell them what the best you can do on the braces, because I know you can do a lot better than that. Well, I mean, I've been, sort of, I'm, I'm useless at maths, Sarah, but like, even mm -hmm. I've been totting that up going, yeah, you're well over £100. Yeah. Pounds. Oh, well, 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 to be honest, even this paper pad alone, Twenty four ninety nine. Okay. You know, even with other companies, for a one with foiling on like that, you could easily expect to pay twenty nine ninety nine just for a pad that that's the, that <gasps> is that beautiful. No. Exactly. So you buy you. So you are buy. So all I would say it is, you are buying this paper pad, and for free essentially getting you are else. also getting a 20 pound creator card you're also getting one of our spinny die Amazing. sets you're also oh. getting the envelope seals on there you're also going to get the 3d um embossing folder that comes included you're going to get that gorgeous little set of stamps you're going to get the little mini celebrate die they are another 76 77 pounds of the freebies we're just sending you them for free just for free and yeah. do you know what i wanted you all to think even if you're just starting out on your paper craft journey today, every one of you needs paper. This is probably the most beautiful paper pad in our collection. Oh. This is probably the most beautiful one I've ever done. So I thought if I can convince you, even if you're not a paper crafter, to buy this today by giving you £70 worth of free stuff, that might be you starting off on a new Absolutely. hobby. Absolutely. It's, it's a little incentive into yeah. it. And do you know what I really love about this one? It's all occasions, isn't it? It's yes. weddings, birthdays. Do you know what it is? It's that colour palette as well that is very on trend. Yeah. It's that it's kind of... Um, it's like slightly muted, a little bit vintage in its feel, but all perfectly coordinated. And with the, do you know how much you pay? you pay a pound a sheet in the shops do you? for foiled cardstock like this? A pound a sheet, and you are getting thirty-two sheets, twenty-four ninety-nine, and then you get another seventy-five pounds of the stuff for free. Amazing, absolutely amazing deal. I'm gonna get involved with the goodie bag if there's any of them left. Um, uh, yeah, you on there to laugh at? Yeah, not a chance. <laughs> I've, I've, I can see how, who, who's unordering it now. Absolutely not a chance at all. Are you going to be know, getting the goodie bag? I know, I know. What you so want to hope <laughs> is that I forget to put this one in my car when mm, I drive off. That's nice. what you need to hope. I can That's help the only you. chance you'll get to get one. Okay, fair enough. I'll be, I'll be doing that. I can, I can help you with the boxes that I saw you all carrying in this morning. Um, make the most of this opportunity. What a perfect... And it does go really, literally hand in hand. You know, we often make jewellery to give. Gift. Yes. So you want to give a nice card. Exactly. Being and, able to make the card. What you want to do is go next level. Is you want to make the card and the gift box for the jewellery oh, that all matches yes. in together. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Perfect. Because if you go into those those card shops, they're a fortune. They are so expensive. For, for your twenty four ninety nine, you'd probably only get half a dozen cards. Yeah. Yeah. And how many cards are you going to make with all and of they that? They won't be. They won't be handmade. They won't no, be as beautiful. They won't be beautiful. Oh, make sure you check out loads of you with it still in your baskets. There's people see. wanting multiples <laughs> as well. Um, if you want those multiples, I would it's say sooner it. rather than later. Yeah, I'll be getting it at the end of the show if there's any of them left. And I do not have an endless amount of them. I it bet. is literally, and don't, don't think, oh, Sarah's going to be coming here all the time. We'll always get goodie bags it's just because it's a takeover day. Uh, so yeah. it's just, be, so it literally, because essentially we give this well, stuff away. Well, they're some of your biggest sellers. Well, yes, but they're less than our cost a lot of the time. <laughs> but it's, it's our way of getting you into a new craft. We Seriously. know tens of thousands of crafters have started crafting with Crafters Companion products as a result of getting a goodie bag like this. Yeah. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to come here today. And even if you've never paper craft, trust me, by the time you get to the end of this hour, you're going to be convinced, I'm going to have convinced you you want to give it a go. I've got products that are like at giveaway prices just to get you into a new Love craft. Love that. Absolutely love that. I love that statistic as well. The fact that you were saying that we tend to have multiple three crafts. Amazing. And if I think about it, yeah, I, I mean, I started with card making. I got into a little bit of sewing. I went through a stage of five or six years of doing loads of jewellery making. Yeah. Just at a very beginner level, not the advanced oh, stuff that some yeah. of you guys do. I've, no, I'm not. Um, I do. A, I do a little bit of cake craft now. I've done a little bit of crochet knitting. You all, home if you've ways, got that I've creative, seen you doing your home ways I'll do as well. all sorts. But if you've got that creative bug, you'll turn your hand to anything. Yeah. You just need to be able to start. I've just heard how many people are going to try and get that goodie bag now. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough of them. I'm sorry, guys. Love this. Absolutely love this. Now, I've, it's, a, it's a new tool to me, this one. So your Gemini MIDI. Um, how many do we have, did you say? A hundred. Yeah. Sorry. Now, 20% uh, of the stock's gone already. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. There you go. Yeah. You need to be quick. You need to be quick. So what is the MIDI all about? OK, right. So we're going to be doing a lot of die cutting today, right? Yeah. And the best way I can describe die cutting, you know, back in the olden days when they used to do the washing, then they used to put it through a mangle to squeeze yeah. the water out, right? So you have two rollers, you put your clothes in, you squeeze it and it squeezes the water out. Yeah. 
a die cutting machine is basically two rollers and you take your die, which is the best way to think about it is if you're doing, um, you know, if you're making uh, cookies or something, you have yeah. a cookie cutter, it's like a cookie cutter for paper. So what you do is you take your piece of paper, you put your die on, yeah. it goes inside the two little bits oh, like that's this, right? yeah. and then all you do is you offer it into the machine and like your mangle oh. you turn the hand you turn the handle and it squeezes it together and it'll go i'll be doing some demonstrate should i just go for it should i should i do Let's instead do of it. saying right so you're, well, you know perks of this obviously um, you're guaranteed to get that perfect cut aren't yeah. you i'm just thinking which one of these can i demonstrate with i want to open one of these up uh, can I just open one of these? Of course you can. Is that all right? Right. I'm, I'm, we're coming on to this in a little bit, okay? So, these are the dies, all right? So, if I want to take one of these dies, all we're going to do is you're going to take the dice and she will cut out a couple of flowers at once. Yes. Oh, so you can mold them. Oh, we can do a few of them at the same time. We can do we can do the dies. We can do the uh, the little flower leaves that come in with it. Right, you shut it together in the sandwich, right? Yeah, that's easy. You put it into the Gemini and turn the handle. Now I'm being really honest guys, I'm doing it back to front upside down for the camera. You aren't gonna do it back to front upside down when you yeah. get it home. You're just gonna do it normal, right? I'm only doing you this to show the camera how it works. So the pressure in the machine <gasps> has meant that that has cut out multiple layers of all these little flowers, <laughs> little leaves, whatever, it, whatever the pattern is. And what you do is, it's like a razor and a razor blade, right? So you buy the razor, and then these are just the razor blades. So if you think oh, about it, you do it over and over again. Once you've invested in this once, this lasts you a lifetime, okay? So this die you're going to use over and over again. You're just going to keep putting it through your machine. So you only need to buy one machine once, and then you can spend all your money buying beautiful dies. And every one of the boxes I'm going to show you today, it's about cutting out different patterns, and I have no time for cutting out these by hand. Oh, no, and I mean, I've, this got, I've got so long. no, no ability to cut that out either. Mine None would whatsoever. Look like a so if, if you want to get into any form of card making, this is where you start with a die cutting machine. Amazing. So let's put the details up on the screen of what you're going to pay, right? Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it so that it was an absolute no brainer and you all went, yes, I'm totally in on the die cutting, right? Uh -huh. So you're going to get the machine for what is the regular price of the machine. $69.99. So $69.99 is your price of entry into the machine. However, for free, I'm going to send you this box. Wow. In this box, it's 50 pounds worth of craft products, right? So in this one here, if I open this up. Oh, look at all those. Oh, you're getting all of this, right? So you're going to get your first set of dies. You're going to get some little stamps. You're going to get some gems. You're going to get some ribbons. You're going to get another die. Now, these dies are like M12.99 a set. So you've got a couple of sets of them in. You've got some more stamps. We're sending you a pack of the cards and envelopes. We're going to send you some of the beautiful papers to get going with on here. So basically, like I said, at retail so, values, £50 worth of craft product in the box. I'm sending you this whole little box for free. Amazing. And you can get hold of this today on your split pay. Let's not forget that 0% interest. Um, so just £34.99 on your split pay gets you starting and it's getting you the, the actual die cutter that you're never going to need to replace. Do you know what I would say it is? Go and have a little look everywhere. Go, just go and search the Gemini MIDI and you will see we sell that MIDI. I mean, we sell tens of thousands of them all over okay. the world. 69 everywhere else 69.99 and you will see it's five star after five star after five star okay. rated right the difference is you go and have a look at it on some of the big go and have a look at it in one of my shops you could walk into one of our crafters companion shops today and it's 69.99 for the mm. gemini midi you will not get the box with another 50 pounds of the craft products included that is literally exclusive today just to jewelry maker you can't even buy this all on hobby maker just on jewelry maker oh, because i some... need every single one of you out there watching who does not own a die cutting machine to get the die cutting machine today and that's going to start you on your craft journey i love it i absolutely love it i mean I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted because i was actually exp um, firstly how simple it was yes because you it's literally just putting two pieces yep. of together two bits of paper like cookie cutter just think yeah cookie cutter on the paper inside this is this is what we call our entry level machine this yeah. is the one where you're getting people hooked but doesn't have to be two bits of paper maybe a piece of fabric maybe yeah. a piece of chipboard oh, maybe a little yes. piece of four leather 
You could cut, and you might be doing them little flowers with little bits of fabric and then doing a plea here on the sewing a project. Genius. Our idea. Gemini machines are not just paper craft machines. They started in the paper craft market and they can be used for anything. Amazing. So things like leather and uh, yeah, wood, sometimes you're, you're very uh, slender wood. Lots of messages coming through for you, Sarah, as well. Uh, hello, Jackie, saying, I have um, the MIDI and other cutting machines uh, use the MIDI the most uh, most of the time. Wow. And the boxes are great. Oh, and I'm going to show you lots of the boxes, guys. We're literally just oh. getting started. Uh, hello, lovely Mark. This is guest designer Mark saying hi, Sarah and Al. Sarah, um, we are off to Oldswater next week. Uh, what is your favourite area of the Lake <gasps> District? Lovely to see you, and that's guest designer Mark. Do you know, so I love, is it, oh, no, it's not Oldswater. We go, is, is it the, the one that, uh, oh my word, it literally escaped me from the I'm going to Oldswater in a couple of weeks, so I like to go camper vanning with the kids. My dad nice. built me a camper van. So we're going to Oldswater. We're going to stay at Pooley Bridge in a few weeks. Ooh. But uh, Ray Castle is where I usually like to stay. Which one's that one on? It's totally. It's the one where Beatrix Potter's house is on the side. Oh of that yes, one as well. yes. Yeah, and what, where Windermere Beach. is on the side and Bourness. It's the lake with all. It's Lake Windermere. Yes. There you go. <laughs> There you it's go. Lake, it's Lake Windermere. I knew I'd get there eventually. <laughs> um, these are, uh, yeah, incredibly popular. Loads of you with it in your baskets. Good luck to you all. You're getting that box of amazing Crafters Companions uh, goodies for free today, only on Jewelry Maker. So what's your betting? Lots of Hobby Maker um, viewers are going to be making the most of that deal as well. Oh, totally. totally. And the, the thing is, we do loads of different Gemini machines at all different price points. A lot of them are electronic, so it's, it's literally about getting started. This is the machine that everyone wants to get started with. Now, once you get started... So, if you already own a die-cutting machine, you're sorted. You need to see everything else we've got coming up on the show. If you don't already own a die-cutting machine, you need to get that checked out to be able to access and use all of the other boxes that I'm about to introduce you to. I love this. Are you ready? You know, Where's my You've sample? got everything, haven't you? You're good to go. Can um, I just check? Does someone know where my little samples are? My little, uh, my little box of all the samples. Little box of samples. Liam was just there. He's pro oh, they're down here. You got them? There we go. Oh, look. Super organised. <laughs> they they because I had to come straight from Sawn Street. I know. We literally had to get everything. So, right, iris folding. We, you, did we, you, need did to, we need to, uh, you know, folding. literally cram you in as much as possible when you're here. Yeah. Now... Iris. This. this is pretty. Now, you might have seen this before. This is iris folding. So it is an absolutely beautiful wow. technique where what you do is you have like what's called an aperture in the front of your card. Oh, so on this wow. one here, so you would cut out the shape of the tulip and then you fold over the paper to go inside of it, right? It is an absolutely gorgeous technique and it is so simple to do. Now, if you wanted to get into iris folding, you need a lot of stuff. You need something to die cut the shape. Mm -hmm. You need plastic templates to be able to put the pieces over. You need stamps to be able to add the embellishments on there. You then also need all of the papers to go into it. Mm -hmm. You then also need the, um, the, the gems and that to finish it all off. It's quite a big entry. There's a lot of stuff you need to get started. Okay. Right? Yeah. What we've done is we've taken all of the pieces that you need, put them in one box. So that all you need, if you want to do iris folding, you just got to use, get by the one item on your screen. And everything 20, you need is in here. It's not 24 99 Everything you need. You've got the cards and envelopes. You've got, um, so let me just show you. This die set alone, by the way, would be more than 24 99 So this, can you see those little hearts? The little hearts cut yeah, out the heart shapes there. Yeah. Or the tulip cuts out the tulip panel, right? Lovely. So the first thing you're going to do is cut out, using your dies, the hearts and the tubes. And we will, I'm going to try and preview everything, then we'll come back and do some demonstrating. Okay. Right? So there's all the shapes that it cuts out. Then what you do is you've got the little templates that show you how to do the folding underneath. And again, there's little videos on these. I'll show you this when we come back to demonstrate it. But you're basically going to layer up all of the bits of Amazing. paper be beneath. Then you've got the cards and envelopes that you're going to need to do the bases. Yeah. Then you've got all of the lovely coloured cardstock that you're going to use. So you oh, saw, for example, lovely. on this one here, it's the mats and layers behind. Or this one here, we did that lovely base piece. Then all of these papers that are inside are all on these here. Can you see? Oh, so you've yes. got the little strips. So you're so not you've wasting. Got the strips of all the, so you're not having to cut them down. They're all done ready. Then we've also got the sentiments to finish it off. You've got the gem. You'll get a whole pack of ribbons. I've used some of mine here. All of that. Now, all together, 
there is 50 pounds worth of value, right? Um, 50 pounds. Now, our usual price is 24.99. That's our usual price. I've done a deal today with the guys here, and they've said they will take the prices even lower today. Wow. Um, and you said, didn't you say one of those die cutters alone? Yes, just just that die would be 24.99. All these are individual die cut pieces. And they'll last, they'll last you inevitably. Yes. One investment. So mm. even if, so the way I like to see it is you buy the kit and it's going to make 20 cards to start with. Yeah. But then you're going to have the dies to last and use over and over and over again. That's fabulous because we, kits is a familiar term for us here at Jewelry Maker, isn't it? You know, we, really that's how we began. Uh, so 12 years ago, we actually started with these jewelry kits. There's your findings. There's the threading material. Yeah. It's that it's, it's a whole in your card. Making. And we've got that over and over again. All the different types of cards I'm going to show you have got everything in that you need to do all of this. I Amazing. mean, to be able to make. And like I said, I will come back and demonstrate all of these. Yeah. I'm seeing how many people are getting them ordered already. The prices we've got, like I said, if you were to buy each component, the, the stencils, the templates, the gems, the embellishments, the cards and envelopes, the dies, everything, it's over £50. Yeah. We do the box kits at $24.99. Today, you can get the box kits for $19.99. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, we've got a couple of boxes to bring. <laughs> oh, I've just spotted that one there. Say it with flowers. Yes. It's so pretty. I think you're going to be one of the most popular. It will be. I can, is, it, is it one it, of your it biggest? Will, yeah. This will be yeah, I can the biggest the selling one today. As well, and again, so when I show you this, these oh. are the cards that you're going to be able to make, okay? So for this, it's again, it's all about having them dies. These are the dies that you saw me use. This is the box I pulled the dies out of to get started with. Oh, yes. And you can see, so what all you need is cards and envelopes. Then you need the beautiful base papers in the background. And then you need all of these flower dies. Now, whether you're doing the spray flowers like that, whether you want to do like a nice wreath of flowers, it's all just about how you stick them on there. Uh, this one here is a little bit different. So that one there, we've done the wreath That's in lovely. the background. Mm. Uh, this one is if you really want to start and take it to another level. Look at that different shape. So oh, all we've wow. done is cut the shape. So you cut your card, cut the panels off the corners, turn them around and lay them on the front. Oh, clever. Now, all of these, we are, these boxes, we sell tens of thousands of every one of these I boxes bet. when they come out. We have a special website. Are you ready for the name of it? Crafterscompanionbox.com. <laughs> And if you go to craftyscompanionbox.com, you will see, you'll just look up what number is it. So this one is box number 48. Okay. You just go to box number 48. You'll see loads of video tutorials. You'll see all of the pictures of people where they've made cards and uploaded them. Gives you access to a special Facebook group where you can go and share all your oh, ideas. Love but because it. there are tens of thousands of people all over the world that are, I mean, in America, we do these on subscription. We have tens of thousands of people in a subscription for these in America yeah. where they just get each one sent every month. But again, if I open it up, you can see we're doing it 19.99 again. But if I show you everything that's included in the box, it is an absolute yeah. no-brainer. So but when I so open this one here, packaged too. I mean, look at that. It's literally like a. It's a lovely gift to open. That's the idea. Nice gift. But you see now why I did that Gemini MIDI. Because yeah. every one of these boxes has dies in them. Uh -huh. So you need to have the Gemini MIDI to be able to start with the dies. But you've got the dies, you've got the stamps that go with, you've got the nice ribbons. We do like little pearls and embellishments in all of them. You always get the cards and envelopes to get you started. And then all the speciality paper that you need, all in them lovely colours. And then you saw all the papers we had in the background? Yeah. They're all included there as well. Oh, lovely. So it is really everything you need. If you want to make the exact cards that I'm showing you, you're going to buy the box, you're going to go on the website, you're going to look at all the instructions, you're going to follow it through, and these cards are actually the cards that we have step-by-step -step instructions for. Love on it. Absolutely love it. You know, again, if you've never if you've never done card making before, today is the perfect opportunity for you to give it a go um, with the savings that Sarah is actually bringing you exclusively to Jewelry Maker today, so make sure you check out. Um... I've got three more boxes to bring you. Shall we do uh, statement sentiment dies? Yes. So, I mean, oh, lovely, because that's what cards are about, aren't they? It really is. Now, what you'll find when you do your card making is that every card has to have a purpose. Mm -hmm. What is its reason for being? Is it a birthday card? Is it a thinking of you card? Is it a with love card? What is the purpose of that, that card? But then usually with other cards, people just, like, 
write out the sentiment or stamp out the sentiment, stick it on the front. Then you have to go to a lot of trouble to make the card really spectacular mm. for the sentiment to be on. What we've done is we've made the sentiment the focal piece of the whole card. Aww. So can you see it's a lovely bit. So the with love here, um, we've done the with love, becomes the focal piece of the whole card. Now, you can either do it as that one's been done there, where it is like in the middle of the card, or look at this one that's a little bit different. It's over the oh, edge. Of the, so this one comes over the edge and this one cuts in. Or this is really clever how this one works. This has gone over the edge on the diagonal, right? And then cut oh. in underneath. Isn't that right? So it's cut, it's cut into the front panel there. Oh, it's in the front. Now, again, all of these have step-by-step -step instructions on the website on exactly how to do every one of these types of cards. This cuts above the line, birthday cuts into the line, and again, everything to do, the whole card is all built in. Amazing. So Absolutely amazing. And you can really personalise it as well. I'm just, I'm just looking at that one there, so my friend on there. <laughs> Um, what's that? 195 elements. Yep. Oh, do you know what? That one there, that is the statement edgeables picture. I have been showing you the statement sentiment dies. Just so uh, you know, so you've got the right one. We're coming up to statement picked, edgeables I've in just a bit. I picked the wrong box up, that's why. Oh, no, oh I've, I, I, I think you picked the box up, and I, I just don't think our lovely producer realised that which one was the edgeable and oh, which one was I the beg sentiment your pardon. Die. So this, So this one is the statement... It, it says on your screen edibles. We're going to. If this is the statement sentiment dies. Sentiment. Statement sentiment. We'll statement sentiment. Yeah, we yeah. can swap those over. Not a problem. Yeah, but to be honest, if you go and have a look on the website, you'll see all the pictures of all the boxes, and you can choose the ones that you want. There's that lovely big die, and you can see there the with love, and it cuts out the width, and then the love's all connected in. All right. So you get the two big dies, and they would be twelve ninety nine per die. Wow. Then you are going to get. So you could have with love and hugs, or with love and best wishes, or happy birthday from all of us to you, for example. So you've got the sentiments that work in together. Then you've got all the, you're always getting the cards and envelopes in the kit. It's a brilliant, That's amazing. always getting the cards and envelopes. Then, can you see what we do? We put all of the beautiful papers in, and I mean, if you had to go out and buy a paper pack like this, you're probably talking eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine for the paper pack, and then the solids that go with it. Yeah. So you get all of these, but then we match up the little gems and embellishments. We match up the ribbons that the go ribbons, with it, yeah. and you get them in all different sizes there. So every time you're always going to be getting the ribbons, the gems, the papers, the cards and envelopes, and then you get all of the dies and the stamps that go with it to be able to make exactly the cards that I've been showing you. And again, go and have a little look on the website, and you'll see everything you need to learn how to make it will be on that website. I love that. I mean, because like sometimes I don't know if you have this in card making. We have what we call uh, sort of like we lose our mojo, if yes. you like. The creativity goes out the window. We don't know what to do. So we can always go onto those websites and get a little bit of inspiration. Inspiration. Well, what a lot of people do followers. is they're in like the Facebook group as well. And there's mm -hmm. tens of thousands of people. Um, there's, sorry, there's thousands of people in that Facebook group. You can go and have a look and you can say, do you know what? I've just got the statement sentiment dies. What, what, what have you been making? And yeah. hundreds of people will start sharing yeah. their card ideas with you. Or you can just go into the group and have a little search and say, right, I've done the iris folding, and you'll find hundreds of pictures of iris folding. Amazing. Tutorials that people have done. You're, yeah. you're part of a community of tens of thousands of That's crafters. Lovely. These are what we do to get new people into paper crafting. Amazing. I tell you what, well, you've encouraged me. Um, and you've still got a few more of these amazing boxes to bring you. So $14.99. Was it meant oh, to be that price? That one? Oh. What went on there? Oh, I tell you what. I don't know, but quick check it out before anybody notices what and the price goes there? up. Literally. Go, yeah, go and I'm now. all for that one as well. Because <laughs> if, I, if, I, if, I <laughs> uh, if I make a card, there's a reason behind it. Yeah. There's a sentiment. Yeah. There's an emotion. There's a feeling. Do you know what? As well, for, for $14.99, so if you went into a craft store today, yeah. you couldn't buy the 24-pack of card blanks and envelopes no. for 14 99 did you say the two dies were 12 99 12 99 each. each. OK. So just to put that into perspective, you yeah. could not get just the card blanks and envelopes. I'm going to just show you all the value in that again so you understand, right? So each of these would be for, uh, 12 99 a die, yeah. right? Little pack of stamps, maybe it's another 3 99 Card blanks and envelopes, yeah. to get uh, 24 card blanks and envelopes, you, you'd be talking probably 16 99 18 99 yeah. easily. Then you're ribbons getting the ribbons. Expensive. All the ribbons are like um, probably like 
199 249 yeah. a little spool then the gems these are expensive these these are 3.99 some shops charge 4.99 for yeah. a little pack of gems like that I don't know where that's come from. And then your papers. So to buy a paper pad, and actually we do them in the what 8 by 8 size, which is perfect. But for a lot of you to go and buy a pad of paper, I mean, the papers are lovely. And to buy a pad of papers like this, you'd probably be looking at least another, and you get the solids to go with it, another 12 99 for the paper yeah. set. So I, I don't know how this has got down to 14 99 but guys, all I'd say is check this out before somebody corrects that mistake and puts it back up. It slipped through the net, that one, didn't it? Goodness me. Um, take advantage, make, uh, yeah, oh, that's, so that's absolutely incredible. Right, we've got, I like the sound of this one. Wobbling I like, characters. I feel like I can rate, relate to this one, Sarah. Do you know cool. why? Because it's a wobbling character. It's a wobbling character. I can relate. <laughs> right, so when we say <laughs> wobbling character, if I show you this here, can you see the little guy on Aww. the front is literally wobbling? Oh, so I love you're it. making him to be like a little wobbler on the front. So it just gives it a bit of dimension, a bit of movement. Yeah. Brilliant if you're wanting to do cards for kids, you're for example. Awesome. Look at this one here. So, and, and again, the little suits. So you've got the superheroes and you've also got the little characters. And can you see, they're on these little springs oh, yes. at the background. So that's how they wobble. And then if you just open them up and they'll just wobble a little bit more for you oh, on the front Oh, kids are going to love these, oh, aren't they? Oh, do you know, they're I say that, brilliant. so do I. <laughs> I like those. They're very endearing. It's for oh, everybody, isn't it? There you go. So you open this out, and then again, we're just going to wobble. He's cute, the superhero. Oh, this one's gone to fourteen ninety nine. dollars 99 Right, have done? right. Go and get it checked out, guys. Go and get it checked out before before someone realises what's going on. Oh, Isn't she lovely? Oh, they're beautiful. Come on, let me show you exactly yes. everything that's in this one, right? So when we open this up, right? Now, I would say, even if you haven't gone for the die cutting machine today, this might be a good one, because what you're going to do is, you're going to take the stamps and you've got four characters. Mm. So you're going to stamp out, if I just get the white cardstock here. So you've got the cat, the dog, the little fairy, and the little superhero there. You could stamp and cut him out. So a little set of stamps like this is probably going to be 9.99 to 12.99 for the mm -hmm. set of stamps, but you could stamp them and cut them out. If you if you've bought the die cutting machine today or you have a die cutting machine today, look, you get the dies to cut them out. Um. So you're going to stamp it, then you're going to lie the die over the top and then it cuts it all out, which means you're not having to do it with the scissors. So each one of these would probably be 4 .99 for each one of the sets of dies. And the little spring. And that is your little spring. So that, can you see on that one there, your little spring you just cut out of paper or cardstock or acetate if you want, yeah. and that's going to give you the little springy piece on there. So that's what the little circular bits are there for as well. So those two alone... Well, like I said, you'd probably pay, you know, 9 99 12 99 yeah. These would be a fiver each. So your value of your box, absolute no-brainer. Then you've got all the cards and envelopes in there again. Remember what I said? You couldn't buy the cards and envelopes for the price that you're paying for the whole box mm -hmm. on here, yeah? right? You've got the ribbons. And then look, I love how these match, right? So can you see the lovely, lovely gold colours. shade and then the lovely blues? They all match perfectly with the colours that we've got in the background here. Yep. And it just brings everything together. And look at those. I think you'd be hard pushed to actually get... Uh, to to get the ribbon at anywhere near that price yep. tag. If you go into that uh, that 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 yep. other crafty place, you pay for it. Do it by the meter. Yes. It's incredibly expensive. Yep. Double-sided ribbon. For me, it's the fact that I love the idea that I, you know I've seen Sarah with this card on TV. I'm going to pay fourteen ninety nine. And I'm going to do exactly this. That ribbon, that sentiment, that background piece, the little girl stamp, the background, the actual card and envelope that it comes on, every single thing was in the box. You need a bit of adhesive and that's it. I love it. Love the wobbly characters. They're so sweet. Um, okay, now this one is... Edibles. Yes. Come on. Right. So what's... Ooh. Right. Oh, I get it. You only have to look. Oh, they look amazing. So... This is lovely. If I bring one of these in... There's no way you'd be able to make that without no. this, would you? And this is all testament again to that. In fact, you know what? I might do one of these cards because it's so... I want you to see how easy it is, OK? So you're going to do this beautiful edge piece on there. Or you might put it an edge over the front of the card like this, for example, right? Oh, or you might want to put it over the top edge of your card like this, right? Oh, that's lovely. How fantastic do they look and yeah. how simple are they, right? So again, if I open this up, each one of the edge dies, right? These are a really good size. So you've got the big edge die here. This one would be, that one and so on probably would be 12 99 
These ones individually will be another £7.99 mm -hmm. and you can, lay, you can either use them individually or, as you saw on this one, they've been layered up together on here. Yeah. Right? So you've got those that edge die ready to go. Then you've got all the sentiments. So uh -huh. you can have a happy birthday, thank you for being... Oh, special friend, thank you for being there. To my special friend. Uh, happy birthday, sending you lots of love and, love and hugs. Or happy birthday, enjoy your day. So you've got the sentiments that just really finish it off nicely. Again, everyone's getting the cards and envelopes to get you started. You've got the beautiful oh, papers. I love the paper. And we always give you the solids and then the coordinates that all match in beautifully well, yeah. right? And then you've got the ribbons and all of the pearls this time that are going to match Ooh, in perfectly. Oh, this is pretty. Right? So you imagine all you're going to do with this one is we're going to take one of the cards out. Yeah. You're going to take that edgeable die, right? You're going to lie that edgeable die on the edge of your card, right? And can you see it's got like a little bit on the top and bottom here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and then let's have a little look. If I bring my die cutting machine in and I bring this in. So watch this. This is super clever, right? You're going to wrap this around so that we're only cutting on the front. Right, so you're going to wrap it around, only cut on the front. Sorry, I'm going to open it up. Oh, watch what we can do. We can put it like this. This works both ways, so you can then turn oh, it Oh, flip it better. over. Yeah, so you can just flip it over if you want. Once we're ready, it goes into your machine, mm -hmm. and then we're just going to start... Do you want me to hold? Yeah, can you just take that bit off the bottom, please? Sure. Do you know what it's got? There we go. Suckies. That has got little suckies on the bottom. So you pop it in, and you're just going to turn it around... And then, oh, oh sorry. That'll go, you're all right, because there's two of us on there. That's going to go through. I was like, that I don't will know if I'm helping or hindering here. Oh, you, do, you know, you're, you're a good <laughs> you're, you're a wonderful, glamorous assistant, right? That cuts that pattern out oh, onto the front that. of the card, right? I'm just going to take that last little piece out at the bottom. That's going to give you that cut. At the, how easy was that? Yeah, that is, it's like a lace border, right? And then if you wanted to add the special friend, all you would do is take the next die and you would have cut them both at the same time and then you'll add the next die above it and it would cut the special friend out oh, there as well. And you just, like, did it in seconds. 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 But it's, you see what, why I had the die cutting machine on special offer as well? Because every one of these boxes, you need a die yes. cutting machine yes. because you're going to be die cutting with everything. But cards like that become things you can make in seconds. Oh my gosh, you're not going to be able to stop me. Yeah. Once we, what's the thing? Once you've got it all out, you're just going to be... Just got to be getting started. You just oh. need somewhere to start and this is where we're having somewhere to start. Amazing. Um, I can tell you that the uh, the statement sentiments uh, dies incredibly, incredibly popular. We just brought the uh, the graphics available, and also the edgeables have just flown out the door. At I'm that fan, price, I'm a fan of the the wobbly characters. The wobbly characters, are yeah. You? I, can, I, I can I can appreciate them. Can't miss that. Um, you can still get hold of this amazing offer um, with Sarah on the die cutter. I love that. And, you know, I, I, I sometimes find, Sarah, especially when you're starting a new hobby, that it can be a little bit intimidating. Right? I don't yeah. know what to get. I don't know, you know where to start. And if, it, if, a, if a machine or a tool is intimidating, yes. certainly in jewellery making, like, for example, we've got Dremels. As soon as you start talking about Black & Decker to me, that's me. Hey, hey. Yeah. Get really scared. Right. That's not scary. That's not scary at all, is it? That? No. 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 Not scary at all. I just think it's brilliant. If, you, if you're just starting out, for, for a lot of people, to get into die cut... I mean, our, when we first started, our entry-level machine mm. was £179. Right. That's a, that's a big step yeah, to get started. it is. We invented and brought out the miniature version so that the price, the, the, the barrier to entry was so much lower. Yeah. And the great thing is, it's not even £69.99 because you only have to find a £34.99. Exactly. It's payment. Not but then the fact that you're going to do this and we're sending you the first one of these absolutely free and it's different to all the other ones so if you're buying everything on the show today the pop-out scene is not available to buy because that's the one that's coming free so wait, in with the machine i'm just doing it again useless and mass i can get the die cutter i get mm -hmm. this for free mm -hmm. and one of your other boxes this is the box that comes in for free but even if i get another one as well yeah for under 50 uh, under 100 pounds easily under 100 pounds yeah would change that's amazing. Actually, if you get the ones where we ac they accidentally went down to fourteen ninety nine, yes. which wasn't supposed to happen, mm -hmm. you will get two of them. For two boxes. Pounds. So that means you're actually going to get three of them with the freebie. Yeah. Yes. And the that's amazing. 
for a hundred right. pounds today. Um, yeah, can we have another demo with this? Yes, come on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get out. Let's get the iris folding one because that is the sort of one where I feel like you need to see it to understand how it works. Yeah, okay? do you know what it reminds me of. Do you remember back in school when you used to have the what are they called? Well, the ones that used to whiz your pencil round and you'd make that. Oh, one. like a spirograph. That's it. Is that making you think of a spirograph? That's it. Right. It kind of reminds me of that. Okay, so watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the tulip, right? Okay. So you open it up and we're going to get out the dies first of all. Now, bear in mind, the dies on this would be, uh, I would say, comfortably $14.99, maybe it's even $19.99 for this. Mm -hmm. So you pop your tulip on the front. Now, a little bit of a tip. We do sell this over on Hobby Maker. Just a little bit of low-tack tape. Anything to hold it in place while we're going to send it through and it's going ah, to be able to so die properly. Doesn't slip. So all you do is you take this, you're going to pop this inside the sandwich, right, into the machine and then whiz it through. So what it does is it's going to cut out your um, tulip. But this is just, it's just so easy. Do you know what we find so a lot of people's easy. feedback to us as well is they never know what what's called the sandwich combination as in the order the order of the plates I did so what that. we thought was let's just do this then you don't have to think about plates you literally have a little folder put it inside send it through do you, our go. last show together i was mm -hmm. like oh i'm gonna struggle to remember that because i yeah, have did it, did like it frighten, yeah i have yeah. got a memory like a sieve so yeah um whereas i can do that yeah now that. watch this i probably get write these. it down no that's that's going to be easy this mm. is where you want to be getting started right yeah. Watch this. I'm going to go face down with this under here. And can you see you get the little template underneath? Right? Yeah. So this is all from your iris folding box now. And I'm lining up that little bit of a template with the base here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of those little, you know, your little strips here. And we're going to start with the little strips of cardstock. Right? So I'm going to use the plain ones. I've got some that I've already torn off here ready. Right? Got the little plain strips. Going to get my cardstock right. Can you see we've got number one there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what you do, if you're doing it perfectly, right, technically what you need to do is you fold this over in half like this. So you've got that lovely, neat folded edge. We're going to pop it over number one, tear it to the right thickness, right, and then you're going to pop that down with a little bit of tape. So there is my number one, right? Yeah. And then where's number two? Number two is up here, right? So I'm going to do the same with number two. I'm just going to tear off a little bit of paper and put it over top of number two. Are you managing to follow me okay? Yeah. Yes? Brilliant. Number three is that corner there. So we'll get into the next one, number three. And that goes over here. And then, where's number four? Oh, number four starting to cross over. So let's go on to the next colour. Okay. So we step down a colour, fold this over two. So what happens is number four is going to cover over some of my number one. So you're sticking it over top Number four goes there, over top of number one, so that as you start and see it, um, now bear in mind I'm doing this fast, guys, for the camera, but as you see this on here, that's how you start uh, and get the pattern, yes. right? So there's number four, so you do exactly the same, number five goes over the top there, don't worry about the fact that I'm tearing it and it's not looking neat because it looks absolutely perfect from the front, and then number six is exactly the same, and I'm going to line number six over the top here like this. And then if I come back down, let's get the lighter colour again. Step into the next one. Uh, so we're up to seven. So there is my number seven coming right across the middle now. Now let me just make sure I get this perfect because I've put a little bit of tape on there and I don't want you to see the tape on my finished project. I'm, do, I'm covering over a little bit of the one behind, but it's just because we're working at pace, guys. You won't, For TV purposes. You won't be having to do this at the speed of light. You can come and watch me do it, <laughs> where I do it at a nice regular pace on the, the... So you go to that website and you'll see little videos of me teaching you how to do this, but I'm not going at warp speed. I'm just going at regular speed, <laughs> right? So you can see this one's going to come in here. There's number eight. It comes down there. Where was that website as well? Is it, is it, is it, is it the details on the boxes? Yes. So, yeah. so it tells you, welcome to your little project oh, kit. Yes. And it'll tell you exactly what you need to get started and get going. But basically, you head on over to crafterscompanionbox.co.uk. And that's going to get you started. So there's nine. Go back into the darker one now. Uh, so there's my number 10. And, and if I do it quickly... Oh, she's on that. She's there. There you go. So there's 10, here you comes in 11. Do you know it's so therapeutic this as well? Jeez, I was thinking that I could literally just sit here and, oops, sorry. You could, you could just sit and, and watch, watch me all you. day. 
So there we go. So as I'm starting to fold these over, if I just flip that over from the template, oh, you can look. see it's starting to make that pattern. Looks so different. Well, if I just show you, these are the one that I've actually started sticking on. Actually, I'd only got as far as that. I think what I'd planned to do is put that on and then finish it off with the last little bits. Oh. This one I've done gluing the pieces down instead of sticking them with okay. tape, But it was just literally for speed for the demonstration. But how easy is that to start and put them together? Lovely. And then that, you're just going to layer up. You can see here I've done a lovely card where I've just finished it all. And this is just one of those cards that we have in the box, folded in half again at the front. And then that one, if I just show you it to the front, how gorgeous is that when it's I just show it to the front? Oh, it's just a slightly different. Don't not all cards have to be just folded in half. You can start and do different shapes like this. You would never have thought to do that, would you not? Um, just a little bit and different. And you know what actually that it's not gonna it's not gonna blow away, is it? It's not gonna be knocked nope. over. It looks a lot more sturdy that and way. I around. think what I always call these a mantelpiece pleaser. Yeah. That's the one that's going to go right in the middle of the mantelpiece. Yeah. And instead of just standing up like a normal card, it's kind of like, it's like, look at me. I'm like a show you off card. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm like stood up for you to draw the eye in a little bit. But it's going to fold flat to go into the envelope. Love again. that. Um, yeah. Again, the, the iris box is incredibly, incredibly popular. I can totally see why. It uh, should have been $24.99. Yep. But really, if you think about it, so $24.99 is the price. Because we make tens of thousands of these, we can afford to do these at such a great affordable price. But realistically, the dies alone would be like £20 for the dies. Mm. Then you've got the templates, then you've got the cards and envelopes, then you've got the little strips of cardstock, then you've got the yeah. papers, then you've got the embellishments, then you've got the gems, then you've got the ribbons, all of that together. But it's brilliant to, if you want to start die cutting, you want to start with iris folding. Where do I start? One kit's got everything in that I need. Everything. And you can get still get hold of uh, the Gemini MIDI. It is available, comes with that free box of goodies as well. Um, start your amazing uh, crafter companion, crafter's companion journey. That's exactly what today's show is all about. Um, loads of you with it still in your basket, so make sure you do check out. Um, so you can get the machine and the free craft kit. That's the price of the machine on its own. Yeah, and go and have a little look. Go and have a look everywhere else, guys. Yeah. Go and have a look uh, even in our stores, on our website. You've got to go on to all of the big, um, the big craft websites all over the country, $69.99. Other people are not able to offer it on split pay either. So no. it's not just the fact that $69.99, you're only paying $34.99. Mm -hmm. But then also, I love the fact that you get it home today and we are sending you that box so that you've basically got, and this is a one that so the cards that this one does if i just find them through it's just down here those are going to be the dies that do this sort of pattern are you ready oh, lo oh lovely that lovely so it's called a pop-out card so you're going to be able to do the pop-out designs i do like a pop-out and again every one of these and then that's the pop-out design like used on it it's like a little shaker card with the shaker bits on the inside isn't that lovely um so just as, as if this box is free yeah Oh, that. look at the that. Little, the little balloons in the middle. Oh, Sarah, that's beautiful. And there's two die sets in this one. And again, you're going to go to the website, crafterscompanionbox.com. You're going to look up number 38. It's on the side and of the Number box. 38 is about how to do pop-out cards. Mm -hmm. And that is a freebie, but that's £50 of the stuff. But even if you bought the box at full price, £24.99, mm -hmm. but that's coming free when you get the Gemini MIDI only here though. That's not like a whole, the whole channel deal. That is literally, literally. just on Jewelry Maker just today. Uh, well, as you can see by the call screens, lots of you are making the most of this amazing deal. Um, good, great question, actually. No, it is still only one post and packaging all day. I mean, obviously the Gemini is slightly heavier and the boxes. So the, you would expect fortune. to pay more on postage? Well, all I would say is if you're buying one, you might as well buy, you might as well get another one. Well, I, I mean, I'm just kind of thinking, £100, I'm well and truly on my journey. Yep. I've got the machine, I've got the free box, and I can buy two extras. Yeah, so you can try. And, and I'm going to quickly run you through all of them because I know we're near the end, OK? Yeah. So the iris folding one was the one that does that. that technique that I just showed you, and it does two different types of the iris folding. You can do the tulip, which is what I was showing showing you all and it also does the ones with the concentric I'm so pleased I got to show you that because yeah. I think unless you see it you don't understand 
end. The others, it was a little bit easier. To, I want to show you the edge and I want to show you how to do the iris folding. Yeah. Everything else, once you've seen them, it's kind of like, oh, it makes sense. You saw me cut out the flowers at the beginning. You can see how easy that was. So that was your iris folding, okay? Amazing. What else have we got? Right, the set with flowers. I think this one was one of the most popular ones, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I can see why. Yeah. Um, Oh, it is? Yes. Yeah, the number one most popular. That is, these are examples of some of the cards. So basically, the die set in here alone is worth the 14 99 you're mm. paying for the box. But you're getting the die set, you're getting uh, 16 pieces of the card blanks and envelopes, you're getting all of the stencils that go with it as well, the ribbons, the pearls, the coloured card, the printed papers, so that you've got that lovely background paper. And then, but it's really, once you own these flower dies, that's it. Cut them mm. out of fabric, cut them out of chip or whatever you want. But once you've got the dies, you're sorted. It's that's it with flowers. Oh, that's a really good point. You know, actually, you've, yes, OK, you can do it with cards, but you can imagine actually using things like chiffon and ribbon. Oh, and, fabulous. And, and, and cork or, yep. or, or wood. You can incorporate those kind of textures too. Uh, then edgeables, which is, I think, one of my favourites. Well, that was the one. You saw me do that in seconds. Love it. I mean, that lace border edge. Again, how this one's got down to 49, I, I don't know. But that lace border edge there, you'd pay $14.99 just to get a punch to punch that edging out. Mm -hmm. But you've got that, you've got the card blanks and envelopes, you've got the, the two extra dies, the special friend, all the stamps that finish it off there. That is the extra edgeables. Now, we had two types of statements. We had statements in the edgeables, and then we also had statements in the words. So yeah. these are your statement sentiment dies. Mm -hmm. So that's where we had that really big um, with love and happy birthday. And you can see the with love, they all come so that they cut over the edge of the card as well so there's you with love and then for example the happy birthday one i'm sure i got out a happy birthday one as well yes the happy birthday one's exactly the same cuts over the edge of the card really nice fonts and this is what i was saying to you before you can you, if you're making a card for a purpose it's nice to have that sentiment built oh, in, in yeah, a different definitely. way but you know what you could do you could be mixing and matching the boxes so you could be using the oh, happy yeah. birthday onto an iris folded one or you could be using that lovely big statement edgeable and then adding some flowers on from your no. set of flowers box yeah love and that, then the last one was the one that you loved was the wobbly. i love the wobbly character the little wobbly characters and i just think those are they're just cute they're just cute and they're just different aren't they <laughs> my director just says because you are a wobbly character thanks for that Adam. You go. um you gotta love him um yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous yeah absolutely gorgeous i love Whew. sarah i know what a whirlwind but we've squeezed so much in and Loving the, this kind of like a PR deal, really. Well, th pretty much that. A and I know it does come with a catch, guys. This is addictive. So, yeah. so I, the catch here is I'm hooking you in with a really great deal today, knowing fine well this will be the start of you falling in love with papercraft and then hopefully starting to join us on Hobby Maker on an afternoon to see what else we do. No, most definitely. Well, you've got me hooked. I really can't wait to get uh, to get involved. Again, loving the fact that you have got the Gemini MIDI. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, yeah, it's that, it's that toe in the ocean, isn't it? Perfect. Thank you so much, lovely. It's been wonderful. And you're, you're going to be back in this studio a little yes. bit later on with... One with a full takeover this afternoon on hope. So if you've liked what you've seen a little bit here, come and join us from one o'clock this afternoon. You can see even more. Ah, oh, love it. Don't we just love her, Sarah Davis, everyone? But do not go anywhere because gorgeous Monica is coming back with her booklet launch. Oh. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. How wonderful to be with you this afternoon. And what an exciting hour you have. Um, I saw I saw the frenzy that it created on Facebook. Yeah, it was a bit of a frenzy. Yeah. Yeah, and this has <laughs> it really been... Um, a, a, a seed was sown. Yes. About the possibility yes. of an Egyptian inspiration. Yeah, a few seeds, because a few people asked for the same sort of thing so oh my goodness look <laughs> at the end result monica again it, it, it makes me think of places like the vna but i have to say the kit team has done a really good job putting the colors together like because they did uh, they did the colors so yeah beautiful have to give them for the colors <laughs> now now i understand you've give, you've you've written a booklet which we are launching in a few minutes time but what i love about um seed beading yes. is the fact that 
In terms of investment to get started in this medium, you need two things. Needle and thread. Needle and thread, really. Basically, yeah. Basically. <laughs> you could probably benefit from a nice pair of scissors, mm. but you need a needle and a thread. And I'm not just talking about sort of needle that you would do your running stitch sewing with. Yeah, no, you it is a beading sewing. needle. Yeah. So, and you can get those from our website. But we normally have packs of needles for one ninety nine for a pack. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. not a huge investment, is it? Okay, so, say I am brand spanking new, Monica. Yes. Can I make that? I think you can. Uh, in my demo, I'm going to show you the hardest part of the necklace, because I thought you have the instructions in the booklet, but if you get stuck on the instructions, you can come back and watch the demo, and hopefully that'll help as well. Plus, of course, if you get stuck on anything, you can message me, and I, I can help. I may, oh, bless you. Bless your heart. So, yeah, follow, give uh, Monica a follow on uh, social media. Here it is. Now, one thing I know, even before I look between the pages, is that, Monica, you are incredibly methodical and you will cover every single movement. Yeah, and um, I, I try to break it down into simple steps. So, uh -huh. as you say, somebody who... I, I try not to assume that you know anything yeah. beforehand. Okay, that's um, really good with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never assume with me, because chances are I don't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, most likely, if you're going to start a larger project like this, you've done a little bit of seed beading. Mm -hmm. But... Um, even if, if, and if I say peyote stitch here, I still show the thread part, yes. so you can follow the it's thread actually, part. It's even not just the project, there's lots of learning. There is, there is, because this particular necklace especially, I mean, um, I will show you a little bit later all the different components, so you can, you can change it around and you can use the different components differently. Yeah as well to uh, you know to change the necklace as so well so yeah it's one piece but you can get different yeah. designs from that piece now your kits are available on pre-order so you can shop ahead and get those lovely colorways we're going to give you a 60 second countdown now there are unfortunately it's quite limited we've only got 300 which again i know having had the privilege um of launching uh at one of monica's previous books um knowing that they do absolutely sell out did you know seed beading are the two most researched words in the entirety of jewelry making really not just us here globally well i did know that seed beading was one of the uh the the top jewelry making it, yeah um, it is mediums yeah it is yeah globally the biggest medium yeah of jewelry making um so there'll be a lot of eyes on this uh on jewelry maker right now and of course wanting to get hold of this 300 is not a quantity it might sound like loads it absolutely absolutely isn't so use that time uh, wisely to get yourself ready to uh, you know to pick up the phone to dial our, our uk based call center uh, to use the app or log on to the website Again, um, when I literally open this up, and I'm not going to do this in any particular order, you can see how easy it is to follow. I hate the fact, I'm going to use flat pack as an example. I hate the fact <laughs> that when you get flat pack home and you have instructions, and in the end you're like, I can't, I can't even follow them, so I'm just going to wing it. I'm just going to wing it and try and do it myself, which always ends badly. But your instructions, Monica, are so easy to follow, aren't they? Yeah, um, well, I think so, because I, I try to take it step by step, you know, so, and I try to do a picture for sort of a little bit of writing and a picture. And diagrams. Um, you happen to open on the page that's got the most writing on it. But <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. There you go. Uh, we'll stop. If I started from the beginning, that would yeah. be better, wouldn't it? That would be better. Even down to ingredients. Yeah, yeah. So what you actually need within your... Monica, it, it's... I mean, look at that. Look at the attention that Monica has actually put within the diagrams. So, yes, it is one amazing big project, but actually yes. it's lots of different it's, learnings. It's within. broken down into, into separate sections. So you've got... Um, I think you've got seven different sections. So you start with bezeling the cabochon. Then you do the, the necklace ropes, which is this, this section here. Uh -huh. Then you do filling in between the ropes. And then if I turn it round, you'll see there's a little uh, triangle there that finishes off the end. So you've got instructions how to make that. Um, and then, of course, you've got the embellishments. And then you've got the tassels on the front. But, of course, if you wanted to make the necklace without the embellishments, just like that, mm -hmm. or maybe even without the fringe, that makes a whole nother different look. Totally different look, yeah. Um, or you can leave out the filler, the filler bits and have this empty space in between that, again, will make a different look. Uh, you can add more of the embellishments on the side. You have more in the kit, 
Uh, the only reason I've only added this many is because the rest of it kind of sits on your shoulder, so it doesn't need the embellishments. And mm -hmm. this way, you have enough left over to make some earrings. So I've made a one, one earring here. I didn't have time to do all the earrings. Uh, but you have enough to make a pair of earrings like that to match as well. So, and you know, it's I love the fact with the booklet as well, you know, because sea beading, let's be honest, it's a labor of love, isn't it? It's, nothing happens quickly with yeah, sea no. beading. Um, and you know, you might put the project down, you might not revisit it for a couple of weeks and then need to refresh your memory. Yeah, but see, that's that's I think part of the reason why sea beading is so popular because. Um, it's something that takes your mind completely away from everything else. Yeah, totally. So it's very that. relaxing. And this booklet, for example, if you just want to learn how to bezel a cabochon, you can just follow that section and ignore the rest of it if you want to. Do. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Hello to you, you know? Sean in Cardiff. Hello to you. Got my booklet. Uh, bring it on. And the, <laughs> he just disappeared again then. Oh, you've skipped. I haven't finished reading the last one, Ross. I'll bring it back. Monica's instructions are always easy to follow. Thank you, Jane, uh, who messaged in just a couple of minutes ago. Um, here we go. Hello to you, Carol. Say, Monica, your instruction Aww. booklets are faultless and so easy to follow. That is so important, isn't it? Because that's why we buy booklets, is we want them to be able to follow. Uh, hello, Sean, sorry. Uh, got my booklet. Bring it on. Can't wait to make this beauty. Thank you, Monica. I think, I think Sean's probably got all of my booklets. <laughs> oh, bless. And I've seen Sean's work. They are amazing. Uh, hello, Wendy. Say, Monica's booklets are amazing. Oh. So uh, amazing. So easy to follow. Uh, and this is fabulous. And... Oh. See that amazing 9 pie price tag? That's not it. And it's bigger than my usual book. But all the booklets usually, normally that? Usually it's eight pages and this one is 12 pages. More. more. Well, it's 11 pages because the back of the cover is empty. But yeah, well, it's not really no, the back of the cover, the front cover, back, oh. of, back of the front cover. It's not empty. The front, front cover. Oh, what you? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So technically, it's eleven pages, but yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. Fair enough. I was like, what are you talking about now? Back, of, back of the front cover. <laughs> that bit. Right. Okay. Fair enough. But we're normally at nine ninety nine. This is a yes. uh, this is a bigger booklet. Yeah. So. More learning, more, more techniques, techniques. Yeah. and yet we're going even lower. 300 were available. There are literally rows and rows and rows of you on the phone lines and on the web. Love the fact that you've all checked out, not missing your opportunity. You can shop ahead. You can secure your kits. We've got it into in different colorways. Oh, have you, uh, Russ, did you ask if this is... He feels, he feels the fear and he does it anyway. How do I do it first and then ask questions later? <laughs> $5.99. Wow. Wow, wow. So let's talk about the techniques that are in here. Obviously, the lovely necklace I can see is a project, but what yeah. techniques are we going to learn So Well, your here? techniques are obviously how to bezel the cabochon mm -hmm. uh, and how to put some embellishments around it, which, again, if you wanted to leave it more plain, you could leave some of the embellishment off there if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Then you've got uh, cube, the, the rope at the top where the bugles are in the bottom. That's okay. cubic right angle weave. That's what I'm going to show you in the demo as well, how to do that bit, because I think that's probably the area that somebody might find, find difficult. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you've got how to fill up the space between the two ropes. Yes. Then you can, then you, how to add the embellishments, how to add the fringing, and then, of course, how to do the little 3D triangles on the back, which, uh, which hold the necklace together. Amazing. All that learning for £5.99 pence only, all that education. Uh, again, shop ahead on your kits. You've got them in different colourways. You've got uh, more of a turquoisey blue colour palette. You've got the pinks and blacks, and then you've got a sort of multicoloured palette as well. Um, any questions, then do message us into the studio. Monica um, is going uh, to take away with your masterclass dem uh, demonstration. Don't forget, we also... I'm going to bring you that beautiful jadeite flower cabochon. Uh, well, I say cabochon it is drilled, so you could very easily use that drill hole to your benefit. Yes, it is type A, um, completely and utterly natural, carved as well by hand. So you can actually secure yours going significantly lower than £98.99. pence. But look, I mean, that's a beautiful piece of jewellery already. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of the techniques that you're going to learn in that. Oh, we're going to have to scoot you closer. Oh. You're gonna have to. You're oh, gonna have wait, to. You're gonna have to. Camera get there. It was way up here. Yeah. 
You're going to have to love me again now, Monica. There we are. Okay. All good. Right. Look so, at that. So this is the, the pendant. Let me just get this. Right. I love the pink and black. That's beautiful. Yeah. And then you've got some embellishment on the back of it as well. Amazing. So that's the pendant. Um, I will put all the components together. I don't know if you want to show the kits first or... What you well, what would you prefer? You will, lead, you will be led by you. Um, that doesn't matter for me either way. Do you need to scooch over a little bit more? Okay, Sorry. there you go. <laughs> so this is the third colourway and it's kind of in, in uh, like a deconstructed form still because obviously uh, I wanted to use this for, your, for the demo. Uh -huh. So that's how it will ultimately oh. come together. Right. So you can see on this one how if you wanted to leave this section empty, that gives you a different look there. Okay. And also without the fringing, so you would have that sort of thing. Um, so you can you can play around with the design if you wanted to, or you could just use the pendant on a rope like that, which looks quite nice on its own as well. You could put a pendant on it just on a chain. So there's different components that you can use from this um, separately if you wanted to. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how to, how to make this rope, which is essentially cubic right angle weave, which you don't have to remember, but it's uh, something that scares a lot of people. So I thought I'd show you how to do that. It, I think it's because it sounds quite mathematical. It does, yes. <laughs> it's, it it's really not. It sounds a bit mathematical. <laughs> We've, uh, we are going to bring the pink and black uh, colourway kit to your screens um, in a few moments as well. So keep okay. an eye out for that. Right. Um, actually, you can do a kit if you like, because I haven't got a needle threaded yet. Okay, so. no, we can do that then. Well, whilst Monica threads her needle, here is. I love this colourway. Oh, it's a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit. What's the agent provocateur, isn't it? The black and pink. I don't know. It's a little bit saucy. Loving this. It's not just black and pink because you've also got um, a mixture of your textures. You've got your matte black in your. Um, what do we call those again? Bugles. Bugles. Yes. In your, your bugles, bugles just here. Um, so take a little look. Take a look, you've got your bugles, so I'll go through. So, matte Mayuki 11 O's. Uh, you've got your round silver lined uh, crystal 15 O's. That's these ones here. Then you've got your matte black bugles, which are those just in the center there. Uh, you've also got three, uh, what's that? Hang on, three cut jet uh, Rembrandt sea beads. That's these, isn't it, those just down here? Um, Rembrandt's. Um, no, those are the two O's. The two O's. So the two O's are these, these. Three cubes there. We have, which, which we only just recently launched the two O's. Oh yes, I can see that now. Two O's just there. In the, t in the three different colours you're actually yeah. getting. So Jet Rembrandt, then you're getting your Chalk Lazure Black. It sounds so weird, their descriptions, but it's actually the coating, I know. Uh, then you've got your iconic hot pink, which is this one just yeah. here. Uh, you've got your black uh, feature rhinestone oval, which is a massive 40 by 30 millimetres. And then you're actually getting 12 of each of your beautiful uh, briolette drops in your uh, glass. Now, they are black and also pink, obviously. Um, and then ballerina in your 11 O's. Um, love that. It's a massive kit, but I suppose you need it yeah. for a big necklace. Well, you do, yeah. Uh, and you will have some left. Um, one tube of the two O's, I had most of it left over. And then I had the 11 O's, I had about half a tube left of each of the 11 O's. I used up almost all of the 15s. Mm -hmm. And I used up all the crystals, except, as I said, uh, just enough to make um, a pair of earrings. So I had six or seven of the, um, the little crystal drops left over. Loving that. Absolutely loving it. All of this for under 50 pounds. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but we're not stopping there. Uh -huh. mm -mm. <laughs> no, no. Well done to those of you that have already uh, already shopped ahead. I love the black and pink. I think that's really really beautiful. Very feminine. Oh, you can see. Thirty four ninety nine. Oh my gosh! You can see in the earring as well how the colours come together. So you can kind of imagine how it's going to look if you look at all those together. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The pink really pops, doesn't it, with the it dark, does. It uh, does, with the dark yeah. black, and also the mixture of the textures. Um, again, we have a quantity of oh, we've got 117 of these, but 
a lot of those of you that have got your uh, uh, your booklet will be wanting to get involved with the uh, with the kits as well, the corresponding kits. Because you, I know some of you will have sea beads, but will you have the two O's? Will you have the bugles? And will you have these parts? Um, when we are giving you a, get, a, a big saving uh, by getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten products effectively yeah i mean if you count just the large tubes if you just count them at six pounds each which is a really good price especially for the two o's and the, and the bugles as well yeah that's that would be 36 pounds just for the six big tubes and then you all the rest of it you're getting for free wow amazing make sure you uh check out your baskets back to you yeah um also i wanted to say with with all the necklaces because you've got you've got your different color options so like you've got the three different colors of two o's so you can switch the colors around within the kit mm. and use them differently. So like, for example, let's say we're looking at this necklace here. Uh, so I've used the turquoise ones around the pendant and then the blue and the pink on the side. But you could use the pink around the pendant and then use the, the turquoise and the blues on the side. So it will give you a different look that way. You could also switch around the colors of your 11 nose and have another completely different look. So, um, you know, you could make it look different to, to mine depending on which colors you pick for which yeah. uh, part of the design. Right, so to get started with this rope, um, I'm going to use the pink and the, and the black because that's probably the easiest color to, um, to see. So first we're gonna start off by picking up one bugle bead, two seed beads, one bugle bead, two seed beads, and I'm using the 11 O seed beads here. Okay, bring them down to the end of your thread and then you're going to go through all of those again. Uh, now, I also give instructions in the booklet on how much um, of a tail thread you need to leave, because obviously that depends on what you're going to be doing with it later on as well. So uh, I'm just bringing it down to the end of my thread for this demo here. Okay, and then you're going to tie your thread into a knot. So you've brought those all together into a circle, or it's just, really it's a rectangle because of the, the bugles, but essentially you're tying them together into a circle. Just make sure your knot sits in the right position. There we go, okay? So now, if you look at it like that, so you've got your little rectangle here. What you want to do is you want to go through with your thread or with your needle, you want to go through the bugle that is next to your knot, okay? So your thread is now coming out of your bugle bead. So this, if you look, the rope, this is the end of my rope, okay? So this section here. Ignore the black seed beads there, so this is just, I mean, I can show you another piece. Let me show you on this one. So you can see there, this is the end bit of my rope, okay? So now what we wanna do is we want to build up the sides. So coming towards the camera, we want to build it up now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pick up one seed bead, one bugle bead, and one seed bead, okay? Then we're going to, this bugle bead that we're coming out of, we're going to go through that again, around in a circle. Okay, just like that. So now at the moment it's sitting flat, but ultimately this is going to sit upwards like that, and that's going to start building the sides of your rope. Okay, then we're going to turn it, and we're going to go through the two seed beads in the base. So I'm going to call that original rectangle, I'm going to call that the base. So we're going to go through the next two beads going around our base. And then we're going to build this wall, which ultimately, if you imagine, is going to stand up like that. It's going to be the end of this little rectangle. So now we're going to pick up three of our 11 O's, and we're going to go through all three of these 11s here. Okay, so now you've got a little circle there of six beads. Okay, now we're going to turn again. We're going to go through the next bead in the base, which is this bugle again. Okay, then you're going to pick up one seed bead, and you're going to pick up one bugle, okay? Now what we want to do is this seed bead here, if, if I position them like that, you can see, looking at the side of my rope, can you see? So I've got two beads there, which run along my rope, and then I've got one on each side and two there again. So these six that I have here, once the sides are standing up, this bead is going to sit there, and then you're gonna have two here at the top and two at the bottom, and then this will be the other side. So you wanna take this seed bead here, the one that's on the side, you wanna go through that towards your bugle, and you wanna go through your bugle again. So you're creating a circle. If I just bring down the beads, let me just bring these down that I've just picked up so you can maybe see it a little bit better. So if I bring those down, you can imagine I'm taking this one 
here, this is going to make this side of that rectangle on that side. So I want to go into this seed bead here and through the bugle as well. Okay, so that makes the second side. Now it's turning upwards, obviously, because it, it can't sit flat anymore. But if you look at that, so you've got one side there with a seed bead, a bugle, and a seed bead and a bugle. Then you've got the same on this side. And then on the end, you've got your six seed beads. And you're going to need six seed beads on this side as well. So to do that, you're going to turn. And you've already got four of them there. So you're going to go through all the other ones that you have there. So those three. Okay. Then you need to pick up another two because you need six on this end as well. Okay. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go through all four of those again. Okay. When I pull it together, you'll see how that all comes together. So can you see now all the sides are standing up? Okay. So if I look at from the top again, I've got my two, two seed beads, bugle, two seed beads, and a bugle. So this is the same as the base that we started with. Okay, then on the end, I've got six seed beads, two, one, two, and one. Okay, I've got the same on the other side. So I've got two, one, two, one. Okay, and if I turn it over, the base that we started with again is your two bugles and then two beads on either end. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to treat the second layer that we've just built as the base. Okay, so once you've done this first layer, I find the easiest to do is just to hold it this way and keep holding it like that. It makes it less confusing if you don't keep turning it around all the time. Okay, and then I will show you how to carry on with the next layer. So again, we want to start by going through the bugle. So you want to start a layer every time by going through this bugle, which will be on the right hand side if you hold like this all the time. Okay, and then again, we're going to start with the first side. So we're going to pick up a seed bead, a bugle and another seed bead. Okay, we're going to go through the bugle again. Okay, so that builds up the first side. Just with the bugles, what you need to do is make sure that you send them down to the end of your thread and then pull your thread tight. That makes it sit up close to your work. Okay, I'm trying to hold it without covering anything up. So then you're going to move along to the next two beads. So the two beads at the end of your rectangle. So remember your new base is that bugle bead. Those two seed beads, that bugle, and those two seed beads. So that's your new base. Forget about everything that's underneath. So now you're going through the two seed beads on the end. Okay. Now you're going to pick up your three seed beads. And then you're going to go through all three of these three seed beads in the top layer that you've got there now. Okay. Then you're going to go through the bugle that's on this side, on the left-hand side, but you're going to come towards yourself now. Okay, so because now we want to build this side, the left hand side. So again, you're going to pick up one seed bead and you're going to pick up one bugle. Okay, and then remember this seed bead here, which is going to be the side of the face that's kind of away from you. So you've got, yeah, just like that on the, on the camera, you've got the two beads at the top and you've got one on the side here and one on the other side. Okay, so the one that's on this side, closest to the bugle that you're coming out of, you want to go down through that one seed bead and you want to come towards you through the bugle bead again. Okay, so that you have your circle again on the left-hand side. Okay, so that creates the second side of your, uh, again, just make sure that you have your bugle sitting nice and flush. So can you see now a new base again is forming at the top, but we're still missing this side here. So now what you want to do, you want to move along again. So you want to go through now you're going down through this seed bead because you just went down through there. So you want to go across through those two seed beads and come up through the one on the right hand side. Now I'm trying to hold it this way and go through to the right. Obviously when you're doing it at home, you're going to hold it however is comfortable for you. But so you're going to go through those three seed beads because we want to finish this side that's towards us now. So we're still missing the two beads at the top. So you're going to take two seed beads and you're going to go down through this bead on the left hand side, which is a side bead. Okay, and then you're going to come around because you ultimately want to come up on the right hand side. So you're going to go through those two underneath again and through the one that's the side. Okay, so now you can see we've got a whole new base again because we've got our bugle bead, we've got our two seed beads, a bugle and two seed beads again. Okay, I'll show you again. So after a while, you're going to get into a rhythm doing this. And I promise you, by the time you finish making this necklace, you'll be an expert at cubic rectangle weave. 
Okay, so we're going to start again by going through the bugle first, so through the bugle on the right hand side. Then we add, basically what you do is you go through a bass side and then you're going to build the side that goes above that. Then you want to go through the bottom of the next side, you want to build that side. Then you go through this side and you want to build that wall and you, then you go through this side and you want to finish building that wall. So that's the, the, the system that you need to follow. Okay, so I've gone through the bugle, so I'm building the right hand wall now, which is going to be one seed bead, one bugle, and one seed bead. Okay, and then through the bugle again. So this builds the right hand wall. Okay, right. Then I want to go along the next side of my base, so I want to go into the two beads at the top, there. Okay, and I need to add three more beads to finish this side, because I've only got three there and I need six. So I pick up three more, go through all three of the existing ones. Okay, so then I want to move along to the next side, which is the bugle again. So go through the bugle. So to build this wall on the left, I need to pick up one more seed bead and one bugle. And then I want to go through this bead here, which is the, the well, if you're looking from the left-hand side, from the bugle, it's the first new seed bead at the top, okay? So you go through that one and you go through the bugle again to make a circle for that wall, okay? And then you go through the last two beads in your current base, which is your two pink ones at the bottom. It's very difficult to go from the left to the right holding it all straight like that. <laughs> so you go through all three of those. Okay, and then you pick up two more to finish this wall. Then you go, basically, then you want to go through all four of the existing ones there to come back to the other side with your thread. So go down one and across three. Okay, and then you've got your new base again. So you've got your bugle, two seed beads, bugle, two seed beads. And you just carry on building your rope just like that. So I've done that much there, you can see. So in the booklet, you've got instructions on how long you need to make your sections. So once you've got a nice long section, then what you want to do, the next step you're going to do is, you want to, we want to stiffen it a little bit because this is quite floppy. Uh, and you need this, this is going to be holding the shape of your necklace. Um, so when you have a rope like this, I mean, if you just wanted to use that as a necklace uh, to hold the pendant, you could leave it like that, okay? Uh, but then there are different things you can do to create a shape with one of these. Actually, I'm going to do this one. Let me just thread my needle onto there. So once you've got a nice rope, we want to create a curve, and, I wa and we want the necklace to hold that curve. So you need this piece to be quite solid. Mm. Okay, so what you're going to do is... Um, when you when you finished your last round, so now you're coming out of a bugle bead again, okay? So you've built up your rope as I've been doing up until now. What we want to do is, if you look at the side, so can you see we've got all the seed beads which have got the holes running this way, okay? So we want to fill in beads in between those, okay? So all you're going to do, I'm going to start on this side. So I'm going to go into the first bead, okay? And then I'm going to put, oh, I haven't got my other beads out. Give me a second. Um, whilst you're getting your beads out, I'm going to show the colours, the different colours. So this is uh, Tutankhamun. So you, I think this kit's going to be super popular, and it's obviously the one, um, uh, well, the headline. Headline. <laughs> Certainly one of the most popular on, um, on pre-order as well, for those of you that have shopped ahead. At 34... At 99, again, look at the colours that you're getting. Beautiful. Uh, I love the sort of the coral red alongside your turquoise. Yeah. You get that massive rhinestone as well, which takes centre stage. Uh, 24 of your briolettes, a mixture of your 11 O's, your 15 O's, your bugles, and your uh, newest uh, size, which is obviously the 2 O's, and then the feature rhinestone itself. Love that with the little pops of red. Yeah, and again, it would look very different if, if in place of the red around the cabochon, let's say you use the turquoise two O's and you use the red on the sides. It yeah. Would be sort of a more of a or red. Or the pink. Look. The pink would look lovely too. Pink is in the other kit. Yeah, mixing the kits. Oh, yeah, you can do that too. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Mixing those <laughs> kits right up. 
Um, um, I'll quickly squeeze in the other kit so I haven't got to, uh, sorry, I'm not interrupting Monica again. A, a lot of you have just messaged in the studio saying, can we see the other kit? <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so, loads of you getting involved for uh, Tutankhamun. Now for the third and final kit. Hang on. This is Cleopatra, right? Oh, lovely. I was just checking out the right ones there. That's beautiful. That's a tough one. So this one's more like a purpley tone, I think. Um, yeah. And actually, oh, oh, before I say that, I'll wait until the price comes in because I'm curious. I'm me. I'm <laughs> curious too. I asked the question whilst you were demonstrating. Yes. Ah, uh, Roscoe. Can we check this kit? Yeah. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I, I know what you're thinking, and it's right. There's yeah. an extra tube in this kit. <laughs> <laughs> is there meant to be an extra tube in this kit? Um, well, I'll tell you how that happened, but um, you can't go back on the price now. It's got to be this price, doesn't it? <laughs> it's done now. <laughs> because what happened originally was um, there was a mistake in the kit and it was missing the size 15s. So I asked for the 15s to be put in um, and then one of the 11 O's wasn't taken out. So you've actually got options there. I didn't use any of the turquoise 11 O's, so you could swap out the turquoise yep. 11 O's in place of the greens or in place of the, um, what was the other colour, the purples. Mm. So again, you could make this ne necklace look completely different just by swatching or, uh, switching around which beads you use where in the neck. Yeah, amazing. Make sure you check out your baskets on the kits. There they all are. You can see them all lined up before me. You can take your pick. Um, I've been tempted to mix and match, uh, mix and match those beautiful colours. But uh, yeah, um, back to you, Monica, when you're ready. Right, so... We want to fill in the sides, as I was saying earlier. So now I've gone through the first uh, pink bead here on the, on, the, on the side of my rope, which has got the hole going that way, because the double beads, you'll, you'll notice, have got the holes going this way. Okay, so you want to ignore those for now. And you just want to use the beads that are going that way. Okay, and then I'm going to fill in. So I'm just going to pick up one of my other colour, size 11 now, And I'm going to go through the next bead along. Okay, then I'm going to pick up another one. It's very simple once you get to this point. Pick up the, the next one, go through the next one, and so on and so on. Very simply, just go all the way to the other end. Okay, and then when you go to the other end, you want to turn around. So you want to, if this was the end of my rope, let's pretend that's the end of my rope there. Okay, you're going to put one bead on the corner as well. So pick up one of your 11 O's, then turn the corner, the end of the rope. Also, when I get home, I'm going to finish this pink necklace as well, uh, and then I'll put a picture up of it so you can see what this one looks like finished as well. And then you're going to turn this way again, and you're going to do the same on this edge. So pick up one of your black beads, then turn back that way, and then just put one in between each of the edge beads there. Now this makes, um, oh sorry, I'm going to have to turn it around because I can't get through that without turning it. Okay, so I'm putting one black bead in between each of them here. Okay, and then again, when you get to the end, you want to put one on each corner as well. That's just really to make it look pretty. That doesn't really have a function. Okay, and then when you start, where you started, you don't have one on the corner there, so just make sure you put one on the corner there. So just go through the pink. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to work your way over to the other side. So I'm coming out of this pink bead here, which means the next bugle along, I can go down that next bugle bead. Okay. So now I'm coming up here, so I'm going to go to the right again in one of these edge beads. Okay. Now on this side, uh, for this particular design to make a curve, what I want to do is I want to do the same thing on this side, so space them out just like that, but I want the spaces to be filled in by something a little bit bigger than on that side, and that's what's going to create the curve. So two of your size 15 beads are just a little bit bigger than an 11 O. okay? So first you're going to start off with one size 15 because just for the corners, so my thread is coming out to the right here, so for the corner I'm just going to add one 15 on the corner there, and I'm going to add another 15 on this corner here. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing as I did on the other side, but into each gap I'm going to put two of my 15 O's. Okay, so same as on the other side, just keep going through and keep adding in 
or 15. Now, this is a fairly small section, so I don't know if there's going to be a curve here. There might be a little bit. Okay, and then again, let me do just one more. Okay. There. So, assuming this is the end of my necklace here, then to turn around again, I'm just going to put one on the corner, and I'm going to go through a pair of beads. I'm going to put one on the corner again, and then I'm going to turn back and do the second side. So as I say, all of these instructions are also in the booklet, but if you need a little bit more help, then I'm hoping that the demo that I've just done will help a little bit as well to explain how to do this section. I would start with the instructions in the booklet because obviously they're there sort of mm. more detailed and you can see better how, it, how the thread path goes. Um, but then you can come back and watch this demo if you wanted to. Yeah, we've put the booklet back onto your screen for those of you that, uh, that might maybe have missed that opportunity. 599. Gosh. It's, a, it's a great point of reference for all of, for many different CBD techniques. It is, techniques. and to be honest, if you go into Etsy and, and search for something similar, you're going to be paying sort of between 20 and 25 pounds just for I'm a sure. pattern. Yeah. I'm sure. Right, um, so, sorry, back so to you. So you can see a little bit of curve happening there already. Mm. Okay. So if you look at the earring, for example, so I did the same section for the earring. And I put one seed bead in between the black one on the bottom edge. On the top edge, I didn't put anything in between. I just put a thread through and pulled them all together. So again, that creates a, a curve, but it becomes more compressed. So you can see these are spaced out mm. a little bit more because my smaller edge, my smaller curve has got the single beads and then double beads at the bottom. Whereas here, I've got single in between and then nothing in between at the top. Mm -hmm. So you can create, so this kind of rope, if you wanted to use it for something else, you can create curves sort of like that with it by just changing where you put how many beads in between. So if I switched it around on this section and I put a single bead in between each side bead here and a double bead on the other side, then it would curve the other way. Yeah, create a wave. Yeah, and then it becomes quite solid. I mean, you can see that one is holding its shape quite well. So that's going to hold um, the base of your necklace, basically. Beautiful. Monica, you're absolutely amazing. You truly are. Thank you so much once again. Um, make sure you check out the booklet is getting very limited now. Uh, likewise, across the kits, we've got different colorways. And again, you can cast your eyes across here. I'll put all the booklet behind. So wait a sec, I can get one kit and the booklet for just over £40. Yeah. That's... And this is one of those where I would definitely get a kit because although, I mean, you might be able to get the components together somewhere else, but... By the time you get everything else together and you work out the sizes that you need and you get the right size of everything and mm. you know then if you have something that's a slightly different size then the pattern might not work out quite mm. as well yeah so at least for your first one i would definitely get a kit and then if you wanted to make another one and you kind of uh, know then how the pattern works then you can always um you know come up with something else yeah come up with a different idea for just over 40 pounds gets you the booklet launching today brand new on our screens and um, whichever colorway you're uh, you're choosing um they have been astonishingly well not astonishing <laughs> in incredibly popular and we're not astounded because we knew it was going to be the case um, well done everybody make sure you check out those baskets now between now and the top of the show, we have just had a little special delivery from our very own gorgeous Dan. Um, our gorgeous Dan. He stepped into the studio and he said, here you go. Literally, is one of our favourites here at Jewelry Maker. Um, now, type A natural jadeite coming up in a few moments time um, but it is time for that gorgeous we've described it as a connector but for me i look at it as more um where's it gone where's it gone i haven't got it here oh no after all that dan he's been <laughs> crediting you for being so efficient I haven't actually got this though um <laughs> um, firstly, it's okay. Whilst we're waiting for it, I can I can cover the fact that this is natural type A, not polymer impregnated, not dyed. And you know earlier on when I said shop ahead and do actually uh, uh, do actually pre-order, um, and I was like, uh, okay, so what we're we taking it to then, at Roscoe? And he said he gave me a price point. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. We promised it under twenty. Let's just put it that way. Um, and then I was looking at it saying that looks very, very, very spearmint as well, doesn't it? So yes. I might even say aqua, aqua, um, yeah. aqua blue. 
Well, we did check. We did check and we looked at the certificate. This is the laboratory certificate. Natural, you can see. Aqua. Yeah. Now, those of you that may be new to the world of jadeite, but may or may not know that aqua, so we sometimes refer to it as dove as well, is the rarest colour to get hold of. I didn't know that. And um, Monica, we casually promised this for under £20. I didn't, you did. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, that's true. Royal win has the no, royal no, win. You don't blame me for it. I mean, I thought we were like shoulder to shoulder, side by side on this one. <laughs> It is through drilled, absolutely, and it's really cleverly that the, the actual underside, I don't know if you can see that, is, is uh, gently curved. Oh. So can you see, if you wanted to wear it as a ring, it's going to follow oh, um, the curve of the finger itself. It's, it's described as a connector, but for me, it could be the most beautiful wire-wrapped ring, don't oh, you think? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Or maybe um, in amongst some gorgeous pearls um, or uh, whatever, your favourite gemstones. Natural type AJ dye. We have a big quantity of these available. Now, those of you that maybe, again, I'm going to say the same thing with, as I did with the sunflower, which sold out. Did that sell out, the sunflower? Yeah, gone. Out of here. Now... If you've loved the idea of owning type A natural jadeite, but you've seen what's happened within the market, you've seen the likes of Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonhams, all of those you know, big names who absolutely are auctioning this very gemstone at astronomical prices. So you might have been thinking, right, I'm priced out. I can't afford this gemstone. Today, if you weren't with me this morning... I can promise this natural type A jadeite, master carved into a three-dimensional flower, wow. <laughs> is under £20. And we're nowhere near done. Start dialing through. You know what? If we, if, if, if we were to say, oh, let's take a cheeky, cheeky pound off that's to be an amazing deal it's type a jadeite well, it's already an amazing deal exactly it? this is why i think sometimes we do we have admin errors and it does happen believe me it does it's only ever highlighted usually a couple of weeks down the road but yeah this is we're humans we make mistake we do look don't don't stop me no there we go prime example and you know, we we say it would be nice for a ring, which it would, but it's also I think it's still big enough to be a pendant actually. If you don't want a really big chunky pendant, um, I think it's really nice just on a head pin with a wrap loop at the top. You can easily turn it into a pendant. Two little jump rings. Yeah. Oh you my. know, literally put two little jump rings through the through the actual drill holes, or wire wrap it exactly as it is. Yeah. We're not stopping there. Nobody for natural certified aqua genuine type A jadeite. Remember, from 4,000 minerals that exist on our planet, this is one of the top 10, and you've just got it today for £12.99. <laughs> this is brand new, it's a premiere, it's never been on your screens previously wow. before, and that is, an, uh, frankly, a giveaway deal. Um, beautiful. Oh, I love it, yeah. And we, we want to do an award ceremony. So we've got uh, one of the rarest here, most certainly, genuine type A jade. I'm not talking about your polymer impregnated. I'm not talking about your, uh, um, your dyed. This is totally and utterly natural. Look at the quantities people's are, people are buying. I'm not surprised. Wow. It should be the, the quantities that you're getting. Janice, I can see you have with six. Yeah. We should be paying that for one. It's type A jade. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, now... Ross. No, that doesn't sound right. You have promised it under 20. It says 100 are gone, but I've still got a sun, 100 sat in the vault. Okay. So already, if you look at the people that have bought, most of them have bought two, two three, five, six. Sixes. Kim bought six. Most Janice people. bought yeah. six. Yeah. I would get at least two to make a pair of earrings. Yeah, sure. well, yeah. And now you're going to get changed. The phone lines have gone crazy. Um, he was never, Ross says, I was never stopping at 19.99. And Ella was never stopping at 12.99. Although that is what he said to me. Little fibber. Little fibber dibber. 
Sandra, Carolers buying four. Well and you, Linda getting three. Erica buying four. Uh, City of Bristol, Jean, Gloria, Tessa, Susan, Pauline, Penny, Stephanie. Hello to you, Linda. Gloucestershire, Lincolnshire, Deborah. Hello to you. Uh, Nottinghamshire getting three. Susan, Cynthia, Eleanor. Uh, Susie, hello to you. Barbara, Heather. I can't keep up with you. We had 200 of these available. Maybe it's been that gemstone. And I should point out that this is... Uh, ethical jadeite. This was purchased prior to any of the conflict that's going on at the moment in Myanmar. Uh, so you can buy this with absolute peace of mind. $9.99 for genuine type A jadeite. That's, uh, that's silly. Here's another Marla idea. You could use that as the guru bead. Oh. Yeah, it's got the tassel underneath. Mm. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> or as your marker beads. Yes. I mean, for nine At that price tag, <laughs> why not? Why not? Do you know what? Why wouldn't... Eights, twos, sixes, fives. Maybe, why wouldn't they? Maybe those people who are buying fives and sixes were thinking that as well. As your marker beads for your marla. Marker beads. Mm. But you'd want to have a, a create a matching, matching ring, wouldn't you? It'd be lovely to have a matching ring alongside it. Look how clever that is in terms of the carving. It's like, a, it's, it's, well, some might say it's like a rose. Some might say it's like a peony. Um, either way, flowers are, of course, uh, very good luck. Um, in Chinese culture, team that with what, uh, the most poignant gemstone that exists in their history, and you have a dream come true. Nine ninety nine only. Um, needless to say, and I know I didn't say this earlier on, but the window of opportunity for jadeite is closing. 25 on the nose are left out of the 200 that we launched this afternoon. Um, it'd be silly not to. Precisely, Linda. I use that excuse a lot, though. I do. Ah, oh, silly not to. <laughs> uh, Hello to you, Gloucestershire, saying, uh, you keep tempting this jade junkie <laughs> with better and better designs and offers. Thank you, jewelry maker. Self-confessed as well. Yes, I'm Amazing. I've got one more little jade I've ideal. Almost all the pendants that we've had from the jade. I know. I bought multiples. I showed it to my friend and she asked me to get her some as well. So. I know. It's beautiful. What was that? Sorry, Ross. I wasn't listening to a word you said. The last auction of the day. 140 carats. Oh, my goodness me, the colours. You've got fancy colours in here, Ross. Yeah, you have. You've got the you've got the honey. You've got the honey honey colours. Uh well, don't you hang on, that's spinach green. Would you agree? That's natural, it's not dyed. The colours that you'll get, that's imperial that you're seeing within, and you've got your honey, and you've got some of your moss and snow colours. This is an absolute I don't know what Ross has taken it to. But I've got a funny feeling because he went, oh, no, no, no. Fancy colours, oh, no. <sighs> yeah. No messing around. How many have we got? 130, precisely. Would we, okay. Go onto the GIA website, put the colours of jade, and you'll see uh, like a Catherine wheel. And you'll see different shades of, you'll see different shades of purple. They call it lavender. You'll see some of your russet tones. You'll see different shades of the greens. Where's Wayne then today? Wayne's on holiday again. <laughs> right, let's do it then. Let's do it. Well, the cat's away and all that. <laughs> He's off down another canal. Different route. Oh, cats away, mice will play. 19.99. I, I, I don't know about you, but I'm looking at... Look at this, look at this. That's a great... Look, would we all agree? You have the translucency that we were discussing earlier on today. Remember, it's colour, translucency and texture when it comes to your jadeite. I'm looking at imperial greens. That one's even borderline moving, progressing into yeah. black jadeite. Totally and utterly natural. You've got some of your, your wonderful fancy colours. 
that we discussed um, earlier on within the show. There was 130, but again, lots of connect, uh, collectors getting involved. Hello to you, Carol, Pat, Carol, Lincolnshire, Anne, Linda. Hello, Rosemary, new customers, Karen. Hello to you, Venetia, Kim, Samantha, another new customer. Make sure you check out those baskets to guarantee uh, your success. We're running out of time um, uh, here on, on Jewelry Maker. You can still add Monica's amazing booklet to your order. We'll just bring the graphics onto your screen at, frankly, a ridiculous £5.99. How long do one of those booklets take you? Um, this one was about seven or eight days from morning to late at night, every day. <laughs> oh, that's awkward, isn't it? Seven or eight days, and we've just got hold of all that work for £5.99. <laughs> Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, make sure you do check out um, on uh, Monica's newest launch, and it's incredible. Can I congratulate you? Oh, thank you. Because that is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see the next, the next idea. It's already in the pipeline. Is it? Yes. That's exciting. <laughs> uh, Monica, when are you back with us? Um, on the 12th. Uh, I don't know what day of the week oh. that is as of yet, but it's not too far away, is it? Mm, it's not a Wednesday. I think it's a Wednesday. Tuesday. Uh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Um, make sure you check out your baskets and do not go anywhere. Of course, you can uh, get involved and still purchase throughout the course of the show. Uh, lovely hobby maker is stepping into the studio with gorgeous Sarah Davis. Monica and I will see you soon. Oh, bye.